anybody you can't count out. It's Dream Girl Ellie. Oh, she's definitely got heart, and she can strike with the best of them as well. well there's the bell, and here we go. Dream Girl Ellie set to go one-on-one -on -one with Freya the Slayer, the Queen of the North. Now, the Freya's only... another tall bombshell as well, right? She's, she's up there. Freya the Slayer, the only female professional wrestler from Alaska. Oh, wow. Coming down here in North Carolina for ladies' night out. How about that drive? Yeah, Freya is someone who really has been branching out of her home state and making a huge name for herself most recently extensively in OVW. And she has faced Dream Girl uh -oh. Ellie before. They are very familiar with each oh, other. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Ooh. It's like when you throw the trash out into the dumpster. I'm not saying that, but, you know, good grief. Just tossed her like a sack of potatoes. Freya's strength on full display. But look at the tenacity of Dream Girl Ellie bringing the fight to oh, Freya. She will. Don't ever count out Dream oh, Girl Ellie. Oh. Looked like Ellie was going for maybe a monkey flip. Freya just too strong, but Ellie, Ellie has that quickness. Yes. She's very tenacious. She's very punctual as well. She's always early. This is going to be power versus speed. It's Dream oh. Girl Ellie. Looked like maybe Ellie was trying to spear Freya off the apron and Freya caught her. Oh. 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 Big axe kick combo denied, and Ellie Ooh. with the forearm. Yeah, Freya going for that off with her head, but Ellie wisely moved out of the way and knocks Freya all the way to the outside. If she would have connected with that axe kick, that might have been it. Yeah, that is a match ender for Freya. I have seen it before. Uh-oh. Now Ellie going to fly. Oh, going for a drop kick, but got caught. Oh, baseball slide action, but she said nope. Oh. Uh -oh. Chest caving chop from Freya the Slayer. And that's why I don't play baseball. I, hate, I would never slide into to a chop. Vita, you mentioned these two women both know each other so well from OVW and wars in the past. Do you think that that experience will affect Freya? Or do you think she might be underestimating Dream Girl Ellie just based on the stature difference between these two? Yeah, I think that can definitely be a factor, although Freya is in control right now. But when you look at someone like Ellie, she was not expecting to face Freya here today. Freya is a late addition to this singles matchup and I can tell you from experience White Mike I'm sure you can attest to this as well when you prepare for one opponent and that switch up happens that can really throw off your game and it's going to be very difficult to prepare for someone with the power of Freya but Ellie doing what she can to try to get Freya off her feet go for crossbody uh -oh. uh, she got caught here though oh no wind up oh Freya would rather throw you than know you. Like a catatonic backbreaker right there. That was incredible. And look at this cover. Oh. Pulse oh. the chest of Ellie using that strength. You see the look Freya. on Ellie's face? She's like, please, can we just know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dropping that big elbow. Again, the endurance and the, the resource. She's got she's to gotta stay in this and fight. She's got to try to uh, chop uh, Freya down. Somehow. Freya is in complete control now. Freya, as we mentioned, was set to enter the uh, first ever Ladies' Night Out Battle Royal to kick things off here for Ladies' Night 12. And when you're anticipating going in the ring against 12 other competitors, you get a quick change of going one-on-one, -on -one, more of a focus. And again, uh, to touch on what Veda was saying, again, you, you mentally, mentally prepare for somebody. Goes oh. for that big leg drop and moved out of the way to Dream Girl Ellie. Ellie with an opening, a low lariat into a pinfall. And Ellie, no wasted movement. She fell right into that pin, but Freya. Card subject definitely, you know, changes, but we got to be able to adapt on our own and be like, hey, throw the playbook out the window. Well, I just want to make sure that Freya understands that she cannot underestimate Dream Girl Ellie. She cannot think this is going to be walk in the park, despite the fact that she's throwing oh. Dream Girl oh. from Goodness. pillar to post. Well, and Sammy, you've, you've you're familiar with Ellie. You've seen her match before. You've called her matches before. You know how resilient she is. That really is. is her great strength. Oh, oh my God. And she's going to have to Good use every grief. bit of that resiliency to survive a cannonball like this. Freya. No, I think that's uh, Look at this cover. That's got to be a oh. no. Not today. Oh, Ellie's Freya. got too much heart. Yeah, Freya thought that she had this all wrapped up. And you see her getting the face of the referee, arguing that that was three. It was a two count. This will continue. As you see, Dream Gorilla has not moved, though. She's just kind of playing with her food, essentially. You know what I mean? Freya's just been having fun. You hear the crowd come alive. It's the first time ever here for Ladies Night Out. There you go. Oh. Good. And again, chest caving chop. She's got frying pan-like hands. So to be able to get chopped by her, out, no, no thank you. 
And up goes Dringarelio. This is not a good place uh -huh. for Ellie to be. This good. might all be over here. Torture about, rack. Yes. Yeah, this could be a, a submission. Ellie throwing some elbows, managing to fight her way out. This is what I was saying. The resiliency of Dream Ooh. Girl Ellie knows no bounds. Going to try to chop, chop down this tree. I'm not going to lie. I've been in the ring with Dream Girl Ellie. Oh. She is very resilient. And again, very educated feet from her as well. And those kicks landing there, Mark. Ooh. And now chopping down the big Ooh. redwood. Freya's all tied up. Freya's on her knees in the ropes. And listen to the fire from Dream Girl Alley. Oh. A huge drop kick with Freya's chest sandwiched between cover. the ropes. Yes. This could be it. Oh. No. Unfortunate timing off that drop kick. Frey landed on her stomach, set of her back. Oh. Alley not able to make the cover. Maybe, Maybe would have gotten two. to three, but just out of position there. Dream Girl Alley. Got to stay on offense, though. He's got to bring the fight, keep bringing uh -oh. it to Freya. Oh. But look again, like the strength. Front guillotine. Yeah, that front guillotine oh, choke a... is hell. Uh -oh. But Freya, Freya, oh, oh, turning it into a suplex. High and tight on the neck and shoulders right there, too. Ellie, Ellie might be out. She, she got dumped moved. right on her head. She has not moved an inch. Freya, there you go. with a little bit of reprieve. I believe she didn't expect. Expect that from Dream Girl Alley. Both let women down here. Yeah, I bet Freya thought she was going to be in the back already, but now nah, these fans got Dream Girl Alley staying in, hanging in the fight. Big boot to the face. Now Alley going up to that top. What's she thinking here? Going oh. again for a cross. Oh! oh. No. Freya what? turns into a power slam, cover, and again. Ella gets the shoulder up and the frustration on Freya's face. Once again, the amazing strength and control of Freya, but now she is just unleashing. And look, she's, Freya looks like she's trying to just kind of collect herself a little bit here. Yeah, Floria uh, strikes, referee had to get in there. Freya yeah. almost got disqualified. Ellie pulling herself up. Oh! oh. Big splash in the corner. Oh, we, we felt that down here. Oh, but Ellie oh. out of the way. Uh oh. With the roll up. Wait, roll up, roll up here. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. That's it. Here's your winner of Pitbull, Dream Girl Ellie. How about that upset? Freya looking frazzled. Freya. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, Freya saying not too pleased with a surprise win for Dream Girl Ellie. Taking out the Dream Girl after the bell. Fans showing their uh, lack of approval for Freya. Freya's Freya herself. Freya's still saying she's still queen of the north. But though she may not look at Dream Girl Alley is the victor here tonight for Ladies Night Out that 12. That was a tough one. What a huge battle there Sheesh. between Freya the Slayer. I mean, can you believe how dominant Freya was up until those closing matches, Mike. You can definitely believe it because you see Dream Girl Ellie being helped to the back as she gets a little standing ovation for these lovely people here in Winston-Salem at the Benton Convention Center. Introducing first, from Orlando, Florida, she is the top tier, Jasmine Alou. And here we go, women's division action right here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Two women making their debut here in Ford Park for Hurricane Pro. We are live on Title Match Network and the very best in women's wrestling always is present right here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. You gotta believe these two women look to make a big name for themselves, but only one can earn their first victory right here tonight. Hurricane Pro Wrestling, where's the bell? And here we go. Top tier, Jasmine Allure going one-on-one. -on -one with Gigi Ray. Early on, Jasmine already pushing Gigi in the corner. I mean, that exchange, but there's a deep arm drag from Gigi. Nice exchange. Hurricane Pro Wrestling has become a synonymous with women's wrestling. 
Of course, our champion, Lady Frost. Gotta believe these two women looking to earn a big victory here in their debut at Hurricane Pro Wrestling, put themselves on a path to challenge Lady Frost for that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Of course, Miranda Alizé, our cruiserweight champion, also uh, defends that championship with both men and women here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Competition is always strong, always high. Every victory counts. And I believe the pressure is on the line here for these two women. There's a roll off from Gigi. Stacks Jasmine Allure up. Jasmine Allure trained at the AAPW and Dog Pound Dojo. Trained with, with people like Rodney Mack, Thunder Rosa, and Jazz. And there's Gigi all the way from Canada. And drops down Jasmine Allure. Sweeps her legs, brings her to the outside, and there's a big clubbing forearm in the back here. There's a cover from Gigi onto Jasmine. The baller from Mill Woods, Alberta, Canada. It's only been here in Texas for about six months, has already made a name for herself in reality of wrestling, and looks to get a big win here over a top talent, like top tier, Jasmine Allure, who was in the snapmare there. And then two feet right to the face. And there's a cover from Jasmine here now. Lots of back and forth momentum here between these two. As Jasmine Allure is trained by Rodney Mack, Thunder Rosa, and Jazz. Great pedigree. He's earned a lot of success, including just a former oh, no, he Almost got rolled up here, though. Former AAPW Women's Champion, former MPW Champion, the youngest MPW Champion, drops an elbow there on a GG. Again, a cover. Nice flow through, hooks both legs, but got a two count. Jasmine Allure may be small, but she is mighty and is looking to prove that she is top tier. And she'll definitely prove that if she can get a victory here tonight at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. We're celebrating 20 years of Hurricane Pro live tonight on Title Match Network from Ford Park. Thank you for joining us. Jasmine Allure with that foot right to the side of the face of Gigi Ray. Top tier time. Backing up with a big colliding clothesline in the corner there. And there's another big boot to the face. Relentless offense here from Jasmine Allure. Big neck breaker. Relentless office here from Jasmine Allure. Showing why the very best in women's wrestling, the very best in wrestling in general, is right here on Title Match Network at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Jasmine telling the referee to ask Gigi if she wants to give it up. Gigi Ray says no. Gigi Ray trained at the Top Talent Wrestling Academy in Edmonton, Alberta. And there's that athleticism with ducking that big wild clothesline, ducks it again. And here comes Gigi Ray, the former college basketball player, has got Jasmine Lord literally on the ropes, and now maintains arm control. Oh my God, that's sliding G. Sliding G forearm here. Oh, only got a two count. Great athleticism on display here. Gigi in the corner. Looking to take her game up, and now she's going up the top rope. Jasmine Lord caught her in position, though. Big forearm to the face here. That's the risk you take moving away from your opponent. Giving her a breather is always a risk, and Jasmine Lord took advantage of that. Now he's clubbing blows, circling all the way in the back, back of the neck. This is not good. Jasmine Lord all the way up to the top, looking for a head scissors, and connects with it out. Frankensteiner off the top. My God, hooks the far leg. Oh, only a two count. Two and three quarters, hooks the leg again. This Jasmine Lord, and again, only got a two count. Here's the third cover here. Gigi Ray again kicks out. Rolling to her stomach here. Jasmine Lord cannot believe that was a devastating, beautiful Hurricane Rana, that head scissors that, that 
Almost a Frankenstein off the top rope, and then got caught. Gigi Ray caught Jasmine Lure with that kick. Gigi Ray again. Got caught the last time going back up to the top rope here. Jasmine Lure in position here. Oh, and she caught her. Gigi from the block connects. And that's it. Beautiful and devastating blockbuster off the top that Gigi from the block connected and a huge victory here for Gigi Ray. Um, Catalina Perez has obviously been killing it. Sky Blue, I've only seen a little bit of her, but this is a this is interesting. This is a step up for both these women. I would, as far as the uh, international appeal or national, uh, Catalina Perez has really never wrestled somebody of the likes of Sky Blue, and Sky Blue has never really come to the home here in Florida and wrestled somebody like Catalina Perez. Well, Sky Blue is the unofficial, official adopted daughter of Generation Championship Wrestling, and if you go back to the uh, Diamond Cup tournament a couple months back, she had three wins in a row in the same night. And she beat Catalina Perez that night. We'll see what happens here tonight in Tampa. As far as the size advantage, I want to give it to Catalina Perez just by a little bit. They're similar build, similar height. Oh, wow. Catalina definitely has the experience. But Sky Blue is feisty and has very little quit in her. Nice lock up here, yeah. Catalina with wrist control. Spins through. Sky Blue, top wrist lock, I'm oh, sorry, wrist lock. Wow, nice. Pulls her back. Went for the ropes and she squatted down just to get her weight down. Hammer lock here. Wow, Catalina pulling the hair. Reverses the hammer lock. Sky Blue working down. Seated position, rolls through. Some gym breaks. Oh, nice. Pulls the leg. I love a good chain wrestling sequence. See how she has her foot on Catalina Perez's Extra other foot? Extra pressure. Making not sure, it's not even extra pressure, it's making sure that Catalina doesn't have a base to stand on. Absolutely right. Wow, rolls spins through, through. rolls. Body scissors. Whoa, she had herself in a pin. I think she was going for um, the Romero special there, but shoulders back. Trying to get a pin at all costs. Wow, grabs a choke. What? Oh, wow. This is nice. That was smart. Snatched that choke. And you see it in, in combat sports, you see it in UFC. Once you grab a real naked choke, it's lights out. It certainly can be. 90 seconds to make life-changing choices. Wrist lock here. Yeah, top wrist lock. I'm calling the top wrist lock. Swims through into the arm lock, into the arm bar. Modified arm bar there. Catalina in full control right now. Wow, you see that bridge? That was nice. She's Spins very through. flexible. She's a, she's a genuine athlete. Nice headlock, headlock takeover. takeover. Nice, solid move. Sky Blue is in full control, but oh, as I scissors. say that, head scissors, but Sky Blue is in a position where she can clearly get out of. I think she's toying with Cal she Catalina Perez here. Floats fun. over, hooks Pin. the jackknife. Ref a little late there, though. That could have been a two. Don't well, talk about Ref Julie like that. Come hey, on, man. Now. Call a spade a spade. Ref Julie's amazing, but we all have our little mistakes. I have never made a mistake in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. Generation Championship Wrestling, proud to bring you this Diamonds Division match. Sky Blue, Catalina Perez. Yeah, live on Title Match Network. That's right. Oh, ripcord. Rolls back. So they're spinning head wow. scissors. Eddie Guerrero style. Very nice. That was beautiful, man. Very nice. Missa, a sky girl. How about that iron man? At the head scissors. Oh, sky leg. blue charges. Bridges out of the pin. Oh, not smart little enough though. Cocky. School boy. Little that was really cocky. smart. Just a little bit. Picks out the leg. Oh, she went for the bridge too, but she couldn't get it. Wait. Crucifix kicks out. 
gets her shoulder up and rolls out of the way to make sure there's not another pin. There you see that sky blue pose, that trademark sky blue pose. So young but so cocky. Well deserved, especially here in Generation Championship Wrestling. Her only loss standing with Queen Aminata. Baddest, baddest woman on the planet, man. Close. There is no close, she is. Here we go. Oh, Sky ducks under. Ducks under. Whoa! Whips her Julie in. almost got caught there. Right into the corner. Oh, oh nice heel kick. kick. High kick. Got the bulk of her knee, spin through. Back Big forearm. handspring forearm. Yeah. Sorry, not spin through. I'm, I'm all messed up it's after okay. that. It's okay. I got you, buddy. Oh. Nice elbow. Solid elbow. Whips her in. Yeah. Takes her time. Sky blue charges. Oh, wow, innovative offense. She slipped through the ropes. Oh, big NC. She slipped through the ropes. Just to lean her body back to catch her with that high kick to the face. That was nice. Catalina front face lock. Suplex. Hooks her up. Going for it. Oh, suplex. Yes. Gordon Sully. Oh. Oh, nice kick. Sabat. High Sabat. Right to the side of the, side of the head. Right to Temple. Sky Blue holding the high ground, as it were, ringside. What? I know for your test, I get to breathe. Catalina Perez trying to Sky catch her Blue, uh, Really asking the question, you know, why is she stalling? But look, she just got kicked in the head. She's rocked. She's taking that time. If wrestling had a timeout, it would be this. There's nothing wrong with taking your time. Absolutely nothing wrong with taking your time. Oh, Sky oh, goes for the kick. kick misses. Whoa, electric oh, no. chair. Oh. oh, on the apron. I feel like we saw that somewhere before, but I can't name Vicious, it. vicious. Right there on the outside. Sky blue. Slams her on the apron. Sky blue in trouble. Kind of leave Perez. This is what she does best. She takes her time. She slows down the pace. Chop to the chest. Oh, he's getting a... Oh, oh, another hard talk. Sky Blue might have hurt her hand there, but steps back in. Catalina trying to get her bearings. Whoa! The eyes. I think she raked her eyes there. Just, yeah. My chest is already hurt. Yeah, that's kind of what Chops do. Using the knee. Second rope, using that five count. Catalina's stomps are very unique. It's less of a, a stomp and more of a, a, of a sidekick. Right. And Nothing honestly, wrong with that, that. That gives like, that gives a different perspective because she's going right after the face rather than stomping a mud hole. You know? little, little, little style, little flair. Oh my God. Catalina Perez rolls her over, hooks the leg. Only a one. Guy Blue showing a lot of fight here. Deep chin lock. On, See how she's back. wrenching it? Yep. Locking Making it, it mean something. No, no, no. You can see the veteran instincts because a lot of people lock in that chin lock and they just hold it there, make sure it's squeezed tight. But Catalina with that extra viciousness. Make, oh, right, oh talk God. About viciousness. Wrenching it, making sure it hurts, but Catalina Perez, huge back elbow. Her off, catches the boot, yeah. throws her off. Oh, huge chop! But her leg is stuck yeah. on the middle. Nope, never mind. Alex Todd is a big fan of Alex. What I will say though is Catalina needs to take this to the next level. She needs to step it up in here, put a little bit extra aggressiveness on, like that. Early in this match still. We'll see how it goes. She'll Sky reverse. Blue oh, and the elbow. with a knee of her Excuse own. Me, the knee. Oh, swims through. Knee lift there. Catalina hits the ropes. 
Big forearm by Sky Blue. Sky Blue hits the ropes. Big forearm by Catalina Perez. Oh, big knee. Sky Blue follows. Catalina follows. Another big forearm. Oh, God. You can tell these girls are spent. Oh, super kick to the jaw. Oh, drops down, catches her with a kick of her own. Both ladies down, center of the ring. Like a side Pele there, that was nice. That was very nice. Clothesline, flying clothesline at that. Closer up, spinning oh, neckbreaker. Oh, shake, rattle, and roll, baby. One, two. Oh. You don't see that very often. It's one of my favorite moves. Sky blue. Whoa. Up, goes for the high kick. Whoa, big form to the back. Oh, oh. he's driven. Half and half, cover, hooks the leg, no. A rig side announcer is losing it too. Love it. These fans are into this match. How can you not be both these talented ladies putting it all on the line here in the Diamond Division? What a special GCW. event, man. Absolutely. Oh gosh, earlier tonight, Oh, oh, my God. That was the oh, hardest chop of this match. God. And I feel like if Catalina throws stuff like that every time, it'll give her so much more father. Oh, big lifter, European uppercut. Oh, that one made a sound. Oh. Oh. Oh, big forearm, but Sky Blue box it. Fight oh, pump kick. Oh my God, right in the face. Bicycle kick to the face. Uh-oh, he's got the cutter. No. Went for the backstabber, missed it. She went for the backstabber, I think Rolls she Rolls her up. Whoa, the bridge. the bridge. Two. Whoa. Sky Blue steals it. Sky Blue still on a roll. is finally over. After much anticipation, finally returning to Hurricane Pro, the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Heather Monroe, putting that championship on the line against the money, Renee Michelle. This is gonna be a real treat. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network. And there you see the champion, Heather Monroe, draping Hurricane Pro Senior Official Radio. And uh, Renee Michelle doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with that. Renee Michelle undefeated since returning here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling, earning this shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Heather Monroe's personal photographer, Chad Cooper, getting adorned on the outside. And Heather Monroe having some fun making a return here tonight in Beaumont, Texas at Ford Park. Going to tie up with Renee Michelle, the challenger who wants nothing to do with the champion. Renee Michelle is not going to take this opportunity lightly. And Heather Michelle, she likes to have a lot of fun here at Hurricane Pro, but she cannot underestimate the challenge. Though again, it doesn't seem that Renee Michelle wants anything to do with this matchup. 
Again going to the ropes. Got a bit of a ring in my ear. Renee screaming to the referee to get her off her in the ropes. HPW Women's, women's Championship on the line. And now Renee calling for a, a timeout because she needs, she needs to do some pre-match stretching apparently in the corner. In all seriousness, Renee, I mean, at some point, it's going to happen. These two women are going to have to tie up in the middle of the ring. Renee playing some mind games with the champion here. I'm trying to catch her off guard, and she does. This is that strategy all along with a side headlock from the challenger, the money Renee Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Nice takedown. Don't let her appearance fool you. Renee Michelle, as beautiful of any of the competitors in the women's division, she has a legit MMA background. She's been performing mixed martial arts since the age of four, believe it or not. She's very experienced. She's trying to roll out of it. And again, nice switch. The side headlock again goes to Challenger. It's been some time since we've seen the champion Heather Monroe here at Hurricane Pro. You know she wanted to eagerly come back and defend that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Did you know she does not want to start 2021 losing that championship to someone like Renee Michelle? Michelle has been complete control thus far as Heather Monroe trying to work her way out of it. Works a side headlock of her own. That's the killer bay. Renee not off the hair. She's the back ropes, whips her off. And waist lock to the full Nelson. An arm drag from the champion. And that's why she's the champion here. Oh! Got caught with a stiff elbow. And they trying to throw the champion to the outside. Lands on the apron. Oh! Got a stiff kick right to the back of the head. Referee demand they get back in the ring. You see Adam Monroe showing off. For this great crowd here in Beaumont, Texas, thank you for joining us here at Ford Park. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network for Hurricane Pro Wrestling. We could not do this without your support. 2020 was not the year for anyone, and we look to change that here in 2021. We appreciate you always supporting Hurricane Pro Wrestling with a senton from the champion. Goes for the cover. And a two count. First cover of this matchup. Yeah. Heather Monroe from SoCal, California, train at the famed Santino's Brothers Wrestling Academy. As well versus so many styles. And there you see. Big splash in the corner, setting Renee up. And Renee Michelle wisely avoids contact, slipping to the outside. Much the chagrin of this audience. This Renee Michelle playing a very defensive minded matchup here. Not the kind of offense that this crowd would like to see. The smart strategy she wants to become champion. Heather Monroe right behind her. Oh! Slip elbow right to the face. You know the money's not gonna like that. Two women on the outside, referees count. Now up to four. They gotta get back in the ring. Hate to see a championship contest end like this in a count out. Seven. 
Referee now up to seven. So we'll go back and forth on the outside. Now finally breaking almost on nine. Renee dropped the elbow and Heather Monroe wisely slips out of the way. And again, come on is right. Fool me once, shame on you. All these vicious elbow attacks from Heather Monroe in this contest. It's momentum. And it looks like Renee Michelle is done playing games with Heather Monroe. That was a vicious clothesline taking the champion down. The world was her oyster. She had all the momentum in the world before she had a terrible MCL and ACL tear a couple of years ago, and she has fought back to get back into competition. And since returning to the squared circle, she has been incredibly dominant, but has yet to put championship gold around her waist because she could change all of that here tonight. And she's able to knock off the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. But she's not going to get an argument with the referee. She's got to stay on offense. Keep that tenacious viciousness attacking Heather Monroe. You know, women's wrestling has become a mainstay in the professional wrestling business. And Renee Michelle would like nothing more than to become the face of that division. Beautiful bridge with a suplex. Only gets a two count. Women's revolution born out of the Divas Revolution. And Renee Michelle does not consider the word diva a dirty word. She does not compare herself to her peers like Heather Monroe or Miranda Alizé. She puts herself on a tier with people like Beyonce and Jessica Rabbit of all the ludicrous comparisons she's, she puts on herself. And that's why she calls herself the money because wherever she goes, the money follows. Again, goes to the cover. And you see the frustration on the face of Renee Michelle. Maybe she stops focusing on people like Beyonce and I mean and Jessica Rabbit and focus more on the athleticism that she needs to demonstrate like that. Rolls through, does the champion Heather Monroe? Oh! Renee Michelle able to get up, but then Heather Monroe catches her. It's almost a Koji clutch. Not able to wedge that leg over just enough. Renee Michelle trying to reposition into a cover, forcing Monroe to release the hold. Heather Monroe trying to put that, that lock on. Didn't get all of it. Big back kick from Renee Michelle. The money Renee Michelle. And if she's able to capture the women's championship here tonight, she will indeed be the money here at Hurricane Pro. Stomp, stomp, and stomp on Monroe in the corner. Now come on, putting that foot in the throat, deep in the throat of Monroe, breaks on four. And use those feminine walls and the referee's not, I don't think it's gonna get her anywhere. Oh, Monroe catching her, rolls her up. Got a two count. Another kick. Those precision kicks from Renee Michelle. Monroe again trying to roll through. Connor almost a small package. And now Renee rolling up Monroe again. Back and forth we go. The Hurricane Pro Women's Championship at stake here. Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. I'd like nothing more than a big W on her return here to Hurricane Pro Wrestling. She sets Renee up, goes for the kick. No, and Renee returns it. Oh, got caught her right on the face. And the champ, uh, the champion looks like she's out of it. That might be all of it. Hooks the far leg. Oh. Two and three quarters. Oh, 
Oh, and a chin breaker from the champion. And another clothesline. Monroe's got to build some offense here. Every time she tries to pick up steam, Renee's been able to catch her off guard. She's got to stay on it. It's the fighting spirit of the Killer Bay. Oh! The bitch better have my money! No! That's one of Heather Monroe's time tested signature maneuvers. An apropos maneuver to put on the money, Renee Michelle, but it was only enough to get a two count. Now she's setting her up. Oh, rolls her own through again. Oh, only got a two count. Again, rolls through. Two count again. Roll up after roll up. Now going for a backslide. And she leverages her in. Oh man, only two count again. Kick, roll up, kick, roll up. Back and forth we go. Who's gonna end this one out as the women's champion? Stiff kick right to the face. Here we go. No, again, only two. And you see frustration starting to build on both the champion and the challenger. Oh, wait, whips are off. Reversal from Renee. Up, up and over. Out to the outside of the Renee Michelle. Catches the champion with the forearm. Shoulder into the midsection. Slides through the legs. Another roll up. I'm grabbing the bottom rope. No, wait a minute. Referee caught it. Moran trying to argue with the referee that she had, doesn't know what he was talking about. Cannot use the ropes for leverage. Great call from the referee. Now Renee with the waist lock. Going for a German. Heather catches her. Full Nelson. Another waist lock reversal. Reversal again. Off the ropes. Catches her up, oh, the bad Vigianoko driver. Is that enough? Yes! There is your winner, and still, the Pink Pro Women's Champion, Heather Munro. Censored Rumble 6, all for a chance to become, or excuse me, the challenge, the next Spirit Champion. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of people that are going to be gunning after Jessica Havoc's world title. Let's see who's going to be next in line to go after Marty Bell. We have Taylor Hendricks and Shanna starting off the action here in the sixth Uncensored Rumble. Taylor Hendricks bragging about a short-lived gut check career oh. as Shanna attacks the knee of TV's Taylor Hendricks. Well, right now, Shannon is looking impressive against Taylor Hendricks. We saw her earlier tonight. You have to imagine that Taylor Hendricks has a little bit of a one-up on some of the, most of the competitors, as most of the competitors have already competed once tonight. Yeah, but she's certainly at a disadvantage drawing number one. You're exactly right. Yeah, you know what? Very rarely in these type of matches that number one or two make it that deep into the competition later on in the match. But these two have a lot to prove tonight. Shan is debuting in the United States. Taylor Hendricks coming back to the independent women's wrestling scene. Now we have a new participant every 90 seconds, if I'm correct. You're correct. And the way to be eliminated, you just have to be thrown out of the ring anywhere on the ring and both feet have to touch the floor. Both feet touch the floor. You don't necessarily have to go over the top rope, although that's what Taylor Hendricks is looking to do right here. It counts for style points. Here we go. Who's gonna be next coming out? Sammy Tutano! 
I didn't know that she was a wrestler. Well, apparently she's gonna try it. She tried to teach me flute once. I didn't completely understand. She's gonna watch going out. On. She's gonna get caught in the line of fire. Is she trying to like officiate the match now? I think she's actually trying to tell the other two that they should team up and wait for the competitor number four. <laughs> um, I don't think Flyer Skates are gonna approve of this. Why? Are they trying to be the female nation? I think it just broke. Whatever smoking device she had. What is that, a peace pipe? Have marijuana in Portugal. Oh, it's on light. Our light she doesn't have any more fluid in the lighter fluid. Shana, oh, oh, she seems more content to go smoke. She and seems more content to go smoke than, than challenge for the spirit title. And the THC fueled competitor just finds herself passed out on the floor. Well, that's going to leave us with Taylor Hendricks and Shanna competing for a chance to face off against Marty Bell at a future WSU event. Here we go, We've got another countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, kick to the midsection. Well, here comes Cherry Lane, she made her WCA debut. Four, at the Secret Show last night, falling short to Sassy Stephanie. Cherry Lane, well, if she'd only debuted at the Secret Show, this would be quite a coup for her, coming and oh, no. winning the Uncensored Rumble. Uh, a little too oh. gingerly. Approaching this match, oh. and just as quick as she's in, she's out. Taylor Hendricks shattering dreams. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Taylor Hendricks basking the glory for too long, and Shannon trying to toss Hendricks out now. Got her halfway over that top rope, but look at Taylor Hendricks now grabbing a hold of the neck yeah, I mean, this and is the head. A, this is obviously a contest that's very different than your typical wrestling match. Not only do you have to worry about all these uh, opponents coming out in different intervals, but you're not trying to pin your opponent. You're not trying to get them to submit. You're trying to get them out of the ring. Yeah, that's so a totally different strategy you're going to come into a bout like this. Yeah, that's why sometimes you don't want to do high impact moves in a match like this. You want to make wait sure that you can curl their carcass outside of the ring like Shayna is attempting to do now. Yeah. Taylor hit her trying to use those legs to grapevine around the rope so she can balance herself. We should better let go of those ropes now. That could be her undoing as Shayna is now kicking her in the midsection with Taylor Hendricks falls safely back on the inside of the ring. Of course, I believe there's 28 competitors scheduled for this year's Uncensored Rumble. Athena out with a shoulder injury. Jessica Havoc not in the house today. Oh, we're having our fourth entrant right now. Excuse me, fifth entrant. Oh, here comes Nikki Adams. Haven't seen her in a while here at WSU. Nikki Adams, a blast from the past here. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait a second. Not looking to make friends, looking to get herself a shot at a championship. Hey, this isn't a business where you try to make friends. This is a business where you try to get to your top. Well, I mean, top. if you haven't been competing for WSU regularly, uh, one way probably to secure bookings would become a number one contender for one of the titles. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I'm sure she would love to get a piece of Marty Bell. It was Marty Bell that defeated her in her last match in WSU at full steam ahead. Oh, there goes Adams off the ropes. And Shannon and Hendricks actually teaming up right now. You're going to see some brief alliances in a match like this. They might not last long, but they will be effective while they're working together. Oh. Right now, that's not looking too effective as Adams taking it to both Shanna and Taylor Hendricks. Talking some trash, she pulls Hendricks back up. He's gonna be looking to send her over the top rope. Oh, through. Uh oh. Hendricks holding on for dear life. Shannon, she's gonna eliminate both women right now. And she's trying to toss Adams over the top rope. Well, Hendricks saves herself back in the ring. Adams dangerously on the ring apron, but rolls right back in. Oh my god, what a bum rush from Taylor Hendricks. You said these alliances do not last long. Things are gonna start getting a little hairy here at the Uncensored Rubble. As Santana, as Santana makes her way back down to the ring. You said Harry, the source of her power, or so I've been told, is that ha that hairband, that headband. What's it called? That's the only part of her that's hairy. Let's be honest about here. Let's be nice. Oh my God. 
only you take that one on CZWIPBB.com and not on In Demand or whatever. Santana, though, you know, she seemed very friendly, but she had no problem going on the attack as she entered the ring. And Santana looking to toss out Taylor Hendricks. That would that'd be oh. quite. But Quite a victory. Very effective by Taylor Hendricks. Of course, it was Santana and Taylor Hendricks one on one last night at the WSU Secret Show. Again, going to be available soon at streamwsu.com. So, some unresolved issues between these two competitors. It was Santana Ooh. Garrett that picked up the victory last night, and she's looking to repeat here at the expense of Taylor Hendricks. Santana looking vicious on the attack of Hendricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, Shayna trying to kick. Adams out of the ring. Oh, that stiff drop kick right to the chin. Again, she doesn't have to throw over the top rope. If she can just even slide her into the bottom rope and both of those feet touch the floor. That's another elimination. And we have to be getting close to a, another entry. Here it is. Eight, seven, six, Number six. Five, four, three, two, one. Who's next? It's not Goldberg. Oh, here comes Caitlin Diamond. Participant number seven, Caitlin Diamond. She fell short last night, teaming with Jody DeMilo against Addie Starr and Zandra Bell, who were both victorious today and still yet to enter the Uncensored Rumble. Diamond sizing up all of her competition, picking her spot. Hey, you want to take your time getting in the ring when you see all these women battling. Shanna not in a very comfortable position right now. As oh, Adams no. and Diamond teaming up on her. Take a look at the exchange going on between Santana Garrett and Taylor Hendricks, though. She's trying to use a head scissors to take her over the top rope. Well, Taylor Hendricks now in a dangerous position. Yeah, and when you know the when these matches, the room. you know when these matches get their most dangerous when there's an odd number of competitors exactly in there. Exactly right. Because that's when you see that gang mentality. But then again, how about this? Shayna, she's just taking the opportunity to catch a breather. Yeah, she's Shana, been in here right from the start. Shayna, very smart, as she does it. Taylor Hendricks, though, keeps herself in the middle of the action. And Taylor Hendricks definitely has something to prove coming back here to WSU. And Shayna still, still staying rested on the, in the far corner from us. Who's number lucky seven? Five, four, three, two, one. Get her, get her, get her. Oh. Here comes Jules Malone. Jules Malone. You know, something I want to bring to your attention. Just a few minutes ago, we saw Nikki Adams was choking her opponent in the corner. The referees are not in this match to call for disqualification. They're just there on the outside. We've got three of the four sides that are in cover to see if, they're, if the competitor's feet touch the floor. Well, right now, Jules Malone looking to impress again here. Both corners of the ring, you see it, like you said, that gang mentality, double teaming going on. We've given a lot of new wrestlers a lot of opportunities over the last few days, but this could be the biggest one of them all. A virtual unknown could have been entered into this match and could be challenging for Marty Bell's spirit title on an upcoming WSU event. Well, this is the ultimate opportunity here tonight. You know, I wasn't familiar with Jules Malone before this weekend. She went one and one a victory last night, defeated by Barbie Hayden tonight, but I would love to see what she could do in the ring with Marty Bell. She definitely impressed me tonight with her in her earlier match. And she could impress me tonight by just tossing out a few women and getting herself a shot at the Spirit title. But right now, it's not looking good for Santana as Shayna, oh, oh, wait a second, Santana. Holding on for dear life, but she's still on the outside of the ropes, you know, and that's a very dangerous place. It takes a lot of upper body strength and a lot of energy to hold on to a maneuver like that. She's back in the ring, but she's not safe. Oh, athletic ability there shown by Santana, and here comes Sassy Stephanie. Uh, she is miserable. She's got a wild hair across her ass over what went down with her and her partner in the Midwest Militia earlier today. And word has already gotten back to me that Jessica Havoc heard what Sassy Stephanie said about her. I'm not gonna comment any further. Yeah, you don't wanna get in the middle of No, 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 no. Definitely not. Gotta keep your champions happy. And Sassy Stephanie is looking to pick her spot, and she's picked Santana right now. And Sassy Steph will love another opportunity 
the challenge for another championship to add her resume. Absolutely, she wants to prove herself not only as a tag team competitor, but a singles oh competitor. Imagine if Sassy Stephanie was afforded the opportunity to go one on one with Jessica Havoc for the WSU World Title. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder whether or not she would take that opportunity. It wasn't that long ago where Jessica Havoc held both the Spirit and World Championships at the same time. And maybe Sassy Stephanie's looking to one up Jessica Havoc now. The action is all over the ring right now. And once again, Portugal's perfect athlete taking a breather in the corner. She's employing Portugal's perfect strategy. Caitlin Diamond the, facing the two-on-one attack from Nikki Adams and Jules Malone. Wait a second, Sant Shayna picking her spot right now, trying to kick Sant Santana out. And we have a new competitor. Here comes Sandra Bell. She impressed in our pre-show here earlier this evening. Sandra Bell, after her victory, being afforded the opportunity to participate in the Uncensored Rumble. And out of all the women that have competed tonight, she is the most well-rested. Sandra Bell going right after Caitlin Diamond after the exchange that they had last night. And Caitlin Diamond using her size advantage to throw the more diminutive Bale back into the corner. It seems like every woman has found themselves an opponent here, and they're all, all fighting, clawing at each other. And right now we have Adams trying to toss out Jules Malone, but Jules Malone hanging on to Weren't the- Weren't they working together a second ago? Like I said, there's gonna be brief alliances exactly. in this one. Oh, it looks at Taylor Hendricks. Taylor Hendricks almost, almost being eliminated there by Sassy Stephanie. Taylor Hendricks holding onto the ring apron. Santana Garrett using that side of the ring to build up some momentum, taking Shayna down with that clothesline. And that's something you're not gonna get a lot of in a match like this with so many competitors. Almost having the ring entirely to yourself, the whole side. It's gonna be very, very difficult, especially the more oh, Wait a second, wait a second, look at Shayna. She's trying to, oh, she held on from the bottom rope. That's even more impressive. She just shaved the cat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Who do we got next? No. No. Oh! <laughs> One of the trainees here at the CZW Academy oh. making her professional debut. That's where I've seen her. <laughs> you know, her professional debut, how many rookies can you honestly say have gotten a chance to enter in a match like this, come out on top and get a shot at a championship? Should that go in her favor? Well, I believe we do have a second Academy graduate coming into this match later on. She's wrestled before and she's jacked. Right now Santana might have Portugal's perfect athlete eliminated. Adams and Diamond teaming up to toss out Jules Malone. Bale being dropped down by Hendricks. Now Hendricks- Is gonna bite her foot? She's trying to eat the feet. What is going on? Oh. Don't even say it, don't even say it. Hey, take a look at the other corner. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Trying to get Sassy Stephanie out of the ring is Barracuda Brittany and Taylor Hendricks. But in the corner that has our focus, Santana Garrett just trying to push Shanna out of the ring. Shanna trying to get parallel with that ring post. Oh, wait a second. The outside. Wait a second, look at Malone powering, powering. Diamond on her shoulders trying to toss her up, but the Diamond's got a hold of the ropes and Malone at the same time. Yeah, but Barracuda Brittany, she got tossed out by Zandra Bale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And who is our next competitor? Oh, here we go. Listen to this. Look at it, even the uncensored rumble is beneath this woman. Listen to the ovation she got though, coming out the ringside. I mean, she was impressive earlier. Did you see the line she had over the table? I didn't think we were gonna be able to come back from intermission. Hey, like I said, a star was born earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon. Well, look, she's taking her good old time, entering this match, taking a drink of her water, posing for the camera. Hey, she doesn't pose for free for pictures. Well, meanwhile, Nikki Adams has been eliminated. 
Uh-oh. Taylor Hendricks showing some jealousy. I don't think it's jealousy. I think she wants Barbie Haney to get in the ring so she can put the hurting on her. I don't think she should hold the rope for Barbie. Well, this is a good strategy. As long as she takes to get into the ring, she can't be eliminated. Meanwhile, Santana driving Malone back into that corner. Well, Shayna, oh. though. Shayna causing a distraction, probably not accidentally, onto Barbie. So Taylor Hendricks can just go to work it, it, like, on this former Miss Texas. Hennigan almost, almost did a stupid thing looking to get some rest and almost eliminated herself. And here's Hendricks and Shayna now teaming up to try to eliminate Barbie. Barbie's still in dangerous territory as we have a new competitor, and it's Addie Star. A beat down Addie Star, who earlier this afternoon, at the hands of Chris Dickinson and Shayna, did yep. a heavy, heavy beating. But if there's any woman that could really survive in a Rumble style match, it would be Addie Star. That's true, but this isn't a one-on-one -on -one match she's going to do. This is right now, so we see there are 10 competitors in the ring that she has to deal with. Sassy Stephanie attempting to eliminate Shayna. And Addie Starr going to work on Diamond. Meanwhile, Santana nearly has Jules Malone eliminated. Oh, Barbie Hannigan trying to eliminate T Taylor Hendricks. Driving that forehead right into the top turnbuckle. Now practicing her stretches as she chokes out Taylor Hendricks, but the hardcore princess, she's still got beef with yeah. Barbie. And now, and now, Barbie now being, being attacked by a pack of wolves almost by Hendricks and Malone. Here we go, we have a new competitor. Oh, oh, what why? the hell? Get this fun gooliated mess out of here. I There's love it. There's absolutely no control in WSU right now if this man is in the uncensored rumble. Whipping these fans into a frenzy is Chris Dickinson, ready to take out some pent up aggression on Addy Starr, it looks like. Oh, come on, Addy Starr does not deserve this. Shannon's, look at her, Shannon's actually. Oh, what is this? All the women on the attack, and look at Shanna backing completely away from the pack of rabid women beating the hell out of Dickinson. Why would someone do this to Chris Dickinson? Why would Chris Dickinson enter this match? Hey, he's a competitor here at WSU. He, he did compete earlier tonight. Right. Good. I want to see. I want to see the bulldozer versus Marty Bell. Like I hope you he's said, in this match. And Dickinson thrown over the top rope by Eddie Starr. Whatever happened to men's rights? Whatever that's a good. Happened? That's a good question. Men's but not, rights, but not to be ever. asked on this broadcast. I am not getting involved in that argument whatsoever. Oh no! Wait a second, Shanna. What happened to women's rights? Eddie Starr now to add some insult to injury, trying to take out Portugal oh, perfect eight, athlete, but eight, Dickinson eight, put her back eight, in. Six, five, four. I'm making a men's right movement. I don't want to see men fight in their underwear anymore. All right, you go, into, you go into the rumble then, all right? Claudia Del, Claudia Del Sol is not able to compete in a one-on-one -on -one match due to the fact that she had her nose broken earlier today, but insisted, insisted that she enter this match here tonight. She looks like something out of glow. Definitely making her presence known. Oh, coming all the way up from Texas. Oh, she almost eliminated Taylor Hendricks. Coming up all the way from Texas. Again, she had her nose broken in that match oh, last no. night. That's a fellow Texas. She was teaming with Barbie Hayden last night. Yeah, but it's all on the line. It's that Spirit Championship. This opportunity of a lifetime is the uncensored rumble. And it looks like Diamond. Oh! Everyone feeling the wrath of Del Solis. Oh, but Malone now trying to reason with it, with her, but it's not working. Attacking her like a wall. God Almighty! What is she biting? She the screams from Malone. 
She even got Addie Star back in the way. And that's saying something. Addie Star just frightened by Claudia DeSouza right her? after the throw. She came from Texas. You didn't do a background check? I think she scaled the Chupacabra away from Texas. The Chupacabra way in her case. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I like when Emil Jake does the countdown. It's less time I have to spend listening to you guys. Oh. Yes. And you want to announce with us later tonight? Uh, I just lost my CCW spot. Watch out, you never know where she's <laughs> holding. You never know where Andy Social is hiding her brass knuckles. Yeah, that is true. Despite the inspection that Nick Papa Giorgio would love to perform on. Let me let me bring some attention to Barbie Hayden right now, okay? As if she needed any more attention. No, she she's more. positioned herself on that top tone buckle on her own volition where she can see everything that's going on in the ring. However, I think she's at a disadvantage because if somebody comes up quick, they could just dump her off the top. Oh God, look, look, oh. look at the solace. See, see, see? Going right to work on the, on the, Kent, the woman from Kendigan who was born with brass knucks on her hand. She's the one that's really from the streets, bitch. Well, wait a second, wait a second. It looks like Shanna trying to eliminate Addie Starr. A little retribution for eliminating her new boyfriend, I guess you could say, Chris Dickinson. I don't think it's like that at all. Uh, FWB, like that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we yeah. we'll work together once, rare propose. Uh, that does kind of sound like wrestling, though. Oh, oh, my God, oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's how she makes her money. She just hit butter on the mouth. She just knocked her out. out. That's a former Miss oh. Texas. Why would you do that? Taylor Hendricks Five, still in the match, four, and we have a new competitor entering right now. There we go. And you gotta think that Kimberly and Annie Social are gonna be working together, right? She right. You would oh think. My God, she runs right into a big coconut tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, taking down Del Solis. Chick's using nasty tactics, but she's right back up. This woman is like none other I've ever seen in WSU, but she just oh. got eliminated. Yeah, see you next Tuesday, right? I've been waiting the whole rumble to say that. I've been waiting for them to come in. Well, chicks with na using nasty tactics is really what they want to be called. And right now, they're going to continue teaming up, trying to eliminate Taylor Hendricks and Sassy, Sassy Stephanie, Stephanie yeah. yes. And it looks like Bale's about to be eliminated by Barbie. Yeah, she's about Wait to bail from this match, not on her own Santana village. Santana now comes oh, no. from behind. That's not fair. She didn't see Santana coming from behind. And Bale, Bale now trying to get in and eliminate Barbie. Meanwhile, Shayna Double has teaming. Got the rest should be counting to five on the outside. Shayna now continuing the punishment on Addie Star. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Here comes the new number one contender. As I was saying, the new number one contender yes. for the WC World title. Imagine if she had the opportunity to challenge for both the spirit title and the world title yeah. at the same time. Well, look who she's taking advice from. A couple of youngins on the outside. This ring, ring is continuing to fill up with women all looking to earn the prestigious spirit title shot. And there goes Bale. Sassy Stephanie, though, better be careful. She has her back turned to all the other competitors in the ring. Meanwhile, Annie Social and Kimberly continue to team up, beating the hell hey, out of Taylor might. Hendricks. They might team up until the very end, and as you see, Barbie and Santana. Barbie's in a bad position. There she is. Going for that water break, and using that water bottle as a weapon against Santana. You know, I'm disappointed to see Shayna and Alexis fighting. They're both Portuguese. I thought they would have bonded over the Azores. Not when the spirit title shot is on the line. I think it's different when you're from the island and from the mainland. Nine, 
A WSU legend. Yeah, she ends people's careers. She or does. Nia. Yeah. It was either Tanner or Nia getting that spot in the Rumble. I didn't see what happened earlier today, but uh, it didn't sound good if the police had to have uh, get involved. And Taylor Hendricks and Shayna have to take note. They've been in here since the very beginning. And look at Taylor Hendricks backing down Portugal's perfect athlete. We've seen them work together and we've seen them fight. No one can be trusted in this match. Absolutely not. Honestly, I think Shayna is just trying to protect her, her, her career in the ring here, her chance. By cowering down, but it might have been to the disadvantage as Taylor Hendricks now trying to shove her out of the ring. Meanwhile, Kimberly being driven into the corner with some massive shoulders by Lexus. Hey. Uh-oh, Jana. Jenna about to be eliminated here by Eddie Starr. Oh, but she hangs on. She sassy Stephanie and Annie Social teeing off on each other in the corner. On the other side of the ring, you see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Isabel Suena, who has continued to impress with every outing here in WSU, enters the ring for the ultimate chance at a Spirit Championship shot. Yeah, going right after Kimberly, but that was a mistake. Andy Social hitting her right from behind. That's what you got to consider in this match. You know, I said you can't trust anyone, but Andy Social and Kimberly, at least until it's the final couple of people, can trust each other, I believe. Uh oh, Suena shooting that double leg. But sadly, Barbie, Barbie and Steph now. Barbie's in a bad position right now. Yeah, look at Portugal's per perfect oh, athlete. No. She's about to get dumped. Sorry, I was distracted. I know there's a lot going on. It's hard to call a match like this. We've got three referees, three officials. Oh, let's do a five-man booth next year. Where's the Addy Star? Let's bring back John uh, House. Oh God. How about John Harder? What happened to that guy? That's pretty down. What the? Brian Logan. <laughs> All right, uh. Pete. <laughs> right now, so much action in the ring. Just trying to soak it all in. And Shannon now. Oh, the Irish whip into the clothesline. Kimberly and Annie Social on the same page. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, here comes another graduate. Another graduate from the CCW Academy. She's all fired up. She's probably also one of the most jacked athletes in the CCW Academy. Yeah, what a specimen. Hey, when you're talking about, you know, don't use a word like jack a little bit. It's physically fit. Whatever, she's in beast mode right now, going to work on every competitor in the ring. What an opportunity she has in her first WSU outing. Yeah, it's like night and day between Barracuda Brittany and Samantha St. Paul. But nevertheless, the numbers game finally catching up to her. Believe it or not, I had the opportunity to see Samantha St. Paul in action actually against Kimberly at the CGW Academy just a few months ago. She's a very impressive competitor. Uh, probably not to, not to the surprise of anybody, she's extremely strong. Hey. She's a product of DJ Hyde. That's all you need to know. Don't put him any more props. They're great and powerful. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, she's being worked stop. over by Barbie and Lexus. You're going to think maybe Barbie Hayden feeling a little bit threatened. Maybe no. there's a new alpha female in the ring. Nope. They're making things up. <laughs> He's found his, he found his wife tonight. At least this time it's legal. Who's that? Oh, oh a blast from the pass! Uh-oh, the ultimate diva 
in WSU has made his return to WSU here tonight in the Uncensored Rumble. Being showered and welcome back, Chance. He might have a shot in there. Uh, definitely a, a different uh, a different reception than when Chris Dickinson came into the ring. I think he was in the NCAA Heavyweight Finals back in 1996. Do you think we could get a run, we could get away with running Dickinson versus Rick Cataldo? Nah, it'd be a hate crime. I wouldn't hate it. Well, Rick Cataldo taking his sweet time plus getting the he ring. would just get really turned on by Chris's last name. It's like that, uh, huh? I thought we got rid of the men's club. Not rushing to get back in the ring. We see Jana trying to throw out Swainia. Well, the ultimate diva, though, has not stepped in the ring with these female fighters just yet. Surveying the scene. Samantha St. Paul getting Threaded worked over by the chicks. The it's Sassy Stephanie with the back rake. Oh my God, here comes Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose. And I thought uh, Del Solis was nasty. Look at this woman. Might want to watch your words. Right, I'm all the way over here, thank God for that. Oh, just oh. like that, depositing Sassy Stephanie outside the ring. Now oh. targeting the WSU Hall of Famer and Jana. Yeah. There goes Jana. Uh-oh. Oh, trying to take the fight to Samantha St. Paul. I mean, that was a rookie mistake. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Not a bad idea if they team up. That's a good strategy from the young St. Cloud. And Cataldo finally making his way into the ring. Well, maybe. He's still asking it. Cataldo in the past has been more of a manager in WSU than really an in-ring competitor. Hey, one of the most BFFs forming in the corner there with Barbie and Cataldo. I'm not... I'm not surprised. Uh -oh. Oh, wait a second. That might have been a, have been a signal oh, transmission by the Illuminati coming through. Uh oh. How would you describe Cataldo's outfit? Is it bell why. bottoms? Is it a singlet? What is he taking off? Oh, it's um, knee string, I believe. What? <laughs> it's almost like a quail, it's a quail man drink string. <laughs> oh, man, oh. look at that. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh my God! Look at Samantha St. Paul just going to town. She's out of control. Oh, what a oh. Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> and he just feels her up in the process. I don't think I was feeling oh, no. up. Here. Oh shit! Shot him. Just leveled to the outside. Well, the two competitors that started the match aren't going to be finishing it. No. It's starting to get real vicious out here in the uncensored rumble. Things have certainly heated up. The level of aggression, all the competitors realizing the struggle of this match and what's on the line. They're going all out, and we may have seen a casualty because of that. Yeah, Rick Catala definitely making a splash in his return to WSU. Meanwhile, Jesse Brooks taking on that big behemoth herself. I'm sorry for the terrible uh, adjectives, but what else can you call a woman? <laughs> I don't oh my know. God! And she's paying for it too. Oh, oh God no. Almighty! Stink face. Jesse Brooks. Oh no! Oh, he's twerking. He is twerking. Swamp ass face. face. Swamp ass face. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and here we go. Nevaeh is not looking to leave WSU empty-handed here tonight. Nevaeh lost earlier tonight against Lexus for a WSU World Championship shot, and she's going right to work on Lexus, trying to eliminate her. A little retribution. That's what's on OI4K's Nevaeh's mind right now, choking the life out of Lexus. In the corner, we see that behemoth. Trying to take out what I've called many times before, that nine on the Am Romney scale, Kimberly. I will say, if anything, Kimberly changed her, her, her wardrobe. 
professionalism. This is how people dress for success around here. I can relate. Uh, I think Chris, or excuse me, Rick Katana would like to take you on a night on the town. Three yeah, guys, you have to kick a pressure nice mall, or the Cherry Hill Mall, whatever's oh, closer. Kimberly's chances at a shot at Marty Bell, hanging the balance. But look over there. Oh. Right behind them, Samantha St. Paul. Eight, seven, six, five, Christina Von Erie making her way back to the ring now. Yeah, I just want to provide you guys with an update. Oh no! Oh no! From it's the back. Not open eliminated. An update from the back. We've got medics checking on Shayna right now. Oh, wait a second, Kimberly! Oh god. It's gonna take a lot more than that. The strength of that woman. That's like moving a brick wall. It's not gonna move. Yeah, except the brick wall doesn't fight back. Exactly. Samantha St. Paul is not looking good at Santana, trying to eliminate her. One thing you gotta realize about some of these competitors who are trying to throw them over the top rope is a lot of them are shorter than the male athletes we often see in professional wrestling, and it's harder to get that leverage to dump them over the top. That's a very good point. Right. To dump them through the middle or underneath the middle rope. Oh, oh. God almighty! That was the only way they were going to get her out, too. And look at Santana smartly hugging the bottom rope as Isabel Swania tries to eliminate her. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Christina Von Erie taking the walk Well, what a coup Jenny Rose would have returning to the ring for WSU here tonight with a number one contendership for the spear title. And you know what? Very prime spots for Jenny Rose and Christina Bonieri. Wrestling in the opening contest and then getting a late draw into the uncensored rumble. Well, here's an interesting team up here. Christina Bonieri and Samantha St. Paul. Christina Bonieri, one of the trainers of the women in the CGW Academy, teaming up with her trainee. sure why you would save someone as they're about to be dumped to the outside, but maybe there's something we know. Maybe there's secret alliances. Well, Nevaeh now teaming up with Christina Von Erie to attack Jenny Rose. An unlikely combination. Well, it's likely oh, no. when Jenny Rose is that smug attitude she returned with. Oh, no. This being twisted over that apron. Isabel Swainia holding on for dear life. As is Jenny Rose. Sammy St. Paul been eliminated. Saw her in the pre-show. The kickoff, the WXU's Uncensored Rumble. And here she is drawing the prime spot, this 28-woman Uncensored Rumble. Yeah, can originally scheduled to be 30, but injuries, travel issues certainly taking their toll this weekend. All right, let me ask you first, Jake Black. We see the competitors in the ring right now. Who's your money on? Who do you see wrestling Marty Bell? Barbie, clearly. Uh-oh, bad timing. How about you, Dan? Who's your pick? Right now, I don't know. I mean, Christina Von Erie's been making oh. waves. Wow, Nevaeh. Small piece of retribution for Nevaeh. Yeah. I don't know. My pick right here, I think I'm going to be going with Jenny Rose. I think Jenny Rose is hot on the comeback. That is true. Right now, any one of these women could walk out with that coveted championship shot at a future WSU event. Of course, one thing that may be working against Jenny Rose is that she doesn't have, some, uh, excuse me, Sammy Giordano, Veda Scott, or Jesse Brooks there by her side like she did when she defeated Christina Von Erich earlier tonight. Maybe she can summon them for support, moral support. Christina, Kimberly's in a lot of trouble in the corner. 
Cena Von Erie now taking it to Barbie. Number 28's in a lot of trouble too, standing on that apron. Oh, Santana now impressive. Oh, and I think Santana may have eliminated. She did that for you, Dan. She did that for you. I think Santana no, I may have eliminated I think that's more. That's for her own good. That's for her to become a future champion here, possibly. I think Santana may have eliminated more than anyone else tonight in this matchup. I don't, I don't know. Wait, well, Santana Swing is still in this match. Looking to eliminate Santana. Meanwhile, Jenny Rose with those shoulder blocks driving Mave. Oh, no! Oh, no! She is that? so getting a condolence tweet in the next 30 seconds. Oh, look at her crying. Why don't you go give her a hug, Jake? Well, I'm working. There's going to be a riot here. Before. There's going to be a riot. Vaneri taking her down. Oh, right. Oh, wait, she's she's, back, back, she's in back in. What's Entrant number 29. She didn't even want anybody to hold the ropes for her. Entrant number 29. She's refusing to leave, refusing to leave the match. Barbie Hayden's twin. Arby's Hayden. Yeah, she's sponsored. She's got a sponsor. That's Arby's Hayden. Wait a minute. You know what I just realized? Kimberly just eliminated Christina Von Eri, and it's... Well, they don't like each other. Yeah, if you remember, at the end of CZW New Heights, last month live on CZW IPBB, Kimberly actually attacked, viciously attacked Christina Von Eri in that whole vicious attack of the campaign on Masada. Yeah, and you just saw Kimberly use foul language against campaign policy against Christina Von Eri. It's, Kimberly's in a weird position here in WSU. Teaming with any social and then still having to, to follow the, the rule book of Drew Gulak. We got we got the final five though. Well, Barbie, these five women are gonna come out and challenge Marty Bell. Well Barbie finally taken to the back, eliminated as Isabel Swainy had trying to eliminate oh. Novea and does so. Novea has been eliminated. Now we're down to the final four. Kimberly, Jenny Rose, Santana Garrett, and Ezevel Suenia. Pick me a winner, Denver, Colorado. Yeah, you're the one that hasn't given us a pick. And we're giving you the odds. No, I picked. Didn't I pick? I picked. I picked Jenny Rose. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry, sorry a lot of My pick's still alive. You picked Lexus and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and I, this I, guy I over here picked Barbie Hayden. You guys, you guys are bad at picking. I had to tweet Barbie. I might have missed some things. I picked Christine Monnieri. Nevertheless, I'm still wrong. But right now, Ezevel Suenia. Back in Santana up into the ropes. On, this mysterious woman from New Mexico oh. has been making waves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But holding on for dear life right now. Yeah, it's Santana. Oh! oh! What a maneuver! And we oh, see Oh, that sucks for Santana. realized that like four or five times right. during this matchup, and that time... Uh, and Santana yelling back at Swain and saying she got lucky, and I think she damn sure did. And Jenny Rose now standing tall in the center of the ring. That's your pick, Denver. Jenny Rose is taking it. What do you want me to tell you? You don't come back hey, from Japan has, this hot. He has inside information. He's WSU's Reddit guy. <laughs> That's oh, good. That's oh, good. I like that second. one. Oh, oh, oh my pick! Wrong. My pick! I guess you're not the Reddit guy. But we have the final two. Kimberly looking to challenge Marty Bell. It will it be this mysterious and unorthodox woman from New Mexico, as you put it, Isabel Suenia. Isabel Suenia kind of quietly, quietly getting to the final two here. Hasn't really made much waves, but I mean, that's what it takes in an uncensored rumble. Stay quiet, stay low, and you're gonna survive. Yeah, certainly the technique, the strategy of this match now changing drastically now that there's only one other competitor that you have to worry about. Nevertheless, I mean, you're still looking to get them out of the ring, but now you get the opportunity oh. to try and wear them down a little bit more. Oh, and Swain almost taken out of the up. ring with that Hurricane Rana. Kimberly now. Utilizing that cut Kun Rana and sending her to the apron, but not enough. I don't think that's what she was talking about earlier. She told you about that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, wait no. a second, wait a second! Oh! Ladies Night Out 13 streaming now.
exclusively on TitleMatchNetwork.com. That happened. 
Lee will protect each other at all costs. And up again. Oh, and drop double Samoan drivers and double pins. Too much breaking it up. Again, Brittany, there's no title on the line here, but this is a ring full of champions, current, present, and future. Anyone who pulls out a victory here is going to be in contention. 100%. I mean, you know, a lot of eyes are on Ladies Night Out, especially during WrestleCade weekend that we're at here. And, you know, they want to make an impact for they themselves. the team into a cover. Oh! oh. Awesome. Oh. They have to break it up. This is one more oh. finish. Oh. And it is really chaotic. What is Roxy doing? Oh! oh. Diving code breaker! Oh, there are bodies all over the place. These are six incredibly hard-hitting individuals. Watch out, Maserati! Beautiful Northern Light, she's holding the bridge! But it gets broken up. And that's again, the problem with any kind of multi-person match, you have to have eyes in the back of your head because getting a pin is one thing, but making sure somebody else isn't coming after you is another. Yeah, particularly in a tag match like this, you have your partner to make the save for you as everyone is down. Everyone is in. It's just a dog pile on top. Oh, going shot to shot. Everyone's paired off. Trying to see if one team or one member of one team might have the advantage. It looks like. Oh, uh oh. Brittany Jane got tossed. Robin is in trouble. Oh, Ronnie fighting back. Gets caught and the Renegades! The Renegade Twins! And that's how it goes down, just like that. So cohesive, so in sync. Able to pull out the victory. The biggest women's wrestling event of the year, Ladies Night Out 13. Streaming now only on TitleMatchNetwork.com. And Black Widow doesn't look at all intimidated by this match. I mean, the stipulation is, uh, I mean, I would be nervous walking into a dog collar match. I mean, look at you. You are going to be tied up to your opponent. With a freaking metal chain, okay. Around so your wherever neck. Wherever you go, exactly. Wherever you go, your your opponent is there, and you can use the dog chain as a weapon. And I'm sure this is no disqualification match. Looks like the ref is having a little bit of an issue trying to get this collar on Sadika. Is that Isaac? That's not Isaac. That is not Isaac. That's not your boy. Why is Jay Davis trying to book up all the way to Sadika? He's barking up the wrong tree. I'll tell you that right now, okay? I tell you that right now. Yo, Black Widow and Sadika are no strangers to each other. We've seen them fight all over the place, all over Texas. Also in Mexico as well. They're very familiar with each other. And, uh, wow. Black Widow's not taking that sitting down either. She's telling the crowd exactly how she feels. <laughs> if you accept this match, a dog collar match against Sadika, you're a badass. You're a badass in my book, all right? If, if you put your pen to that paper and say, Sh yes, I will wrestle Sadika in a you're dog a freaking collar badass. match. Yes. And anything can happen. You knowing that, you accept this matchup. It's not even a match, it's a fight. It's a fight to the death, and that's the scary part of it. Look, I mean, you got people all over the world. That referee needs to watch out, all right? This is, what is this, his first day here? He needs to be careful. <laughs> Don't get in the way. Stay out of the way. 
But you got people all over the country, all over, well, I would say both countries of the United States of America and Mexico. All over the world, let's just say that. All that over the world. Turn down matches with Sadika. Not even dog collar matches in general, just matches in general. They do not want a piece of Sadika. She's scary, bro. And Black we're Widow, starting up she signed the paper. Hot. We got Sadika. Oh, she's trying to get all the corners. Oh. Oy, oy. She, she hit all three quarters. She was going for the last one. Black Widow pulled her with the dog collar. And that's the thing. You can use the chain as a weapon. Definitely. Definitely an advantage. We got Look, got Jay Davis getting in the way. Did you see that? He was oh. hitting. Sadika, are you kidding me? Are you what? stupid? Oh, look, but no, he's got the... Sadika's got her insurance policy, too. Ades is out there going to make sure that this is fair. Well, as fair as a dog collar match can be. I don't think it's fair that they're chained to each other, but... Oh, oh. man. Double kicks to the back. Got one. Two, two. corners that are taps. Uh, takes Black her down Widow. again. Pulls her again. But you see how, how much... Using the chain as a weapon, she's oh, choking her yes. out. Look, she's taking it right to Sadika, which is what you have to do. If you earn Sadika's respect, you've won half the battle. That's the thing. is, which any Anybody she's in the ring with, she, she doesn't respect anybody because she knows that she can pr pretty much beat the crap out of anybody she wants. Oh, double stomp to the stomach. We got one... One corner that's tapped. We got Sadika Two. holding on to the to the chain and pulls oh. it right back. She only Black Widow only got to tap two corners. You have to tap oh. all four corners to win this match. Oh, oh. backbreaker! A back cracker. Back while she while she being choked. Bye. She was just about. To tap that third rope. We got the local crowd here at the Houston Premier Arena. Behind Sadika, who is the fan favorite. Oh, big shots. Oh, Sadika having a problem with her mask, it looks like. A rock bottom to Sadika. I was just going to say, Widow. Sadika One. just hit a rock bottom. Two. Just hit rock bottom. I'm sorry. Nope. Black Widow reaching for that turnbuckle. That's the thing. You got to beat your opponents. You got to tire them out. You got to knock them out almost, especially if you're going against somebody that, like Sadika, who's strong, who's known to tolerate pain, all right? You have to put him down so that you're insured to tap all four corners. I was waiting for that to happen and I uh, kind of wish it never did. I saw it and I felt it and it hurts. Oh no. Now we're, we're inside of the, of the playground. Into the chairs we go. And things are gonna get very complicated. You're tied up to each other. You're out of the ring around all these fans that don't mind getting hit, okay? Uh-oh. These people need to move out of the way. What this are is they dangerous. doing? Oh, it's she's very, using very, a cooler. What is she doing? She's using a cooler. She's emptying out a cooler. No way. No way. No, she's don't not. Do it. No, she's not. Oh, my God. Oh. Sadika just poured the cooler and hit Black oh. Widow with the cooler. You can use anything as a weapon. It's a no disqualification match. This is a freaking fight, okay? Anything and everything is allowed. Oh, Black Widow's not out of it, though. It's just water. It doesn't hurt, but it's going to be a she distraction. She hit her with the cooler. Oh, oh. hit her with the freaking chair. Those aren't folding chairs. Those are, like, <laughs> stationary chairs. These are... Oh, you know what? I. What is she doing? Oh, crossbody onto the chair. Black Widow. Oh, my God. What oh, the no. hell what is, is going Davis on? What is he doing? walking down the, the aisle with? The freaking. Are those freaking 
light bulbs? Oh no. This is a recipe for both blood and disaster. People are scattering. Move out of the way, people. You're gonna get caught in the crossfire. And let me tell you, it's, it's not nightmare takedown. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the other side of the building. We can't necessarily see what's going on, but all I know is it's gonna be chaos. There's another chair. Sadly, guys, grabbing another chair. Threw oh. it at Black Widow. Oh no. What is that that she just threw? That looks in like. The ring? Could that be what I think it is? Is that a piece of glass? That's a freaking piece. That's a windshield. That's a vehicle windshield. Oh That's no. A... Oh. She's choking her. And we have Jay Davis walking around with the freaking light bulbs. Black Widow back on top of the reversal. Look. If you see that we're being a little quiet on commentary, we can't necessarily see what's going on. That and I'm, I'm in shock, okay? And we're, and we shock. have Black Widow just pulled Sadika back into the ring. Action is back into the ring. Everybody's on their feet. Nobody wants to miss a thing. Sadika. Oh! oh. Big slam. She's going to go for the corners. She's going to go for the corners. One. Two, three corners. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, she, she almost corner. got it. Black she almost pulls. got the last Sadika's corner. Stock collar. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. Look, I'm not. I don't see an end to this match. I do. Somebody. In the hospital. That's how you finish this up. Oh, she's going for the corners. Was she going for a pin there? I think she forgot. Nah. We have Black Widow. Oh, what's he doing talking to Jay Davis? Oh my God. Black Widow just told Jay Davis to bring the freaking light bulbs. Don't. The light bulbs that's that not I've what she said. i ever since That's brought, not what she said. I saw him bring, bring those. Oh yeah. One corner. It looks like. Jay Davis oh. can't find those light bulbs. It looks like Aris might have hit him. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Everybody stay back, stay back. This is going to get more violent. Todos atrás, más atrás, por favor. Lowrider telling everybody to stay back, which he's... I, I heed his warning. Everybody should stay the hell away from There's these two There's so many luchadors. people that are up on their feet, Lucha right Lora's. around. Jay Davis, what are you doing? And they just need to be cautious to their surroundings. These ladies, they don't care who is around. This is a freaking fight, and they want to win. Okay, they don't care who gets in the way. We have Black Widow tapping one corner. Sadika blocking her, stopping her. Oh no, oh my what are you God. doing? Sadika, don't do it! No! Oh! Oh, yes, that you just saw that. A... Sadika just hit Black Widow with the freaking Going for the corner. Windshield. Oh, what? How is Black Widow How alive? How she's still moving is beyond, How beyond is she me. How still alive it's after me. that? Oh, man. That was a car window. I don't even know how Black Widow is, is even able to function after that. Oh, she's got another one. Oh my Where gosh, she has another. From? She has another one. Oh. oh my God, Diego, what the hell? 
One. Black Widow two, just shattered that car window onto Sadika's three. head. She didn't make I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, she ripped her shirt. Now we're now we're getting now we're getting scared. It's gonna here. hurt, all right. It's gonna hurt. She just took off Black Widow's T-shirt. Oh! And onto the glass. And her onto the onto the glass. She, oh, she's pulling her outside. Yeah, she's she's yanking that collar. She's yanking that collar. Oh no. Sadika removing the, the protective mats that are on the floor. Apparently it's Loco Daddy. You know what? I, did somebody call the cops yet? Because I'm really close to it. These are somebody's sanctuary gonna grounds, all right? Oh my god, Anything her back. and everything is possible. You know, after that shattered glass, I mean, those chops are just, oh. it's a dream, really. I bet. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No. No, Sadika, no. I mean, Suplex. Oh. oh, to the outside. I think I just suplexed Black Widow to the outside of the ring. Remember, keep in mind those rubber mats, that mat protective mats are out. They moved, she, just she picked them up. Concrete first. Oh, what's going on in the ring? We have Aris. going crazy. This whole place is going crazy. Ladies and gentlemen watching at home. We have absolutely no idea how local, how crazy it is live right now wow. at this moment. We have the crowd Jay Davis. up on their feet. The walls are about to burst. Sadika is back on her feet. One. Please we hit all four Jay corners. Jay Davis with the freaking trash bin. I mean. Three. Sadika. Oh, oh Jay Davis Daddy. with the trash can to the back of Otis. One. We got one corner. Two. Two corners that are tapped. Three, Three. corners that are tapped. One more Sadika. Oh, oh you're gonna be kidding me! Jay Davis, Davis just speared Sadika! Are you freaking kidding me? No way. One. Jay Davis is just carrying Black Widow, dragging her, assisting her to Two. tap every single corner. Three, Three. corners. One more corner. One more corner. Four! Black Widow with the win in this crazy ass dog collar match. TitleMatchNetwork.com
underway here. These two very familiar with one another have faced off quite a few times. Both mainstays of the Carolina wrestling scene, Ella Envy and the Spark, Jada Stone. And folks, if you are really familiar with Jada Stone, you are in for a treat. One of the most athletic women going today, but uh, certainly has a bone to pick with Ella Envy. No, absolutely. Has a bone to pick with Ella Envy. But if you ask me, I think Ella Envy asks for it almost everywhere that she goes, especially when it's on the jaw jacket that these two women were doing before the bell sign. Certainly some bad blood and some tension here as Ella Envy not taking it. Some of the, the insults, some of the intended barbs that Jada Stone were throwing towards Ella doesn't seem to have phased her whatsoever. To say despite all that, certainly seems like Ella's still in a good mood here. Let's see how long that lasts once his match gets a little further underway. Well, from what I understand, that mood intends to last for as long as she is one half of the NWA Women's Tag Team Champion. <laughs> Maybe forever at the rate it's going. No kidding. Pretty Empowered has been so dominant as a faction, not only since its inception, but especially over the last several months, as we just saw with Kenzie Page, who is the reigning NWA Women's World Champion, just picked up the inaugural Flawless Championship. Well, we talked about history with Kenzie Page earlier. How about history with Ella Envy, the only woman to hold the tag team title in the NWA three times with three separate partners. Very efficient as Ella Envy. That team division, you could say, very much belongs to Ella over in the NWA, but this is a singles match. And this is something that, while Ella definitely very much a singles wrestler, she has been way more focused in that tag team division as of late with her partner, Kylie. So, I mean, that's got to be something that I imagine going into that match is, and going into this match, if this, if this gets into a major war of attrition between those two athletes, is that somewhere where Jada can have the advantage? Absolutely, could be. And Jada stalling here as Ella Envy. Continuously, just begging her to come forward and now from behind. As to walk around the waist, Jada pumping the brakes. Now sliding under, excellent transition. Going for that German suplex again, but Ella that lower standing strong. The lower center of gravity of Ella Envy, not allowing Jada to take her anywhere. Asking the crowd for their approval. Going after that elbow that Previously targeted. Might not break it, but very easily could hyperextend it and pull him on that elbow just like that. Not exactly how Jada Stone thought her flawless debut would go. Ella with the leverage here. Jada manages to break out. Oh, uses Ella's own hand to slap her across the face. I thought my eyes deceived me, but no, apparently we saw the same thing wrong. Taking a little bit too much time, paying attention to the crowd, not noticing Ella Envy posted up in that corner. Going low, sweeping the legs. Face first goes Jade, and now. Slip to the mat of Jada Stone. so far in this match. It really, seems cover. it really seems like Jada Stone is, I don't want to say not taking Ella seriously, but definitely not giving her the respect that she should as a fellow competitor, let alone a champion. And if anything's going to come back to bite Jada in this match, it's going to be that disrespect. Well, I certainly think that disrespect stems from the history that these two have against each other. Certainly bitter rivals. Off the ropes, Jada's hair wrapped around, slowed her down a little bit. This crowd here in Sevierville, Tennessee, loving what they're seeing tonight. Such a great night of action. We are only just a couple of matches into this car. Notice the focus of Ella's attack still going after that elbow. As Jada found Jada. Looking to stretch out those legs, trying to touch the bottom rope, break the hold. A little too far away here. Now again, higher flip off the rope. That impressive athleticism again, Rob. But look at the strength of Ella. 
It looks like that is going to be the match. It is going to be Jada's athleticism against Ella's unbridled strength. And will the strength win it now with this over? With the world's prettiest slam, unable to put away Jada. What the heck, Yeah, before every show, I like to catch up with the competitors, ask what's on their mind, ask what it is that they want to tell the fans. And Ella Envy's one and only note. Just tell the people I'm pretty. Hey, so she got she got her priorities in order. I don't think she needs us oh. to tell anybody that. I think everybody can see, but being pretty is only going to get you so far. You have to be the toughest competitor if you want any chance in hell of winning. And right now, Jada's looking pretty damn tough. I say, oh, Envy certainly one of the toughest competitors going. But <laughs> how can you take a shot to the back like that, Rob? It's, it's, it sends vibrations throughout your entire spine whenever you receive one of those kicks to the small of the back like that. It can completely leave you disoriented for several minutes. Going back and forth, and after a shot like that. Ooh, good God almighty, these two giving it, they're all here. There's that strength right there. Ella and very much the powerhouse in this match. Give it up now. As the fight continues around the ring here, the folks in Sevierville, Tennessee, getting up close and personal with the stars of flawless wrestling. The young man may have gotten a little too close and personal, getting yelled at by Jada. Standing moonsault, going for the cover. Somehow, some way, Ella Envy manages to kick out. Makes her way over to the corner, trying to create some distance. Not going to fight it now. As the spark closing the gap, and now in the corner, sweeps the leg. And Jada's going to have to try to close the gap as much as possible, as often as possible. Cover. the leg. Because as we've seen, if she gives just, it just enough, just a foot, that's all it takes. You step that far away from Ella Envy, that is too far. And every time that she walks away from Ella, just like she's doing right now, that you're taking a massive gamble and you're giving her an opportunity to recover just like this. Ella fighting back. Jada tries to evade, unable to. That's getting that kick from the back, hey, taking down Ella Envy. Up. As it's getting down and dirty now. And now choking Ella Envy across that bottom rope. Referee Celeste trying to get in there and bring some reason to this. I'm not sure. With these two, I don't think there's any possible thing. As you see, referee Celeste was distracted there. Jada Stone was from in the eye of Ella Envy. Referee did not see it. Coincidentally, I don't think Ella Envy can see much of anything after that. Jada Stone certainly very proud of herself. And like we said, she needs to stay on top of Ella. She is giving her way too much space, and she's paying for a massive kick directly to the mush. It's like the more this match goes on, the more fired up Ella Envy is getting. Good God, that'll take the fire right out of it. Well, because it's becoming weaker. All the members of Pretty in Power, whenever they step in the ring, it's a foregone conclusion that they believe they are going to win because that confidence, oh, God, way, cover. that confidence is the reason that Pretty in Power is draped in gold. So the longer that this match goes, the more real that it becomes and the more Ella Envy is having to tell herself, oh, I actually have to win this match. And there's a reason that both the NWA, Flawless, and KFW are in their pretty empowered era. Pretty empowered has been running the game. As we saw last night, her partners in Pretty Empowered, Kyrie and Kenzie picking up the KFW Tag Team Championships, just adding that to the mantle. Ella looking to get back to a vertical basis. having no part of it. She's doing a great job right now of isolating Ella in the center of the ring, but you see she's letting go right there, getting just a little too cocky, taking too much time to taunt. If she breaks that grip one more time, that could be all that Ella needs to get out of this. Oh, but the strength of Ella right there. 
keeps having to re-grip constantly. And Ella's very aware of it. She can feel the difference. Ella now reaching back. Sends her into the corner. Ella's fading. She's fading fast. She's got to do something here. She's got to fight out. In desperation mode. Speaking of desperation mode. Beautiful backpack stunner from Ella Envy, but she's just as worn out as Jada is. How much has been taken out? If Ella Envy can roll over and place an arm across Jada, perhaps she could win, but... Either one of these competitors anticipated. I think both of them came into the ring tonight thinking this is going to be a short one. Jada thought she had Ella's number, and Ella just like I said that confidence is shooting from her the second she hit that curtain. But right now, this is becoming very real. This is very much a war. And let's see who can come out on top. Right now, Ella trying to stay on top. Ella Envy, full head of steam. That's the clothesline. Good oh, God Almighty, just about took her head off. God, man. This has to be it. No. A lesser competitor would have not only not been able to kick out, but wouldn't be able to walk after that. For the first time, seeing a little bit of frustration from Ella Envy going for that springboard elbow. The athleticism of both these women is just absolutely unparalleled. Now going for a cover. They are both asking themselves the same exact question. What in the hell is it going to take? And they're gonna, whenever you start asking that question, Connor, you start to get desperate. And one of these women needs to find a way to put the other one away before the desperation sinks in. It could be here. Unable to position herself. Hold up. Rolling through. Got her. not here. Look at this. Look at the torque on that bridge of Jada Stone. Wrenching back into that position that she's in. All the leverage needed to really wrench back on that net. Yeah, she has a position also putting pressure on that lower back on the legs. Ella having to do everything to crawl, makes her way to the bottom rope. If it wasn't for that power advantage that Ella carries in this match, she might not have been able to make it to that rope at all. She's taking her lucky stars, and she hits the gym a little bit more than Jada. Trucks so. in. Ooh. Ella had a scout it now off the ropes. Oh, nasty shot to the back. Good God, That's speaking of it. nasty shot, that those has to be it. Deadly knees. No. Absolutely devastating how that wasn't a knockout blow is beside me. Calling her shot, and will it be? Yes, it will! TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com And that title around the shoulder of Jordan Grace is the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Championship, which Jordan held at the time of WrestleCade. She has since become Impact Knockouts Champion for the second time in her second reign. And Jordan has headlined several LNO events in the past against Sue Young, Penelope Ford, Miranda Alizé, just a who's who of women's wrestling. Show of respect for these two. They have known each other for a very long time. Kira immediately going for the head, but the strength of Jordan Grace will not be denied. Oh, but DM takeover. Wow. D I am shocked. I thought that Jordan Grace, with the strength advantage, had this in hand in the early moments, but Kira Hogan has turned things around immediately and oh, 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 oh. Kick to the face by Hogan. And she wants this win, and she wants it bad. Hogan with the low tope, driving Jordan Grace to the floor. And again, I thought Jordan would have the early advantage, but this has been all Kiara Hogan. 
The hottest flame with the cover. And look at, you can see that Jordan is just a little frustrated because I think she thought that she would have the early advantage as well. Whoa, ducking the kick is Grace. Oh, Jordan with that big tackle and there is that strength. There is that power. Now ramming Hogan into the buckle. Oh, Hogan out of the way. Jordan with the boot up. And again, running her into that buckle. And Kira Hogan in trouble. Big double knees. And that sliding elbow. Trademark combination from Jordan Grace. Now going up for the Vader bomb. This could be over right now. One, two, no. Uh, again, the resiliency of Kira Hogan on display, showing why she is a baddie. But Jordan, back in control, big forearm. And you can hear the fans here at WrestleCade are really unable to choose a favorite. Now, Jordan loading up that trademark muscle buster. She has used that to such effect. Oh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, like nothing. And again, these two are friends. Imagine how Jordan Grace treats her enemies. And now Grace with the cover. Jordan now loading up Hogan. Going for a power bomb, but wait, Kira, Kira fighting. A head scissors takedown. And a big drop kick launches Jordan into the buckles. Kira Hogan is fired up and she's getting everyone here fired up. Running hip check. But Kira not done. Whoa. Sliding kick through the face of Jordan Grace. Oh, she's going for one more. She really wants this win. She really wants this victory. Around the world one more time. And you could hear that kick connect. I think this is gonna be enough. One, two, Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace kicking out, and you can see Kira can't believe it. We heard the way those kicks connected. Low super kick, wait, got caught, got caught. Jordan out of the way, the Insiguri. Rolling through. O'Connor roll, oh, deadlift German. Just the strength and power of Jordan Grace is incredible. No matter how many times you've seen it, it is unbelievable every single match. Going for that pump handle driver, but Hogan fighting through. Oh, what a roundhouse. Jordan down on a knee, Jordan on her hands and knees, and Kira, step up, leg drop. There's a cover. Again, Jordan kicking out and kicking out with authority, but eating that low super kick. No. And Kira. Kira needs to stay on top of Jordan here.
Oh, but Jordan Green threw. Oh! Kira turned that into a DDT and Jordan held on, but big elbow. Now Jordan with the pump handle. Incredible match by again two of the best, the absolute best. And you can see they bring out, and to me personally, this is me speaking as a fan. I think that Kira Hogan and Jordan Grace, they just constantly bring out the best in each other. And it is always a pleasure to watch them fight Jordan with the win today. But again, I would happily call 100 matches between these two. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com All right, here in the front row, this is a rivalry that has spanned the decades. Now here, Walker, we see an interesting dichotomy. Angel Blue, jaw jacking with the fans. Meanwhile, Mia Friday has has eyes locked on Angel Blue this whole time. She is ready to go. She is focused. You know, I don't think the smile has dropped off of Mia Friday's face since she's walked through our entryway. This is a woman who loves to compete inside the squared circle. The thrill, no pun intended, the thrill that it brings her tonight. An MPW thriller is second to none. Oh, hold on. We might get a test of strength. I don't know if this is a good idea for Mia Friday. Look at those guns on Angel Blue. 15 years worth of confidence here for Angel Blue, making her wrestling debut back in April of 2008. A, as you said, a tenured veteran. <laughs> seeing some of these veteran-like tactics here out of Angel Blue tonight. Taking it to Mia Friday. Oh, but here we see the quickness of Mia Friday on display. Springing into an arm drag. Mia Friday, incredibly, incredibly well versed in all aspects of the squared circle, including up to the high rent district. Through with the arm drag. You know, Mia Friday, just a little bit over three years in ring experience. Compare that to the 15 years of Angel Blue. You definitely would think on paper this matchup would benefit a woman like Angel Blue. But Blue got dropped, and Mia Friday really stringing it together here. This could be over real fast. Angel Blue scampering and scurrying over to the corner. Can't be pinned if you're in the ropes. That's smart strategy. Oh, and Angel Blue sending Mia Friday right into that middle turnbuckle. And one thing I've, I've started to notice out of Angel Blue since she's made her way to ringside tonight, very vocal whenever she's inside the squared circle. And it's not just to me at Friday, it's to all the fans here at ringside. It's hard not to notice. Oh, chop with a little, little extra on it by Angel Blue, who has really slowed down the pace of this match. And this, I think is a speed, is a tempo that more benefits Angel Blue. We've seen Mia Friday so quick, so evasive. But Angel Blue. Devastating hip attack from Angel Blue making her Mission Pro Wrestling debut tonight. Cover here for Angel Blue off the hip attack. Not even a two count. Strictly at one for Angel Blue. Blue, though, relentless, looking to tie up Mia Friday once again. Almost a modified stump puller. Uh, I can't even see. This might have to be a verbal tap out here because Mia Friday is all tied up. Oh, hold on. Mia's starting to reposition herself. Throwing some elbows. Yeah, anything she can do to try and battle back out of this position she's currently in. Veda, you and I both know Mia Friday is a fighter. She is not going to give up lightly, and Angel Blue might be underestimating Mia Friday in that regard. Oh! Hip attack from Mia Friday. Without, without the pre-contact concert, though, I will say. So perhaps not as effective. Angel Blue able to capitalize. 
Hook in the leg. Again, this is a rough day at the office for the officials of Mission Pro Wrestling. You know, the last time that we saw Mia Friday, oh, oh my, oh my, what a, well, this is definitely unique. This is the reason she calls herself the megastar. Mia Friday's head ricocheting off the ropes. Another cover. Angel Blue cover, two. Angel Blue's full body weight put into that pinfall attempt, and Mia Friday still fighting her way. And here we go, Mia creating a little bit of distance, which is smart, but wait a second. I think maybe Mia got herself inadvertently in position. Oh, but perhaps a trap baited her in. That back suplex connected, and Mia Friday... Looks like she's starting to fire back up. Everyone in the room is behind Mia. How can you not be as she fights through this? Oh, but Angel Blue throws the first shot. You know, we're seeing a lot of energy out of both of these women. And Mia Friday, last time we saw her, she was challenging alongside MJ Santana for the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. She did so unsuccessfully. However, tonight, oh, well, and let's keep in mind that MJ Santana betrayed her. They, they seem to be very, very close friends, and I have to wonder if that is in the back of Mia's head here looking to show MJ Santana and pull out a win as Mia taking down Angel Blue, swinging a miss by Blue. Mia yeah, Friday off the ropes, caught on the side of the knee strike. Mia Friday looking a little more aggressive now. <sighs> Big fisherman suplex holding the bridge. An incredible bridge there by Mia Friday. And separation created between Angel Blue and Friday. Friday's going to have to stay on top of Blue here, though, Veda. Yeah, once again, Angel Blue keeps trying to keep some distance here, pulling herself up by the ropes. Mia charges in, diving forearm. Oh, hold on, Angel Blue, Angel Blue able to catch Mia Friday into a backpack stunner. That's got to be it. Time and again, we have seen Angel Blue use Mia Friday's own momentum against her. Showing her experience. But now, this is where things can fall apart for Angel Blue. She's got to keep that um, unique personality under control. Look at this from Mia Friday. Out with the air raid crash neck breaker. The cover for Friday. That one's it. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com This is your main event for this evening. It is no time limit. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for... It is main event time here tonight. Flawless Wrestling Black Harvest, the sequel. The final match here at this two-day expo at Sevierville, Tennessee. And it does not get bigger than this. The biggest match of young Kylie Alexa's career. The NWA Women's Tag Team Champion really 
getting put to the test here tonight. Really going to have to test her mettle, test her skills against one of the very best in the world, Tessa Blanchard. You know, Carmen, on a regular basis, I find myself saying this sentence to you whenever we're calling the action. We are spoiled as broadcasters. We get to call some amazing matchups all over this beautiful country, but what a main event tonight in between Tessa Blanchard and Kylie Alexa. I've been looking forward to this all weekend. I think of all the matches that were advertised, this is the one that I've wanted to see the most. Well, you can tell the fans here in attendance, Sevierville, Tennessee, have been looking forward to this, but Tessa Blanchard with a little bit of a reality check here. Uh, <laughs> Well, she's slowing down the momentum. Whenever, we, whenever we've talked about Pretty Empowered all night, because this is very much, this show has been built in Pretty Empowered's image, the momentum has always been on their side, and Tessa is trying to halt that momentum right now. It's amazing to me that just 24 hours ago, just here in the same building, it's like the crowd worshipped the ground that Tessa Blanchard walked on. She could not do any wrong in the ring against Dylan McQueen at KFW. But here at Black Harvest against Kylie Alexa, she is in dangerous territory because this crowd loves Kylie Alexa. This is her home turf. Well, and, and I, she's very well aware of that. Tessa Blanchard, a veteran of this industry for a very long time, grew up in the wrestling business. Of course, her father, the great Tully Blanchard, one of the best to ever do it. She knows she's not going to come here and win a battle of cheers with Kylie Alexa. But to your point, though, think about the parallel paths these two careers have taken. Both of these competitors, second generation athletes, of course, as you mentioned, Tessa Blanchard, the daughter of Tolly Blanchard, the stepdaughter to Magnum TA, Kylie Alexa, a member of the Henry family, obviously the owners here at KFW now taking over the NWA at large. Hell, Tommy Henry could in just a couple of months very well be our new NWA women's <laughs> champion. Who knows? What a wild timeline we live in. No but Kylie Alexa growing up in the business, this is all she has ever known. Rob, she is just a year and a half in this business. Tonight marks her 90th match already. Just a year and a half in the business. Think about that. Started in May 2022. It is now October of 2023. Folks, How that means that she is that? has worked every single week and then some. That is what that means. And we have talked about this one thing. And, and, and obviously at the top of this, you know, I just mentioned the experience edge that Tessa Blanchard has going into this match. But something that we say quite a lot the it's tenacity. Landing those shots into the top of the head of Kylie. Kylie has the experience of somebody who's been doing this five times as long as she has at least. Well, it's the hard work she's been putting in. Obviously, you see the fruits of her labor, the youngest champion in NWA history. You know, now the KFW tag team champion we saw last night. I mean, and the she's... daughter of Tommy Henry, the niece of Isaac King, she basically grew up in this ring. And she's got a chance to shake the foundation of women's wrestling here tonight if she can knock off the queen pin of the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. Quick roll up. But with that, Tessa Blanchard has something to prove here, looking to hold down the fort, so to say. Well, and look, and Kylie, as we said, the youngest champion in NWA history. She is right now a double tag team champion, not only holding the NWA Women's Tag Team Championships, but just picking up the KFW Tag Team Championship. But there is something that she has not done in her young career. She has not held a men's heavyweight exactly. title. Tessa to, Blanchard, the first one to ever do that. To your point, when you brought up championships, it had my mind going, you want to talk about championships. Tessa Blanchard has held them all. Former champion, obviously Impact World Champion. She's been a Reina de Reina's champion in AAA, held the Warrior Championship, PCW Ultra. How many titles has Tessa Blanchard held in her young career? Yes, that's the answer, yes. <laughs> yes. She's hold, she's hold everyone that she at, has set her eyes on. That is how many she's held. At 28 years old, already regarded as one of the greatest women's wrestlers to ever do it. Now mixing it up in the ring, Kylie Alexa, only 19. The young prodigy has a lot to prove tonight with a tilt-a-whirl head scissors. And she usually likes to transition that to directly into the crossface. Tessa, though, had it scouted. Notice rolled to the outside of the ring immediately. I, I think this is going to be nice. the beginning of something we're going to see a lot in this match, and that is going to be the fact that great minds think alike. Off the ropes. But also, we talk about Tessa having that scouted. Tessa has been around Kylie since she was a young girl. Yes. Tessa's been integral to the history of KFW here in Sevierville, Tennessee, for years now. 
not just facing off against Kinsey Page, tag teaming with Kinsey Page right here, this very building. And it's really those battles with Tessa Blanchard that made Kinsey grow and now an opportunity for her younger sister to do the same in the same building. Absolutely, and we've talked about how, you know, Kinsey, or Kylie, very much wise beyond her years, growing up in this business, the daughter of Tommy Henry, growing up in a wrestling ring. And that fact right there means that even though she's only been wrestling for a year and a half, she wrestles like somebody who's been wrestling for 10 years. Tessa Blanchard has a very similar story, has taken a very similar path. The daughter of Tully, the stepdaughter of Magnum TA. So what is her decade's worth of experience actually? 30 years? <laughs> it feels like it. As Tessa now bringing the fight to the outside to Kylie Alexa. You know, and another thing, another big comparison, we have called oh several times whenever we're calling Kylie Alexa matches, we've called her a monster slayer. She's defeated so many opponents bigger than her, Sawyer Wreck, Alice Crowley, Max the Impaler. Look at, look no further than the man that Tessa Blanchard beat to become the Impact World Heavyweight Champion in exactly. Sammy Callahan, one of the nastiest sons of bitches in this entire business. Tessa has seen things that would make Kylie squirm. Well, Kylie getting a little nasty right here, and of course we know Kylie no stranger to battles. We saw that bloody battle at GCW versus New South 2, where Kylie and Kinsey battled off against Sawyer Rett and Rena Yamashita, one of the bloodiest fights I've ever seen. And while Kenzie and Kylie were very impressive, and there's something that's very different between, oh, ooh, right over the guardrail, something that's very different between Kylie and Tessa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kylie Tessa. did not win that match. Tessa has a point to prove here. Clearing out the fans. Getting a little uncomfortable here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay over there, guys. Stay over there. We don't want none of this. Whoa, Tessa Blanchard. We might have a lawsuit on our hands. Uh, whoa. Oh. Piling the chairs on. These Refer chairs do not fold. Oh, my goodness. Referee Celeste going to let this go on. Who's, who's going to stop her? Tessa Blanchard not making any friends here in Sevierville. That is the last thing on the mind of Tessa Blanchard. That is not anything that she's worried about. She is just worried about dismantling the young Kylie Alexa, doing a pretty good job so far. Against the wall, Kylie helpless. Oh, oh my God! Did you hear that? Oh no! That sickening How thud. Now Kylie now with the reversal. Fired up, bringing the fight back to Tessa. How the hell is Kylie this fired up, let alone still standing after that? Yeah, no kidding. Tripping over the chairs. But look at this. Look at the intensity. Look at the passion of young Kylie Alexa here. She has something to prove, Rob. She has everything to prove right now. She's dragging Tessa back to the ring. She has to keep her in that ring if she has any chance of winning. Tessa now crawling, scratching to create some distance. I'm not sure if, oh, I was about to say, I'm not sure if she expected that, but it looks like she had it scouted. Bringing the attack right to Kylie. Look at that. You notice the way she grabbed her wrist when she first got in the ring to stop the attack. And now this is all Tessa Blanchard once again. And the sign of disrespect. Showing nothing to dis but disrespect to a person who has not yet earned the respect of Tessa Blanchard. And I think that more than anything, that is what all of this is about. She does not believe that Kylie has earned the respect to carry the accolades that she does so early Looking in her career. Looking to put it through the ringer. Misses with that back elbow, and that could have been lights out for young Kylie Alexa. So much to prove here on this night in our main event of Flawless Wrestling. The biggest match of Kylie's career. Can she pull off what some would call the upset over Tessa Blanchard? Can she do it? If this momentum can stay on her side, I believe she very much can, but she might be taking too much time. Charges in, connects. 
Sweeps the leg. Dangerous position, Rob. We've seen this time and time again. Looking to take her head off. Can she hit it? Yes, she does. Right to the sternum. Tesla wisely. Hold on, cover made. Cover made. As close as it gets, the referee was fingertips away from that canvas. But did you notice the way Tessa leaned forward? She knew that drop kick was coming right for her head. Excellent wherewithal from Tessa. The veteran here in the match now on the shoulders. What does she have in mind for Kylie? Kylie bringing the fight still. Tessa Tessa might be falls out. into it. Falls into it. Lucky. Ooh. If Kylie would have been able to hook the leg, that very well could have been it. But Kylie just as dazed as Tessa was. I'm not sure if Kylie even knew where she was, Rob. She fell right into that one. Kylie now pounding the chest, feeling the energy here in the room. Looking to pull the strength from within to continue this fight. Tessa Blanchard, pull, oh. I about to say in prime position for another drop kick. Kylie with a splash and now gonna bring Tessa Blanchard up to the top turnbuckle. Dangerous position here for Tessa. Listen to how fired up this crowd is. They have been like this all night, especially in this match. Well, think about it. This crowd here in Sevierville, Tennessee has watched Kylie grow up right before their very eyes. Had her first match right here in this very building in May of last year against her own sister. They have watched her literally since she was a child walking around helping out at concessions helping out with tickets and now here she is in the main event of the biggest match of her career against one of the best in the world oh and one oh, of the best no. in the world biting her forehead doing whatever it takes there's certain things you have to do to get to the top and tessa blanchard certainly in oh hold on cutter that could very well be it. This might be all Blanchard. Leg is hooked. What? That move has won Tessa Blanchard championships, Rob. And Kylie Alexa Look at the had the wherewithal. Tessa. It's becoming very, very real right now. While Kylie has everything to gain, Tessa has everything to lose. And she is seeing it all wash away in front of her eyes right now. So many emotions going on. You see it, for a moment, it was the shock. It was almost that sense of self-doubt and then quickly turned right back to aggression. What do I have to do to put away Kylie Alexa? Going for that hammerlock DDT. Kylie pumping the brakes. Going for that hip attack. Ooh, big kick right to the side of the face. Calling for the kill shot. Got her. And now, Might call for the code Kylie. Can she get it? Can, Can she, she do get it? it? And, and she's she got it. This Foot has to be it. Foot on the ropes. Foot on the ropes, Rob. Too close. Rookie mistake from Kylie Alexa. We do not see many of those from her. Not at all. But whenever you're going against somebody with the pedigree of Tessa Blanchard, you are going to be prone to make mistakes like that, just trying to pull out all the stops. Tessa rolling to the outside. Kylie looking around the ring, asking what she has to do. She's taking a little bit too much time. There needs to be a lot more action and a lot less thinking. Kylie looking to bring the fight now. She has pulls, no choice. It's what she has to do. Pulls Tessa back up to the apron. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Using the belt. Tessa Blanchard getting herself intentionally disqualified. Would rather take the disqualification loss than risk the public humiliation of suffering a pinfall from Kylie. She saw just how close it was after that code Kylie. If it wasn't for that foot on the bottom rope, I would, I would wager that Kylie Alexa would have won the match right there. Now with the belt again, enough is enough, oh. Tessa. <laughs> the 
not how you want the night to end, especially in your main event. Look, and I'm sure that nobody else is thinking of it this way, but if you ask me, that might be the ultimate sign of respect. She was so worried about losing this match to Kylie Alexa that she had no choice but to get herself disqualified to save herself from that ultimate embarrassment. Well, she may not look like the winner, but, but keep in mind, folks, Kylie Alexa stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tessa Blanchard on this night, held her own. Definitely has something to be proud about about that. And out comes the rest of Pretty Empowered to check on Kylie. An uncomfortable ending here tonight. Uncomfortable ending, but folks, that is gonna do it for us here tonight at Flawless Wrestling Black Harvest on Title Match Network. On behalf of Rob Weathers, I have been Carmen Michael, and we will see you next time. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com The crowd clearly having a favorite. One fall. It is also sponsored by Storyline Tees and Jeff LeBar. Thank you guys for sponsoring the match. This match is for the Icons Championship title. And our first competitor, Jasmine Al. Our next competitor. Jordy. Yeah! That's it! The Icons Championship on the line with this one. Cosmic needs to kiss that belt goodbye one last time. These three competitors feel each other out right now. Cosmic wants the other two uh, women to duke it out. And I don't blame her. Oh! Cosmic's just watching them. She's like, if they want to kill each other, go ahead. Oh, oh. gosh! Oh, oh. gosh! Look, Jordy might be the smallest competitor in the match, but pound for pound, she's the toughest. Ooh. Both, these, both these ladies just Jasmine exchanging strikes. Cosmic now. They're hesitant about throwing each other under the bus there. Oh! Jordy Christ! But Jordy doesn't care! Two and a, wow! Equal opportunity beat down. Ooh. Come on, ref, watch that. Jasmine just stomping Jordy. Now Cosmic's take stomping Jordy out. Oof. Oh, no. I thought Cosmic would be in control right now, but no, Jasmine reverses it. Oh, Beautiful suplex by like Jasmine. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Cosmic has that championship mentality where she makes this match her pace. Yeah, absolutely, and you can tell that Jasmine how she's, she seems very confident. I'm not sure. Oh, wow, what a German. But Jordy Lee running in for the break. But no, not only a break, but she stole the pin. Oh, God. Oh, uh, dumped her out. Oh! oh. Running four on by Josh, Jasmine Howe. Big scoops. Keep dumping. 
majority to the outside so they can wrestle each other. Yeah, I would want to get the, the, the number one person in the match out of the ring too. <laughs> you know, me and Jordy had a big talk about how she needs to be the aggressor here and she needs to go in there and fight for I that title. Tried. I'm surprised anybody talks to Gina. Whoopi cushion to the outside by Jasmine Howe. Here, here comes, comes Jordy. Jumping on Cosmic and then Jasmine, Jasmine is Jordy. Oh, oh gosh, what a All three of these ladies just striking oh. each other. Cosmic bringing out the viciousness. Cosmic just rolled Jordy in. Jasmine yeah, blocks the, the attempt to move on the outside. Now they're taking form. Catch your breath, Jordy. Let the other two fight it out. It's good strategy. Of course. Cosmic coming back into the ring. Jordy waiting for her. Nope. Cosmic saw her coming. Oh, oh my God! God! Jordy landed on her head. Cosmic dumping Jordy. Goes to the pin. Cover. One, two, and Jordy kicks out. Jordy got her bell rung, but she's still good. Cosmic right oh, backbreaker to the lower back. Jordy Lee in pain right now, and Cosmic is the cause of it. Trying to get with that cradling backbreaker. Oh, oh my God. gosh, he dumped her on the mat. Oh, Goes to the pin again. One, two, and Jordy Lee kicks out one more time. Jordy's back must be screaming in agony right now. But that's that inner fight, and Jordy Lee does not know how to quit. Oh, look, Jordy! Jordy's got submission! Jordy's got submission! She has it by the arm! She has it by the arm! Oh! Jasmine needing to break that submission. Shades of AJ Lee right there. Yeah, absolutely. One of one of the uh, mentors of Jordy growing up. Of course. In the corner. Jasmine looks like. Oh my goodness, what is Jasmine gonna do here? Oh, Jordy climbing the rope too! Oh, oh drop kick. kick to the midsection! Every time Jordy Jasmine... Lee goes for the pin! One, two, and a kick out! Jasmine just kicked out. Every time Jasmine tries to do something, Jordy comes out of nowhere and takes both women out. And all three competitors are down! At this point, I feel like this match can go either way. Any women right now in this match has a chance to win, but the first to her feet is Jordy. This oh, oh. oh, oh. Euro. Side oh. step. Cosmic saw it coming. Oh, she didn't see those boots to her face. Jordy put yourself up in the second oh. row. Oh, grabbed her by the hair. Here we go. Diamond oh. dust. Beautiful. She's going Cover. to win. That's it! No, wait, what's she trying Cover. to do? Yeah, put her in the center. One, two, and Cosmic kicks out. Not enough. I thought that was going to be it. Just a two count. Oh, Jasmine. Oh! Oh! oh. Got her with the bye, bitch. Goes for the pin. One, two, and a kick out by Jasmine now. Gain your composure, Jordy. Can't get frustrated. Get back on top of one of them. Use that key, beat somebody with it. What a match has been so far. Jordy Lee. Jasmine up now. Ooh, kicked her in the knee. Jordy's not gonna be doing much flying without a knee. Oh, almost went for that stop. Oh, there's a back to Jordy the Lee. Going for that. Oh wait, she got stopped. She got stopped. Oh, wow. Jasmine her just raised her eyes. What's she going for here? Ja Jordy looks like she's getting some satisfaction there. Jasmine Howe climbing the ropes right now. Oh, oh my Brock goodness. Buster. No. Oh my goodness, this may be it. Where's Buster? Goes the pin. Here comes Cosmic. One, two, Cosmic kicker in the head. Just saving her title. Oh, Goes Cosmic. The pin. One, two, three. Oh.
TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Ladies and gentlemen, this Ladies huge and gentlemen, main event. your main event of the evening, thank you, Mickey, is a Loco Rules Tag Team Matchup. This match set on, for Loco Rules here in Houston, Texas. Introducing first. She is the walking episode of Cops. She is queen of the death matches, hardcore godmother, and everyone's favorite act because she brings the hookers and drugs. Mickey fucking knuckles. Did she say she brings hookers and drugs? Don't ask questions, Scott. Just experience it and take it in like you usually do. Ah. And uh -huh. her tag team partner, he stands at nearly seven feet tall. He is the atrocity Almost seven foot tall. The and man is massive. Bodies. Yeah, that's a lot of man. That's a lot Red of Red River Mexico. He is the Latin assassin. Pistoleta Pantera. El Pistolero. Main eventing here. And Loco. finally, that's really nice. his tag team partner. He is Vlad. Deathmatch Jesus in the ring. Him and Pistolero going against Mickey Knuckles and Cruel here live so, on Title Match. <laughs> I've never had this happen before. I don't feel like I have to do a fucking thing right now because I got the boogeyman on my side. <laughs> she makes a good so who's got the yeah, alcohol she does, she does, or the drugs? Where are you at? I wanna, I wanna hang out with you for a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends over there. You have, you have, you have fun. You have fun. Good luck. Look at the size of the man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, since this is a loco rules matchup, if they go into the crowd, please get the fuck out the way. Once again, please get the fuck out the way. Yeah, they should listen. Crew taking on both these men by himself! Uh, what, Takes the, the trash can lid to the just, face! Oh, just nothing. No effect. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pistoletto turns him around! Hits him with the frying pan! No, no effect to Cruel. I think they're just pissing him off. Dimitri with the trash can, followed by the frying pan. He got the bubble in the throat now. Uh-oh. Cruel. Taking on both men by himself. Oh, shit. Oh. Cruel with the double clothesline. Take it down, Dimitri and Pistolero. Uh oh, what's going on? We had a light tube break. We had a light tube break. Mickey Knuckles in the ring. Whoa. Whoa, Cruel got Mickey Knuckles using her just as a, like a cannonball. Cruel just, just throwing his own partner into these other guys. I can't see. Cruel missed with the big boot. Stiletto ducked out of the way. Stiletto with a kick. Looks like he rocked the big man. Nope, just pissed him off. Oh, just slammed him down that hard part of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Dimitri Alexandrov squaring off with Mickey Knuckles in the middle of the ring. Oh! oh she gets 
Knuckles bitch slap Jesus. Mickey Knuckles camp slaps Dimitri. Dimitri follows up with a shot of his own. He just hit a woman. He just hit a woman. Mickey Knuckles can fight anybody. She does not discriminate. Oh, come on. That's what Mickey. you did. That's what you did, Dimitri. You should have hit her ass. Oh. oh. Dimitri, Dimitri takes a big <laughs> knee shot from Mickey. Oh, what does she have? Hold up. What does she got? Don't tell me. Is that, is that a syringe? Yes, it is. I is think that a syringe? She's piercing the lip of Dimitri. <laughs> he has a needle going through his mouth. He's got a new piercing. What's going on? Is that a cheese grater? It is a cheese grater. A cheese grater or no, something I that's stuck to the forehead. Oh my god, an insult injury. <laughs> Just hitting the spot where the piece of metal was stuck. No! Dang, Mickey Knuckles. Yep, now he's hitting her. Oh. I think he's had enough. Dimitri, Deathmatch uh, Jesus. There he goes. He's got those on her head now. Oh. Just smashing them into her head. Gusson played. Gusson played, followed by the cooking sheet. Pistoleros got one too. Uh oh, Chris Pistolero taking on Cruel over here on the Cruel outside. Just stabbing himself with that. Cruel, so it doesn't hurt. He takes it. You better not come over here, please. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. For I cannot see at the moment. Oh my god, Cruel taking out Pistolero here on the outside. Pistolero taking some clubbing shots from Cruel. The size difference is crazy. Cruel's chest is bleeding. Sorry, I cannot see what's going on in the ring. Alexander's got the staple gun. Yeah, maybe our guy Scott can see what's happening. I'm trying. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. A lot of action here at the Premier Arena. The fans on their feet blocking my view. Ladies Mr. and Lero gentlemen, just got thrown down to the chair. Mickey Knuckles. Doing something to Dmitry Alexandrov's private area. Mickey Knuckles bleeding profusely. Yep, yep. Mickey Knuckles talking that shit. Oh! Mickey Knuckles sitting head first into the ring. <laughs> Cruel and Pistolero fighting on the opposite side. Looks like Dimitri's bleeding too. Everybody fighting. They're fighting on this side. They're fighting on that side. Dimitri, he's got the bat with the scissors. Oh shit. He's got the bat with the scissors. Mickey Knuckles. Reverses, now she's got the bat with the scissors. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? Oh, she's using the bat with the scissors on Dimitri, holy shit. He brought it, he's paying for it now. Oh my God, the scissors Cru stabbing the face oh out of Dimitri. Oh my God, Cruel's chest is covered in blood. He's just dripping it everywhere. Look at the back of Cruel. It's dripping blood, oh my God! Uh-oh, what's Dimitri gonna do? Dimitri's got the bat with the scissors! Mickey Knuckles, she's getting stabbed in the face. Uh-oh, Cruel's got Dimitri. Dimitri fighting back. Oh, Dimitri! Did Dimitri just throw Cruel to the crowd? Dimitri he did. sending Cruel oh into my the chairs! Uh -oh. What the hell's going on, Nasty? I can't see. Can you see, Nasty? Pistolero throwing chairs. They're throwing Pistolero chairs. Pistolero and Dimitri making a graveyard of chairs. They're just trying to bury Cruel, I think. Mickey Knuckles setting up the table. Oh, the burying of the chairs. 
I can't see anything nasty. I can't see nothing. Go, 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 go. There's so much going on, I can't make anything out. Oh my gosh, look at the destruction. Mickey Knuckles bleeding profusely on that table. Dimitri stands on top of the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Title Match Network, you're not going to get action unless you're here live in the Houston Premier Arena. Main event here at Loco Wrestling in Houston, Texas. Live on Title Match, Dmitry Alexandrov gets back in the ring. The destruction on the outside. These two men got Mickey Knuckles in the middle. She's just eating those shots like nothing. Oh, Mickey Knuckles fighting both these guys. Both men getting beaten down. Mickey Knuckles not going down without a fight. Pump handle up oh! and down. Wow. Mickey Knuckles Alexander just busted his ass. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's uh -oh. not good. Dimitri got Mickey Knuckles. What's Dimitri planning? What's Dimitri planning? Uh -oh. Oh, 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 boy. That's not good. Oh. Mickey Knuckles slams Dimitri down. This is what she needs. Can she capitalize and get away with the win here on the main event of local wrestling? The bigger picture. What's going on? Mickey Knuckles! Oh my god! Holy shit! Mickey Knuckles <laughs> throwing her body! Mickey Knuckles leaving it all out there! Taking out both Pistolero and Dimitri Alexandrov. I haven't seen Cruel. Where's Cruel? If we could have a replay queued up, I'd say let's go to a replay. Holy shit! Yeah, I would too. I, I need to go back and watch this on Title Max. As you can see, she hits the rope and spins and takes both guys out home. Shit. Look at the destruction. Cruel left on the outside, covered in blood. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. As I'm saying that, he gets up. Uh-oh. Cruel up. Cruel up. Cruel getting in the ring. Oh, my God. Cruel don't look too Unfazed. happy. Oh my God, it's back. Cool. Double jumps. <laughs> Cruel got both these men down. Oh boy. The big man got the speed on him. Oh my goodness. Ragdoll in both these men. You gotta be, oh my He's God. He's hitting one man with another man. I'm gonna hit you with your teammate. You Pretty much. Saying? Yeah. Cruel said, I'm going to hit you with your own teammate. Uh-oh. Cruel setting up the table into the corner. Cruel throwing Dimitri oh. into the table, busting that bitch. Oh, my Just God. Just him like a fucking rag doll. Uh-oh. Cruel oh calling for it. The glove up in the air. You know what happens when he gets these fingers across the neck. Sends him up. Oh, oh. my God. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Chokes that flipping bomb. That was insane. That I apologize. Has to be it. That was. Oh my goodness. That's it. What's he gonna do? What's he doing? He rips off the thing. He rips off the mask of Pistolero. The disrespect. What's he gonna do with it? That's his trophy. Yeah, he's, he's taking, taking it his with him. Now. Pistol Arrow's mask is his trophy. Cruel with cruel intentions. Picks Pistol Arrow up ever so slowly. Oh, Pistol Arrow with the blood mist. Pistol Arrow maskless. The double team. Oh, flipping Santon. One. No. Oh, my goodness. He sets up. Cruel unfazed by that chair shot. Oh, 
Oh, Te he felt that one. Oh, takes his head off with the chair shot. Oh! Cruel's down. That's it. One, one two. two. That's not it. Cruel kicks out. Oh. Mickey with the set on the. One, one, two. No. Mickey almost comes back and takes the win. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd on their feet, chanting, this is Loco. Mickey Knuckle just taking shots, just teeing off at Alexander Dimitri. Oh, she eats a huge knee from Pistolero. Dimitri picks her up. Pistolero hits the rope. Ah! Double team maneuver. One, be a one, two. two. Oh, Mickey Knuckles kicking out. How? How does Mickey Knuckles kick out? She's After crazy. All the damage she's taken in this she's match. She's crazy. She's crazy. Uh oh. Dimitri with the back shot to Cruel. You gotta think, is he feeling this after a while? His back's bleeding, dog. You gotta feel it, dog. I don't think so, man. Cruel, Cruel is a man. He's gotta feel pain. Dimitri Maybe he likes it. Dimitri doubling up the chair in the corner or the table in the corner. Now they got a door in the corner. Now they got an actual table. Holy shit, what's gonna happen? Uh oh. Dimitri. And Pistolero both putting Cruel on the top rope. Table behind them. Dimitri and Pistolero go up. Grab Cruel. Oh, oh shit, boy. Mickey Knuckles with the back chops to Dimitri. Pulls him down. Mickey Knuckles. Cruel heads towards Pistolero. Head shot me like Mickey sends Dimitri into the tables. Holy shit. Now, Pistolero and Cruel. Pistolero and Cruel with the table behind them. Oh. Oh, boy. Cruel! Oh, Jump that's slam! gotta be it. That's gotta be it. One, One two, two, three. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the main event here at Local Wrestling, Cruel and Mickey Knuckle. That match was insane. Here are your winners, Mickey Knuckles and the Atrocity Crew! Next, I don't know what to say on this. That match is insane. They brought everything out here tonight. Tables, doors, carpet tags, you name it. They brought it all out here. And the size of Crew is just amazing. Oh. Listen, when it's a local rules match, you got to do everything. Mickey, this is Mickey, local fucking wrestling. Mickey offering Cruel a beer. Does he like beer? If I were Mickey, oh, it, it looks like he does like beer. He does like beer. Did he just, did he just? Titlematchnetwork.com
from somewhere very cold. She is the coolest wrestler, though, you will ever meet. The reigning, defending, Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Lady. Chelsea Green get in the face of the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion Lady Frost as we get set for this championship matchup for Hurricane Pro Wrestling on Title Match Network. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sammy Kiss. There you see the championship. The champion Lady Frost, who unseated Heather Monroe to win that championship, returns here to Hurricane Pro to put that championship on the line against hot mess Chelsea Green. Women's Division action here. Thank you for joining us. The best women's action is always right here on Title Match Network. And you see Chelsea Green already back in the champion up. Chelsea Green has been making a lot of waves in the women's division. Not to take anything away from our champion, Lady Frost. It's been quite the hot commodity. A lot of promotions trying to pull and edge her into different directions. She is a high demand superstar, which is why She's our Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, shows the tenacity she had. I mean, Heather Monroe was one of our most dominant champions ever. And it was Lady Frost who was finally able to put her away. Let's see if she can continue that streak here with a successful defense. It's the hot mess, Chelsea Green goes to recover here. And there's the athleticism of Lady Frost. Lady Frost with that competitive gymnast background. She can go with the best of them. Chelsea Green almost taken off guard there. She got another Chelsea Green, the former Impact Women's Champion, scouted our champion here, Hurricane Pro. Everything on the line here. You see Chelsea Green wisely getting out of the way. And now it looks like she's crawling under the ring, trying to get away from our champion. And Lady Frost stops her before she even really gets going. And a big knife edge chop to the chest. Defending her championship here, but can't underestimate the challenge the challenge of Chelsea Green. And these two. And Chelsea finally listen to the referee. Now wait a minute. Chelsea wants to get a gets a count out. Championships on the line here, Chelsea. Chelsea is all over the place here. I think she just wants to get this over with. She's something with that flurry at the beginning. Lady Frost really took, taking the fight to Chelsea Green here. Why? 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 Maybe that's just the lunatic lush. You really know what you're gonna get when Chelsea Green's on the scene. Now dragging the champion around ringside, slamming her face again to the side of the ring. The unpredictable Chelsea Green. And now Lady Frost finally firing back here. Again having to get up on the apron, trying to break that count. Oh, and Chelsea caught her face first, goes the champion. And now both women finally back in the ring. Here's the cover. And they got a two count. Chelsea Green, already frustrated. Let's go, Frost! Now Chelsea Green, gonna really push that referee's cow to the test, to the limit here. Finally breaking on four. <coughs> Chelsea Green trained by Lance Storm. I'm sure she was always instructed to take every inch you can get, especially when something like the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship is on the line. And again, using that rope break to her advantage again the rope as a weapon almost. Here's a cover again. You can see the champion Lady Frost gasping for air here. Come on, Lady Frost, baby. 
Bradford giving a lot of leeway here so far. Chelsea Green known to bend the rules. Now slamming Lady Frost face first in those turnbuckles. Gone, a third one again right in the face and into the throat. Frost again able to get that shoulder up. Now Chelsea, a mounted cover. Shouting to the referee to count. I only got a three. Lay Frost, you see that, that? The fire. No pun intended from Lady Frost. Here on Halloween weekend for Hurricane Pro Wrestling on title match. Come on, Frost! Right. Oh, look, again, that athleticism. Nice drop kick from Lady Frost. Oh, and a big shoulder blocking in the corner. Got the agility of our champion, Lady Frost. Big suplex, almost tossing Chelsea Green across the ring, cover! Oh man, two count. Lady Frost has been so impressive since coming here to Hurricane Pro. Thank you. An epic series with Heather Monroe. We're gonna continue it here with Chelsea Green. Is Chelsea Green going to ruin the party again? Running out of the ring again, trying to run under the ring. What is this? For referee, I'm not sure the camera's catching it. I mean, Chelsea Green just ran under the ring again. Now, wait a minute. And now Chelsea Green is a hot mess back. Oh, my God. She just kissed. I mean, <laughs> now Lady Frost, she's got the snowballs. The Luna kick for the snowballs. Well, there's a cutter. You're a psycho. Just when you thought Chelsea couldn't get any crazier. The hot mess is out tonight. Lady Frost goes for the kick, misses. Chelsea Green kind of going up top. Lady Frost, she's still got, she's still got those snowballs in hand. Things are getting crazy here. Halloween weekend for Hurricane Pro. Well, there goes one of the snowballs. She's still got one of them. Chelsea Green's up top. Who's out of the way? Oh, there the kick finally connects. Oh, get it down, get it down off the rope. Lady Frost going up top. Are we gonna see the temperature drop? Oh! Temperature drop, Moonsaw connects, and that's it. Just witness. Talk about unpredictable. Chelsea Green lives up to the hot mess moniker. But still your Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. There you see. Chelsea Green put her through one hell of a fight. But there is our champion. Old man. Is there are more impressive moonsaults 
in the top rope. Temperature drops from our champion. A big victory here at Hurricane Pro. You know what time it is? It is time for our main event. We're there, okay, man. All right, folks, are you ready for your main event? Yeah. This is Triple Threat Action. It's scheduled for one fall, and it will be for your Ladies Night Out Championship. Here we go. Introducing first, the challengers. The <laughs> and Hanukkah. And your second challenger, Miyu Yamashita! And now, introducing your reigning and defending Ladies Night Out Champion, she is the Kick Demon, Janai Kai! Kai. Yes. I'll probably end up marveling at this match, so I'm gonna try, you know. It was only less, I say less than almost about two months ago. Janai, she actually traveled over to Japan. Wrestled oh, yeah. over there, did a couple matches one night, and she loved it. She was talking about the culture over there and how much she loved her experiences there, uh, wrestling yeah. over there. I see her feel, uh, you feel that, uh, that leg kick there. Oh, yeah. yeah well, she picked up some wow. things. She picked up some things while overseas. A lot of leg checks right there, and then leg kicks. It hurts. Oh. But then again, on the other way, I have to say it's smart and Helica Riss's uh, part because oh, yeah. she's going to let these two work each other until it comes time when she picks her window oh, opportunity God. to go for that pin and become possibly become your new Ladies Night Out champion. Oh yeah, she's very smart. Again, I wouldn't want to be in here getting kicked like she was. I'd be on the outside as well, like she is. These ladies just working so hard, man. Counter for counter. Now what she's doing right there. Uh -oh. The risk going up. Oh, double cross, double cross body. body. You think maybe a quick cover on yeah, both you might of them. Get a jump down and get a quick cover. You over there just yeah. She's flexing. Oh, you can pay by that, that buckle right there. Boom, big splash by Helica Risk. Oh, 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 she's talking it, yo. I love that. They're so spicy. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're going to leave that right there. Nice oh. hip attack right there. Parked it like it's hot. Yep. Oh, another hip attack. All in the hips. This oh, one is. Quick cover, one, two. That thing got a two count. Let's see here, cover one. Yeah. Only yeah. get a one count on the current champion. I'm telling you, hurt, hurt. Right? See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, looking for that, for that pin on me. She's hoping to get the win. I mean, it's hot in here. Longer it goes like on. Said, she's successful in getting that pin. That means tonight will lose her championship without even getting pinned. Or some money. Very funny. Right here tonight. You're the kick demon, huh? Oh, oh, big strike. 
Huge oh, strike. another big strike. Oh. Well, right now, Alligator, you're getting what you asked for. Oh, Lord, she's oh. covering up, though. Smart. Oh, just oh, laying God. into her. Janai and me teaming up. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Some slide tactics and on the part be able of to ca capitalize and give him a double hit, but she's holding her own against two arguably one of the best you know, women's wrestlers around going right now. Exactly. In the world. She's the ropes. Oh, oh man. Her own version of a 619. A version of a 718 there. <laughs> Going to the pin on me, you. Quick cover, yep. kick. She's like, I can't get it here. Let me try on tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, she said we're friends to the referee, but the referee said right down the middle. I don't know what that's all about. Now they have to go. Look at that rear naked. That rear naked. It's a rear naked show. Right, now, oh, 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 oh. And now, me, you going for one of her. Very yeah, she got like a little sleeper action on her. Sleeper, uh, rear naked chin lock. Oh, double breaker right there. Oh, boy, the jaw jacks. And you got to think, both those heads coming down on Janai Kai's head as well. That definitely hurts her. It's definitely it doesn't feel good. Place. Sometimes some people's teeth goes on the top of your head when you do a jaw breaker, and that doesn't feel good. It's like somebody biting through a big apple, and the apple is your head. Person is just like, hey, I'm sorry. Fans getting behind them here tonight. It's been a long day of some hot, intense wrestling action. Here at Ladies Night Out, TotalMatchNetwork.com. Big time on him. We lost the monitor. We're fine. We're still out here. Cover one in, two. two. We're in the final match right here for the Ladies Night Out Championship. You Tempting to go for a German right there. Ah, man, look at laying those elbows right to the head. She said, not me, me, you. She said, not me, me, you. Oh, oh dick, ducks it. Here we are. Nice. Big head Oh, uh oh she caught it this time. Too many times. To a barrel position. Oh, snap. No. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, she's oh, she oh, was my lifeless. God. She Went was from a lifeless. wheelbarrow to that huge kick to a German. That was incredible. She was lifeless and they got tossed. What an incredible oh. review, and I. But now, uh, they're going at it against each other. Oh, yes, ma'am. Two warriors going at it right here. Janai Kai Miyu. They are working so hard. Oh, man, that could be it. She's on the cover. One, two. Oh, man. So close. I thought that was it. We could have had a new ladies' night out champion. How about that? Exactly. How about that? She could have, she could have been the new ladies' night out champion. That would have been wild. If anyone wants to do it, it can't be her. Oh. Oh, we'll just trade front kicks. Oh. Night. Oh, gosh. Oof. Good grief. Oh, Good. big kick. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh she ducked. Going for that big, she big kick. Oh. oh, caught her. Roundhouse. Oh, oh caught oh. her. Man, cover one. Two, oh man, how about Angelica Risk right there, very smart on her end, coming on, new champion, new champion! Oh, oh my God! We have a new ladies' night out champion, oh my God! She is a new champion! Oh. Ladies' night out champion, Angelica Risk! Ladies and gentlemen, smokes! The crowd is stunned, so are we in the booth. Out of nowhere, and you gotta give it to her. She capitalized. She did, she waited, she bided her time. Once again, Nakai though pointing. This isn't over. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the things you see here at Ladies Night Out.
Make sure if you're live here in the Senate, make sure you're watching every last show that's been streamed on the TileMagicNetwork.com. Subscribe now if you haven't already. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. We might still be going at it. Oh, oh, hey, oh, we got a oh, fight right here. Oh, oh, we got a fight right here. Hold on. This ain't over. The party ain't over. The this ain't, ain't over. over. Right now, uh, what's happening? Are we doing a boat? We're doing a boat. Separate. That's it. Separated. Offspring. I'm your best friend. That's why you want to play it. Keep them separated. I thought we were going to have a boat. Yeah. yeah. TitleMatchNetwork.com. TitleMatchNetwork.com. We are now underway officially with the first match of KFW Game Over from the beautiful Sun Outdoors Resort here in Sevierville, Tennessee. As always, I am Carmen Michael on commentary. As we kick off action tonight, Kenzie Page versus Isaac Kane in a Monsters Ball match. Kenzie right out of the gate, playing mind games, mocking her uncle. And you can tell by the body language, you can tell by the face right there. Isaac Kane certainly does not want to lay hands on his niece after everything that they've been through this last year. Of course, after spending many years away, Isaac Kane returned at Black Harvest last year. And since he's, and since he's returned, he has yet to defeat Kenzie Page. Kenzie offering the hand, but I'm not sure if I would. Exactly. That right there is exactly what I'm talking about. As Kenzie goes for the cover and almost walked away with a victory really early on here in this Monsters Ball match. Of course, anything goes in a Monsters Ball as Kenzie raining down with these clubbing hammer fists. crowd trying to show their support for Isaac Kane, but Isaac not fighting back thus far. Head first into the apron and sent back into the ring, and now Kinsey looking for some plunder here. For the first time, we may have some weapons coming into play as KFW owner Tommy Henry circles the ring. Oh, we have a chain. Not just a chain, but a dog collar. Very reminiscent of their match at Notorious. That brutal dog collar match taking place. Ooh. That chain goes around the back of Isaac and now around the throat. But that brutal dog collar match at Notorious that we saw take place in the parking lot of the venue. One of the most incredible spectacles I have ever seen as Tommy on the outside grabbing anything he can get his hands on. And right now it just so happens to be a multitude of ladders. It's always been an interesting family dynamic for the Henry family is now. Isaac Kane finally Mounting some offense on Kinsey. A flurry of rights. Now making his way to the outside. Tommy Henry wisely backing up here. Oh, but that momentary distraction, all Kinsey needed. Isaac with the reversal sends Kinsey into the guardrail. Now looking to take advantage, but having to keep Tommy Henry in the corner of his eye. And hey, no mistakes about it, Tommy Henry could be the game changer here. He could be exactly 
what sways things in Kinsey's favor. Isaac sliding in a table, meanwhile, Tommy Henry sliding in a ladder. What is he? Oh. Isaac. Sending Tommy Henry running. Meanwhile. Oh. It's too bad. Jousting with the pipe floor, pipe and drape system. And now right across the throat again to Isaac. Kinsey not happy with just securing the victory here. She wants to humiliate her uncle. She wants to make him pass out. She wants to suffocate him here in front of the crowd in Sevierville now going after that lower back. The same lower back she targeted just last month back at Notorious. Isaac creating some distance using that chain. Let's see if it buys him enough time as he props the table into the corner. And again, folks, that is not a wooden table. As you can tell, as a plastic table, no give whatsoever. As we're in position, running power slam. Kenzie could be out of it. Foot across the, say foot across the chest for a cover, but Kenzie Page managing to kick out. Again, these two no stranger to one another. They have battled it out time and time again since Isaac Kane returned to KFW. Like I mentioned before, Isaac Kane yet to put a win in the column against Kenzie Page. But tonight could be the night. Here in this Monsters Ball match, ladder bridge now formed across the ring to the guardrail. Kenzie Cutter folding the ladder in half. Folks, a ladder is not supposed to bend that way. And the crowd here doing their best to rally behind Isaac, but it could be over already. Isaac could be out of it. Kids are now rolling him over, going for a pinfall. Hooks the leg. Isaac Kane managing to kick out. And for those of you unaware of just how we got here, as I mentioned, Isaac's return match against Kinsey, calling out her uncle for all he had done to the family. And since Isaac has come back, he's really done his best to right the wrongs. Oh, Tommy now. Getting on the apron. As Isaac goes for that back black hole slam. Kinsey reverses into a Kinsey cutter. Leg hooks. Could be it? No. Barely manages to get the shoulder up. Isaac Kane staying alive here. And to think after all Isaac Kane has done for Kinsey, I think back. Tommy firing Kinsey Page in the center of the ring. And who was it that stood up for Kinsey? Who was it that reenacted her contract? It was Isaac Kane. Kinsey bringing up Isaac. Isaac with the right. Isaac finally starting to come to a little bit here. Shot to the gut with that mallet. Now Kinsey, the one firing away. Isaac creating some distance here as Kinsey makes her way over to the ropes. But here, here comes Tommy Henry. 
checking on his, on his baby girls. Pride and joy. As the NWA Women's TV Champion doing her best to make her way to her feet. As Tommy Henry offering some advice, some words of encouragement. Heel kick. Now King's going for the cover. Leg hooks. And again, Isaac Kane. What's it gonna take to put away Isaac here on this night? And if those mallet shots to the temple didn't do it, I'm not sure what will. Ladder cracked in the corner. You gotta wonder what wicked diabolical plan Kinsey Page has in mind now. Isaac seeing that ladder out of the corner of his eye and knew he had to do something. As Kinsey Page up, going for another power slam, perhaps. Kinsey with a reversal. But he's speared through the ladder. All of that metal warped around the body of human flesh. The mangled carcass of Isaac Kane now being drugged to the center of the ring. Two. What in the world did I just see? Isaac Kane somehow, some way, Picking out of that after that spear through the ladder. Really goes to show how personal this rivalry has been. And it really doesn't get much more personal than when family is involved. But thankfully for the fine folks here in Sevierville, Tennessee. This family likes to handle everything in the ring. Vicious overhand chop there. As Isaac Kane now scales the ropes. Has Kinsey hooked. There's nowhere to go but down. Superplex connects. Both competitors now. Seemingly worse for wear. Unable to capitalize. And again, that's the risk that you that you put yourself in. When you go for a move like a superplex, yes, you are driving your opponent down from practically 10 feet in the air. But at the same time, you are also falling an equal distance. You're doing almost as much damage to your body as you are your opponent. And now, Back and forth, trading blows in the center of the ring. Again with that overhand chop. You see the look of frustration on Isaac's face. Kenzie going for that super kick, but caught. Does Isaac have him on here? He's talking to Tommy here. Black hole slam. And in comes Kylie Alexa. Kylie, of course, had, had her fair share of history with Tommy Henry interfering with her career. See Kylie 
Align herself with Hunter Drake. In comes Kinsey with an NWA Women's TV Championship. DDT connects onto the title. Two, three, Isaac Kane finally snaps the losing streak. Isaac Kane finally picking up that elusive victory over Kinsey Page. Oh, Kinsey from behind. Going after her sister. Just trading haymakers. We're, we're gonna have to get some security out here to break this up. These two are gonna stop fighting. They brawl through the curtain. Now behind, behind Isaac. Isaac, you gotta look behind you. Tommy Henry poised and waiting to strike. Oh wow! Yeah, boy. As the two brothers now trading blows. <laughs> A family like no other. Two generations of siblings throwing down here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Fists are flying, bodies are rolling. Folks, what a hot start here tonight for KFW, game over. They may not even have a rest of the show. If these four keep carrying on the way they are. Leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Isaac Kane absorbing that blow and now face to face with the man who helped co-create KFW. Isaac, perhaps. Well, I was about to say being the bigger man walking away, but no, he's got that pole in hand. No, throws it down. Looking to go mano y mano. Rapid flow of chops as these two still carrying on all the way across the, the outside area now back across the barricade. Tommy threatening to break the arm of Isaac and finally, finally getting some order here as we keep things rolling here at KFW. Black Widow, very young, very new into her career, but at the same time racking up accomplishments. She walks into VWR as a champion, but she's got quite the fight ahead of her with this new Claudia staring across the ring. Yes, ref doing her job, checking the competitors. Yeah, you've got to hand it to our refs. We, uh, we always we expect the best out of our officiating. And that's the first bell here at VWR. Black Widow looking to get the crowd fired up on a chilly night here in Houston, Texas. Uncharacteristically cold is it here at Houston Premier yes. Arena. And Imera not to be deterred. So showing she's got some fans out here as well. Yeah. With the cheap shot, Black Widow. Well, Black Widow is not going to waste any time. Black Widow is going to go for whatever advantage that, they put, that she possibly can. And here she goes into a lockup. Ooh. Sweeps the leg. Black Widow to the canvas. Now back into a lockup. Both of these women jockeying for position in the early parts of this contest. 
It's important to establish dominance early on. The Wolf definitely. Oh, headlock takeover. Definitely was not expecting that. And now, and now it's just a matter of maintaining control. And there you go, a smooth transition into the head scissors. Black Widow getting to the rope, that ring awareness. Ring awareness, definitely. Young competitor, but still very, very skilled. We've got a lot of young com we've got a lot of young athletes on this broadcast here tonight, but we also have KG veterans. Oh. Into a pinning predicament, gets a two count, does Black Widow. Back into another pin. The former Claudia Soli. Definitely very well aware of what she's getting into here tonight. And that veteran presence is going to help her out against this up and coming luchadora, Black Widow. Emily, what are you noticing out of this, this new persona that we're seeing here tonight? What's, uh, uh, what do you find so surprising about this? Um, just, she's, just, she's a lot more just ruthless. She's usually a, lot more, a little bit more happy-go-lucky, so to speak. Yeah, usually Claudia comes out here. She's all business, but she's got a smile on her face. This, uh, this new iteration is not exactly what I was expecting. Still the same intensity, but... Just but, taking uh, all of the excitement that she would generally bring with her. She comes out more dancing and everything and just straight to business. Yeah, but I'm not entirely, and I'm not entirely sure what spurred this change. I don't know, new year, new Claudia? Is that what we're looking at? Maybe, maybe. As she takes Good Black Widow line. down with a vicious clothesline and gets a two count. And yeah, uh, Imera, formerly Claudia, she is a former PWF champion, so I don't know. Maybe she lost her title. I don't think I've seen her since then, since nope. she lost it to Rachel Rose. So well, maybe I know that's we, part of this. Well, I know we saw Imera at PWF not too long ago in what was the what oh. was the last ever RWR Vixens champion or Vixens division yes. match. To have her come in now, I think that what she's looking to do is to continue the legacy that she previously had in RWR. VWR, a new company, a new beginning, a new era, a new wave. And I think that Claudia wants to establish herself as the veteran presence of VWR, wants to put herself on top of this company as she whips Black Widow into the Ooh. corner and follows up with a vicious Big shoulder children. tackle. As I was saying, Cla and Black Widow reverses back into that corner and follows up with a shoulder of her own. Yeah, Black Widow going toe to toe with the veteran. Uh, new name, but it doesn't erase the history. This yes. Imera in the ring there has all the experience that she. Ooh. ooh, kick to the hamstring. And that'll take you out of it. That you you take out a leg. That limits mobility. Make sure that you can't. Takes a lot of power out of a lot of a lot of things that Claudia, that Imera, excuse me, can do. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. This Imera, who is, as we said, a veteran presence, has been a has been a part of RWR in the past. Wants to establish herself as a large part of VWR's roster going forward. Oh, as Black big Widow slam. lands a spine buster that would make Arn Anderson proud, goes for a cover. Imera getting her shoulder up at two. You have to imagine if Black Widow might have put just a little bit more pressure on that cover, that might have been it. And now Imera yeah, has her the by the leg. Ankle. Ooh. And there you go, those vicious strikes, the vicious leg strikes. We talked about how important it is to put the power behind the legs. And Imera has Black that Black Widow trying to call for a timeout. Well... I didn't exactly write the VWR rule book, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I think I saw that in the rules, though. Yeah, but it's definitely not yeah. in the rules. <laughs> there, there are no timeouts. I mean, I could call one, but I'm not going to. As. Mana has her on the, in the ropes. And she's going to use every second of the referee's count. That was that veteran presence that we talked about. Yes. Claudia knows what she's doing when she's in that ring. 
shoots her off. Oh. Back body drop. Back body drop. And Black Widow is feeling it. I have hit the mat a few times at Houston Premier Arena. I know how much that hurts. Black Widow having to kick out at two. Yeah, Imera in there, pressing her advantage, going for the cover when appropriate. You really can't underestimate the veteran presence of Imera. Black Widow, an up, up and coming competitor, very, Big very young. In the corner. Black Widow reverses. Yeah, quick, quick on her feet, quick thinking is Black Widow. Now it's just a power struggle. Into the opposite corner. And a big running forearm. And a bulldog to follow it up. Impressive from Black Widow as she goes into the cover. One, two, just a two count. Black Widow cannot believe that. Well, you lay in that kind of offense and you yes. expect to get something out of it. And now you can see Black Widow can't let herself get frustrated, but you can see you're turning on the aggression. Yeah. Which is what you need to do if you want to take down this Imera, this wolf among the sheep. And now both of these women just trying to gain the advantage. Imera tossing, tossing Black her Widow. Over into that corner. Getting some distance in that ring off that throw. Off the ropes. He's got her in a waist lock. Looks like, looks like she's trying to cinch that in, trying to put pressure on the diaphragm, make sure Black Widow can't breathe. If you can't breathe, you can't fight, Emily. I don't know if you're aware of that fact. You know, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I have not wrestled, so I assume that, that would make it very hard to breathe. You can't breathe, you can't wrestle. And it looks like that's exactly what Imera was hoping for. Wear her down. Now up on those ropes. Got I don't know Black if she's Widow on that bottom rope. Ooh. Ooh. Up and over, dropping the knees and the feet right onto the face of Black Widow. And that's not just downward force of gravity. That's also, that's also the physics of using those ropes for leverage. Adds Setting to that impact. back on that bottom rope. Hmm. Stomp to the stomach. Oh! Ooh. Baseball, Baseball slide. Baseball slide. Right down the middle. Someone's going to be feeling that in the morning. And now have her, has her Black Widow going for the eyes. Well, whenever you've got someone like Amira who's got you in a headlock, you're going to yes. want to break that any way that you possibly can. And now Black Widow trying to put the boots to her. Off the ropes, running kick right in that corner. Might have dislocated Amira's jaw. Into the cover. One, two. That rope break? Yeah, it looks like. That veteran ring awareness of Imera. Yeah, you gotta hand it to the official for noticing that. Now Black Widow just can't let herself get distracted, can't let herself get upset, lose focus. Because as we said, Imera, a very cagey veteran, somebody who knows exactly yes. what it is that they're doing in that ring. And it looks like Black Widow is doing just that, going up to the top rope. Yeah, you've got to go high risk, high reward in some instances. Not quick enough, though. Imera off that middle rope. Looks like she could be going for a superplex of some kind. High impact off that middle rope, rolls through right into a cover. Into One, cover. two, barely a kick out. I am impressed that Black Widow was able to get a shoulder up. And it looks like Amira might Amira, be a little bit more, a little frustrated to be honest. Going to the outside. Well, that didn't take long. First, 
First contest trading of the night. Blows. And they're already trading blows on the outside. I told you whenever we uh, whenever we booked this thing, this was going to be a hard hitting contest. Both of these women love to love to lay in those shots. They love to work stiff. Yes. And we're seeing a little bit of that right now as they work the outside, dangerously close to the crowd here at Houston Premier Arena. Jimera grabbing the hair, trying to keep control. These two women just laying in stiff shots on the outside. This suddenly became a very real fight. Oh. I believe our referee has gotten to 10. Oh, and the referee has called for the bell. We've got a double count out. These, these women are unable to separate themselves. This match has been ruled a draw as both competitors did not get back to the ring by the referee's count of 10. And they are still going at it. The referee needs to do something to break up these two women. Yes, we may, we may, she may need some help out here yeah, trying we, to break this up. Yeah, we might need more officials. Um, I don't know how many of them I have on payroll, but it may not be enough. Maybe, maybe even the locker room, maybe. Oh, looks. It looks like the referee has gained some semblance of control. We just had to do, create some separation. That's the best we can hope for. And neither, I don't believe that either of the women are happy with how this contest turned out, Emily. I, no. I think that they want, both of them would have liked to have walked out of this thing the winner, but. Of course, that's, both of them were, but are both very fired up competitors, both very fight, fighting very hard for the. You have to position. You have to wonder this Emira, this new this new persona, this new attitude that we're seeing from the former Claudia Soli. Maybe her attitude, maybe her emotions just got the better of her tonight. Title match network.com. Yes, about a month ago, back at hybrid wrestling, to the city Philadelphia, and Pennsylvania. By Shout out to Hill Pops and Chair Shot. Sponsor for this incredible matchup. To my left, brought to you by True Hardcore Wrestling Fans. She's accompanied to the ring by Chino Cops. An internationally renowned fighter fighting out of Moscow, Russia. And current star of Impact Wrestling. This is Russian Dynamite. Masha Solo. this is going to be. The last one was a banger. This one is probably going to be a banger. You know what they say about the great rematches in all of sports history? They're always better than the first. And these two women are going to go out and give it their absolute best. Mercedes is a vet in the purest terms. She knows more than you forgot. She's forgotten more than you, than you know. know. Yep. And she knows things you don't even know exist yet. That is very true. But Masha Slamovich, no slouch. She has been blazing a trail through independent wrestling, which yep. led to her getting signed by Impact Wrestling. What a great moment that was in the middle of that ring with Duncan. Yes, it was indeed. And these two are on the outside. 
And they've been in, stuck in that Colorado tire for a while. And you only gotta wonder, what role will Gino Gotts play in this one? He was not present for the first match between these two. I'll be honest, I watched that tape left, right, and center. It didn't look like Masha, that Gino was gonna bring anything to that match that would have helped Masha. Mercedes was able to dominate Masha Slamovich in a way I've not seen many people do. Masha Slamovich has gone through some incredible wars in this building alone. Yep. She fought Billy Starks in a great match for Expect the Unexpected. She had an incredible match with Steve Pena for the Battle Club Pro Five Point Championship that led, that ended with her getting pile driven through two chairs. Masha is a tough cookie. I don't even think tough is the right word. That may be an understatement. I'll tell you, in my days as a referee, I've been in the ring for plenty of Masha Slamovich matches, and not only can she hold her own with some of the best women, as you just alluded to, she can hold her own with some of the best men. This is very true. Cover by Mercedes, first cover of the match, and a two count. Masha Slamovich, as we've spoken about, looking for revenge here. She is down 0-1 against Mercedes Martinez, and the question is if she will get her second win here tonight. That's a good question. And here comes the interference of Gino Gotts. He has referee uncle Steve Dumang's attention. And Mercedes Martinez, uh-oh. Please punch him in the mouth. It'll be what he deserves. And Gino Gotts looking like he had the fear of God in his eyes when Mercedes Martinez grabbed him. Oh! oh nice roundhouse kick by Masha Slamovich. And another one. A lot of people gotta remember, in the beginning of the pandemic, Masha was trapped in Japan. So she had an extensive learning and training Covered period. Covered by Masha here, two count kick out by Mercedes. Beautiful gut red suplex there that, uh, right before that pinning, that pin attempt by Masha. And now Masha pulling on the hair, being admonished. You know, Al, you and I are both big sportsmen. Yes, sir. And we both know what it's like when you're down 0-1 and you gotta come back. Yep. You know, what in the world is going through, now mind you, Masha is as crazy as crazy comes. And I say that with all respect in the world. There are places that Masha Slamovich will go to to win a match that most people can't dream of. So what in the world must be running through Masha's head here tonight, being down 0-1 in this second match against Mercedes? Well, there might be some desperation. She already knows that Mercedes has what it takes to beat her. She's already looked up at the lights, and she's already been down for three counts at the hands of Mercedes Martinez. Her pride might be hurt, her ego might be hurt, so she's coming back in this one to prove once and for all that maybe Mercedes beat her by a fluke, or maybe she just had a bad night. Well, Mercedes right now firmly in control, and we don't usually say that about a lot of Masha Slamovich's opponents. No, we do not. And, ooh, and look at that, using the hair to her advantage is Masha Slamovich. You know what, as long as you don't get disqualified for it, you might as well take every inch that the ref will give you. Absolutely. The rope may not be long, but use as much of it as you possibly can. Oh! But she is using those ropes, so she does have to break at the count of five. And that is correct. Masha Slamovich, I heard her talking in the back to Gino very early today about how she is willing to do absolutely anything. Oh! Huge spear on the apron taking out Masha Slamovich, and that's one way to cut the momentum. And as you know, 
the apron the hardest part of the ring. I thought the middle of the ring was the hardest. Oh no, that's where the end of the boards are. And now Mercedes hammering away now <coughs> on the chest of Masha Slamovich. Mercedes Martinez, oh! Oh, stiff kicks to the spine of Masha. And a third one, and it looked like a knee to the back of the head on that last one. And Mercedes Martinez dishing out the punishment here. And what's, are we gonna see a slingshot? Yes, we are, looks like it. Oh, and a lot of people gotta remember those ring ropes are actually steel cable. They, they do hurt. Cover here, using the shoulders and the legs for leverage with Mercedes, but still only got a two. And now going into a submission here. Referee doesn't notice, Masha's leg is underneath the rope. <laughs> and look at um, Gino pulling Mer Mercedes off. Gino's um, gonna get himself killed. Yeah, he better run. I think we might uh, run, Gino. Run, boy! Gino begging for mercy. He, did he just swing at Mercedes he Martinez? And he did it, he got caught. Mercedes got Gino. Gino's praying to his mama. Gino's praying to grandma. Mama. He may never do commentary here ever again. Oh. And a knee to the face! And I've got to say, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. A ripcord knee taking out Gino Gotts. I think we might have to call an ambulance for old Gino there. He ain't moving. Masha tried to take advantage, but Mercedes slapping the taste out of her mouth. Oh! That scorpion kick caught her in the jaw. German with a bridge. Only a two count. Only a two count. The stretch in Masha's leg from behind Mercedes' back to send that scorpion kick to the jaw of Mercedes Martinez. What great action here, and we are wrestling. It was all a dream. And now with Gino being neutralized, it's back to a one-on-one -on -one fair fight. <laughs> nice suplex, hold on uh -oh. by Mercedes Martinez. Whoa, Masha Ma reverses. Another reversal. These two women trade suplexes, and now we get to see it. Oh, maybe not. And they're still holding on. Masha getting two of her own. Is Masha gonna get all three? Oh, Mercedes. Hooking that inside knee. Yep, and now firing away with shots to the midsection. Went for a clothesline, ducked and dodged by Masha Slamovic. With a suplex. Beautiful dragon, snap dragon suplex by Mercedes in the cover here, one. This could be it, two. Oh! And Masha kicked out in the, at the nick of time, maybe at 2.95. But the fact is, Masha Slamovich did kick out. Masha, again, looking for that elusive victory. She went, when the first match between her and Mercedes was announced, Masha, you know, I saw Masha gush like I've never seen Masha gush about a match before. She talked about it being a dream match of hers, a match she's always wanted. And then Masha, at the end of that night, was with the lights. Yep, and looks like she might be looking up at the lights here. Nice fisherman suplex, and again, Masha kicks out in the nick of time. That fisherman suplex has put down a who's who of competitors for Mercedes Martinez, but did not put away Masha. Nope. What is it gonna take? for Masha Slamovich to get a victory. What is it gonna take for Mercedes to put Masha down? All good questions, Pete. Club in the back now of you Masha. You heard that club. Oh yeah. 
It looks like, what is this, like a, a razor's edge? It is. Wait, Masha rolls out. Masha roll up. Oh, went for a pin, but Mercedes was able to get out of it. Trying to get out of this here. Masha, the pile, pile driver. driver. The pile driver. This could be it. This could be it. Cover on Mercedes. One, two, and that's it. Masha Slamovich. Can we say this is an upset? I don't think it is. But what we can say is that Masha Slamovich has tied it up. One, and one. one, one. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Introducing first from Los Angeles, California, she is the serpent of sin. This is Vibrant. All right, here we go. Triple threat action to determine the number one contender for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship, the Serpent of Sin Vipress, the Oklahoma native Danny B, and the Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion herself, Miranda Alizé. One of these three women will be the number one contender for Lady Frost and her Hurricane Pro Cruiser uh, Women's Championship. Will it be the Cruiserweight Champion? We know Miranda Alizé has been a fighting champion in the cruiserweight division, tangling it up with both the women and the men. But now it looks like Miranda Alize looks to have her sights on putting even more gold around her waist. Are we looking at the next women's champion and our cruiserweight champion? We will see. As you see, Miranda and Danny B taking the fight to the Serpent of Evil, Vipress. Are in this triple threat match, first fall to a finish will be the number one contender for the women's title. Miranda Alizé with those deep shots right to the solar plexus of Vipress. It's interesting how usually degrades with this situation in triple threat matches where two competitors will often team up and take out the third one. That way they can turn it into a one-on-one -on -one contest. A little surprise that Danny B and Miranda Alizé are so easily coming to terms on aligning themselves against the Sermon of Evil, I guess with someone who considers herself a Disney villain come to life like Vipress, it's easy to, I guess, to understand why they would want to take her out of the equation. As is Vipress on the outside, it's now one-on-one -on -one between Danny B, the first ever African-American champion in the history of Oklahoma, going one-on-one -on -one with our current Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight champion, Miranda Alizé. You know, for so long, Miranda was the face of the Hurricane Pro Women's Division, the first Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And since she segued into the Cruiserweight Division, it's been quite some time since we saw her competing for that Women's Championship. This is a cover here. But she's better keep her eye on Danny B, who since making her debut at Hurricane Pro last year has been building a lot of momentum. She had a huge, huge victory against Chris Carter at our last event. Of course, Danny B also has been making a big splash with WOW Women of Wrestling. And she make an even bigger splash with the big head scissors turning Cruiserweight Champion inside out. Danny B is able to get a shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. And Miranda Alizé turning around. We're going for Miranda rights here. Nope, turns it into a cover. Waistlock standing and knee right to the face from the superstar Miranda Alizé. Here's the cover on Danny B and the Vipers breaks up. We'll never know. Now Vipers taking the fight to the Oklahoma native Danny B. 
Danny B is a proud competitor from the great state of Oklahoma, but looking to make a big splash here in the Lone Star State. Training with, of course, Booker T and Reality of Wrestling, wrestling all over the great state of Texas. And now looks to take one more step closer, earning a championship gold here in the Lone Star State. Here in Southeast Texas with the Hurricane Pro Women's title. The Vipress has other plans. The Serpent of Sin, twisting neck breaker on the Danny B cover here. And only a two count from referee Bobby Black. Women's wrestling has become a mainstay here at Hurricane Pro. Our fans look forward to the return, of course, our women's champion, Lady Frost, has been tearing it up on Impact Wrestling. And she's eager to see, I know that she is watching eagerly to see who will be next in line to challenge for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. All three of these women are deserving. Of course, Vipress now twisting and tying up Danny B. Are we going to see is the Serpent of Evil as the face of the women's division here at Hurricane Pro. And here comes the Lucha Batty, Miranda Allison with a drop kick right to the face of the Vipress. Goes for the cover, but Danny B right there breaks it up. Miranda Alize with the edge of both experience and notoriety over these two other competitors. Miranda Alize tearing it up in Ring of Honor, tearing it up on AEW. Of course, for 593 days, she's also been the reigning cruiserweight champion here at Hurricane Pro. This has been her house, and you gotta believe she does not want anyone to walk in and take away what she thinks is rightfully hers as she finally puts her eyes back set on the Hurricane Pro women's title. And what would it mean for Danny B not only to get a shot, or Vipress to get a shot at the title, but to get a victory over Miranda Alize? Danny B in a very precarious position on the top rope here as Miranda Alize taking things up a notch. Very uncharacteristic for her to be up on the top rope. Now wait a minute, Vipers getting involved here. I'm just throwing Miranda like a rag doll off the top. Now the front face lock on the Danny B from the Vipers. We're looking for maybe a superplex here. Precarious position. Now wait a minute, Miranda Alize back inside. Oh, this is not good. Oh! Power bomb and suplex combination, Tower of Doom. And Miranda going to cover on the nearest body, which was Vipress. Vipress got the shoulder up barely. Now Miranda going to cover Danny B this time. And a two count from her as well. You see the frustration on the cruiserweight champion. Oh, inside cradle, rolls her up. Small package, Danny B almost got it right there. Oh, Danny B hoisting up the Vipress. Is that enough? Oh, Miranda at the vast possible second breaks up the cover. The strength of Danny B. Oh, look, Miranda cinching in Miranda Wrights. The Miranda Wrights is cinched in. Will Danny B tap out? The number one contendership for the Women's Championship is at stake. Is the role that Danny B has been on coming to an end here at the hands of the Cruiserweight Champion? And Miranda saw that Danny B was almost to the ropes, drags her back to the center, nowhere to go for Danny B. Oh, and a kick right to the face from the Vipress. Dropping Cruiserweight Champion face first, but Miranda rolled all the way to the outside. Tough luck for the Serpent of Evil, but Danny got Vipress up on her shoulders again. This time, Vipress rolls out of it. Danny going for it again. Pump kick misses. Up oh, back on the shoulder. Oh! Is that it? That's it! And the new number one contender for the women's championship, Danny B. The Oklahoma native.
what isn't a joke is the action that we are going to see throughout the entirety of this evening at the Houston Premier Arena. And Stylica has nearly broken this damn building so many times throughout her Lucha Extremas. Now we're going to see a tag team affair as we have Gringo Loco and Sadiga taking Ario De Juarez and Christy James. Oh man, how is this going to fare out? Remember, this is only the beginning match. As the fans are pretty riled up, we've still got fans in the door coming in. This is how insane this is, how eventful this night will be. As I'm not even sure who's going to start this. Is this going to be tornado rules or are we going to see bodies fly already? Here we go. The only thing in the way is the official who has having quite the time checking all four competitors. Here we go. And whoa. I envy the referee for once, y'all, but I got to remain impartial as the commentator tonight. As the opening moments of this show have barely begun, the fans are on fire. We still got fans piling in. We need a bigger building. Here we go. Christy mocking the fans here. Seeing that she's a little bit envious of her opposing team. Here we go. A couple of duck and dodges. Oh! An Inzaguri face crusher combination. It looks like Ringo Loco and Ariel De Juarez are the only two standing. And the only two starting. Oh! Super kick into the abdomen now. A couple of whip reversals. An up and over by Gringo Loco. Beautiful athleticism by the crazy white boy. Oh! Kangaroo drop kick subdues him. Here we go. What's going to be next, ladies and gentlemen? He moves out of the way, using the ropes into a beautiful Huracanrana. Ariel De Juarez not shy of using those ropes to his advantage. Uh oh, into a full Nelson. Wait a minute. Sadega going to fly. Oh no! Kangaroo drop kick misses the mark. And down goes Loco. Not Loco wrestling. Gringo Loco, that is. Uh-oh. These two are having a jaw-jacking contest here. Is he offering his hand of respect? I don't even... Oh, no. Kids, cover your eyes. <laughs> and your ears, because we're going to see some loud hits in this one. Uh-oh. Is Adio going to do the first strike, or is he going to allow Sadi got to? You know, a nice drop-down. Followed by a pass by, and oh, again. Oh! Handspring Enziguri to the jaw. And Sadiga's looping. Knowing her track record when it comes to death matches alone, she's a glutton for punishment. Oh! Don't enhance your sound. That was as loud as it gets. They're saying Othra, and I don't want to be Ario on this hit. Who's going to have the louder hit in this one? And it looks like I'm not alone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my friend. How's it going? I'm uh, doing well. This is uh, uh, Nick Irene over at WrestleRave here joining us for our good friends at Local Wrestling. Proud sponsor oh! of the Reggie event. Indeed. And uh, quick shout out. I'll be there in October as well, so you're going to get quite familiar with this voice, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's going to be a Kill you with just those fists. Oh! Wow. Not to be outdone, good sir. Indeed. Areo, Mr. Irene, is uh, one not afraid of someone like Sadiga. She's her own weapon. And oh no, here we go. Has him by the hair now. Looking to shoot him off, but he reverses it. And wait, oh! Unique combination using that second rope as a weapon with a foot, and again. Beautiful Enziguri. And, uh, and uh, Ario definitely is not 
not uh, making friends here. And boom! Textbook crossbody. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Nicholas, he's using those feet like if he just knew what to do with them. That's a weapon right then himself. Yeah, but you see Gringo Loco lurking in the background. That crazy white boy. Oh! Another shotgun drop kick for your flame. Well, we know Gringo Loco's been all across the world Indeed. making a name for himself. And speaking of all around the world, he's some Brazilian taste with Christy James. Better wait. Oh! No more, uh, Nicholas. Gringo Loco is obviously an equal opportunity ass kicker as well. Indeed, my friend. I hope we don't get sued for that, but uh, indeed. <laughs> and a nice Alita there by Chrissy. And Chrissy can go as well. Former AEW dark competitor. She's been all across. I'm sure she'll be back. Former SWE yeah. Fury Women's Champion as well. I mean, what hasn't she? Nice mop that mop. They got her. That Brazilian pride, she wins oh! the crowd. Wow! Well, she may be Is that a coup? Well, she may be sipping super strong now. I guess this is Loco Tornado rules as there's been no tags at all. But hey, if it ain't Loco, it ain't fire. That's right, my friend. Sorry, it took me a while. You got me a long card, though. Uh, don't worry, you got some of them jello shots that were sponsored here tonight. It's okay. It's a night of celebration. Wait, wait, wait. I have not gotten a whole lot of shots. Listen, buddy, uh, camera's not on you. I saw it. As we have another stalemate between these two. Oh! Happy forearms everywhere. Uh oh. Oh. As now they're training for Gringo Loco. Both men having the same eye. Oh! go down. Well, it's only fitting that this crowd of local wrestling is chanting for Gringo Loco. Oh! And you're the of Gringo Loco. We got fans of the crazy white boy. And now I'm not talking about me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Need a translator for that? Oh, no. Sadika. What was that? Uh, I think she mistaken him for Areo. I don't know how she did that. And she was subdued. Wait a minute. A little docito. Oh, two pay suicida. Wait a minute. And another. Holy suicide dive. And both men have been taken out by the respective women in this matchup. Hey, these women are just as crazy as the men. Indeed, especially uh, the Sonic guy right there. Well, we know Sonic because he's been in wars with guys like John Wayne Murdoch and all sorts of the deathmatch weapons. Even death Nick match freaking Gage. I saw that. Wait a minute. A double cover. And oh, only a two. So who would have won? Wait, they're switching partners now. Wait a minute. I still don't know who would have won. I barely know who's on whose team now. I see that Christy and Juarez are sort of matching. Wait, they're arguing because they've been hitting each other's partners. Have I been taking these shots and not realize what's going on? This is a little confusing. Well, now, now it looks like we're, we're, we're back on the same page. Are you not the only one drinking that Modelo? Oh! That answers our question. Well, it looks like Chris Jane may be drinking oh. for a next week. She may need kick. one after that kick, my friend. As Gringo Loco stands tall, the crazy white boy. Susceptibly athletic are both Sonica and Gringo Loco. Oh, indeed. Using her body literally and figuratively as a weapon, she don't give a damn. Oh, no! Sweet shot! Bullet Bob. Oh, and uh, Tolly Blanchard as well. Shout out to both. Rest in peace, Bullet Bob. Bit of an old school man myself. I appreciate you, my friend. I like it now. Huh, not that I didn't before, but either way, calling the action. We've got. Oh, do we have a cat fight? They're pulling hair. Gregor Loco, very smart not to get in between these two Hellcats. Good thing. Oh, boy. Good night. Good night, Irene. No pun intended. Ha ha. Good thing we're about a good 25 feet away from... Oh, the stomach slap. That hurts. Doesn't tickle. Pink belly, as I call it. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Catches her kick. Oh, oh. and takes her down. I don't want to down with Sadika. As she was going for a leg Larry at Sadika, caught it. Uh-oh. Wheelbarrow. Oh, and a chop. And, oh, wait a minute. This Wheelbarrow. Like oh! That's a cruel and unusual 
punishment right there. Like a sit-out flatliner of some sort. It's cruel and unusual indeed and breaks it up. How is this one fall to a finish? This is all over the place. Well, these four individuals are just beating the everlasting crap out of each other. Can we say crap on this? I think um, yeah, I think this is PG-13. Just don't say the F word, uh, you know. Uh, if not, uh, don't blame me, y'all. <laughs> what, friendly? Uh, yes, family friendly. <laughs> As, wait a minute, Loco and Sadiqa looking to fly. No strangers to the air, Nicholas, so let's see what they have in mind. That uh, corkscrew body press. There you go. And beautiful shades of Christopher Daniels are Combination and go! Unbelievable! Both one of their best shots, but they're still not down. I've seen Sonica put away a lot of people with that corkscrew plancha, and it was not effective Indeed. on this James. Or Gringo's Loco, Gringo Loco's double springboard moots, all using the bottom and the top for that momentum. Because that's deceptive athleticism, as I'm talking Indeed. about. Indeed. And we're going to see that all night with these athletes that are on this card. Uh, trust me when I say that, ladies and gentlemen. As Areo taking his time to recover as Christy is getting two on one here by both Sadiga and Loco. He doesn't seem in a big hurry to help his partner. I mean, with Sadiga in there, uh, I don't blame him. Oh, I'm surprised there's rules at this point. It's the referee counting to four rather than a five pound. I know, Loco's relaxed rules. Indeed. It's a little bit of anarchy. Oh, into a nice Mate Monica by Christy James. The inmates run the asylum here. Indeed. Ducks the double sledge. Oh, teamwork. Oh, oh. catches her. Oh, no. Trying to catch that run out. Oh. And oh, clubs her way out of it. A counter for a counter. And another Enziguri. And Loco's out of the ring now. Oh, now, it's, now it's two on one on Sadika. Oh, the tables have turned. Wait a minute, right. could we see some more double team shenanigans? Could be some Oh! Into a nice leap. Run! Hurricane run! Oh man, Sadika let her run up back of her head! But that's just a normal Tuesday for her. She's one for punishment. And oh! oh nice Meteora! Running Meteora! Goodness, wait a minute, hey, wait, her wait, arm wait. on the rope! That's gotta, yeah, oh, so there's rules? Oh. I don't know, Nicholas, I'm what confused as you all oh, know. How many refs do we have tonight? What is that the call about to say? Hopefully we got several more. And this is just the opener, ladies and gentlemen. This is bonkers. We got, uh, we got a lot more coming to that If I'm not mistaken, eight more matches, ladies and gentlemen. So this is going to be a heck of a barn burner evening. I thought there was nine. Well, I mean, this is one. You got me? Honestly, I don't know. How many more shenanigans have we got tonight? As, wait a minute, more oh, double team nice. shenanigans. Oh, nice clothesline. Running oh, snapper. That was a drop kick of epic proportions. Uh, Indeed. Sonica didn't even allow uh, the one count. I'm sure a piece of her hair and a little bit of her teeth went out on that one. Oh, and look at that. Hair marrying her to the ground. Ringo Loco a little MIA at the moment as he's recovering. Won't be good for the... Uh, what is pulling them back in? Not making friends here is uh, Reyes and Christy. As wait a minute, he's trying to go for a handshake. I think it's too. I think it's past that at this point. Oh yeah, it's been a good a near 15 minutes that this tag match has been going on. No more time for friends. Just a winner. Into an opposite corner. Ooh, close line in Zaguri. And yeah, this man's throwing in Zaguri like you throw cards in a poker game. What's next, Nicholas? I don't know. Shush. Oh, and another Enziguri. Another shoulder blade. Wait a minute. Countering Sadika. Wait a minute. Into a bit of a do -si do Out of the ring he goes. This ain't nursery oh, rhymes. Goodness. Wow. I heard that from here. I did as well. That not that not too silly. Accurate. No, that's an understatement now. He probably thinks he's in Pasadena by now. Or Stratford. I don't know. Any some ceramic places. Oh man. Christy Jane's oh. getting challenged to get back in and a low blow to yeah, Gringo yeah. Loco. Oh, and by the hair, Nicholas. That's the only way you, you truly get your enemy in the back of the ring. 
at least in the way of a Sadika. This match is just under With chaos. Oh no, tilt a whirl, head scissors. The athleticism of Miss Jane's. Oh, oh my and goodness. a forearm. Athleticism, but she can damn sure. And fight. wait a minute. What is his note for this? Watch world this. Is, what in the world is this? Have you seen tight rope walks? I Watch have. this man do it. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh my God. Sonny guys, just another victim right there. Think about this. He tight roped 16 feet, jumped another two or three to that rope, and flew on him. And it lives to tell the tale. And listen to this. Oh, no. Oh, my. Beautiful moves off and there, Nicholas. And her feet like a cat. My word. I'm at a loss for words, and these fans are holistic, Nicholas. Oh, you know a victory roll pen is this gonna end it? No! If that doesn't end, I don't know what the hell is going through. Me neither, my friend. And I gotta tell you, we've got eight more of these matches. Holy mackerel. I don't know how I'm gonna survive. Buddy, we're on this ship together. We're not going down. It's gonna be a long night. Indeed. Someone get me a sprite. Oh! Solid kick to the back. Christy, not done going to the air yet. What does she have in mind? Uh-oh. Is this the equalizer to end it all? Wait a minute, he was faking. Oh! oh. And as he pushed her, Areo got hit as well. Unfortunate got little, got timing. He got boot right in the chin. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Bring Off the top. No! Super Falcon! Super Falcon Arrow! One, two, and no! Wait a minute. Beautiful crucifix spin, and that's it! You thought he was out, but he was out. TitleMatchNetwork.com the north here. I'm paying close attention to this one, gentlemen. Rightfully so. Tell him to be contender. <laughs> Referee Shady Torres in charge of the bout. Senior official here at Bree Combination Wrestling. And we want to thank you again for joining us, be it on YouTube, on bcw.tv, or of course on Title Match Wrestling. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow all things Title Match Wrestling as well as Bree Combination Wrestling. Got a flex off going on here, gentlemen. Well, both of these competitors are some of the most toned in the entire BCW locker room, man or woman, or whatever pronoun you so choose. Talk about the power game of Christina Marie, who's one of the top competitors here in the Northeast and in the world. She was a Mission, mission Pro the other night. And then Danny Moe, great competitor in her own right, traveling in the world. That's right. Great innovative offense. Not to mention the premier mixed tag team of the Neon Blondes. Danny Mo, the first queen of the North to not successfully win the championship. That's got to be eaten away there, that chip on that That's shoulder. Correct. What better way to get that, rid of that chip by beating the current queen of the North? And keep in mind, since becoming the queen of the North, these two have almost paralleled in a way. They've appeared on Premier Streaming Network, on IWTV, on BCP+, of course here in BCW, but as well as AEW Dark and other platforms. 
appreciate the shameless promo now. Danny Mo ducking the line, knee to the midsection. And Danny Mo reciprocates the offense with a forearm strike. Again, uppercut. Both of them equally matched here. Keep in mind, of the two, Christina Marie is a noted power lifter. Whereas Danny Moe has spent the last 18 months conditioning and toning her body physically, but not lifting as heavy. What a match has been so far. Both ladies are down. What Double clothesline. Both females had the same idea, and they're both going to take a moment to reconsider on the outside. And I know I used the term match of the year earlier, gentlemen, but I mean, this is already off to a great start, and it just feels like a big fight. Absolutely, and you gotta remember when you're a competitor, once the fall season comes, you know you gotta put on your best game because you wanna at least be in the conversation, and that's what we're gonna see here. Already is, already is. And Michael J., you were here when Christina Marie had that history-making victory, defeating two people physically, getting a cover over two other competitors. What a dominant win. What a way to win Queen of the North by shooting at dominance. Arguably the most dominant Queen of the North victory of all time. Oh, hands down. I think Danny Moe may have eaten part of that ring post there. Yeah, she took a bite out of that. And a full bite of that one. And to be fair, senior official Shady Torres doing a great job maintaining the count, but both of these two very aware, breaking it so they can spend more time dishing out punishment. Laying into Danny Moe here from the outside. And like I said, it just doesn't feel like a wrestling match. It feels like a brawl. It feels like something personal here. Well, it feels like it. Imagine this. You're both carrying a mantle. That's it. Right in the oh, chest, Michael. You know, Danny Moe just recently joined a new faction, Extinguish. That's right. And was talking to her, giving her some sort of new edge. Now she has some backup, too. Yeah. They keep eyes of who's in this crowd. Look at this, the locker room. Multiple members of the locker room have wanted to get front row seats for this contest. They're all a bunch of troublemakers, but they want to be a part of this matchup. Actually, Q8. back in the ring. You hit wrong, Shan. Christina Marie on the outside here, close to our commentary booth. Which has been the scene of many moments here, most of which featuring Jay Bougie throughout the evening. That's fair, man. It's been a night, brother. Can you stop talking about Jay Bougie? I, I mean, he's not your friend. What are you talking about? He sent me a message on Excel Ooh. on my sidekick. Vicious pump. Vicious punch knocks the current queen down. Crowd torn here, too. Both supporting. Yeah. Don't know who to root for. Well, keep in mind, these two competitors, until their arrival to BCW, oh, cover, cover. Much similar to Gabby Ortiz, much similar to Emily J, were very, very requested by the BCW faithful. So it's not just the fact that they've etched their, stone, their names in stone here, they've been wanted by the fans. I'd also like to point out that we saw Christina Marie count out a one just now after this hard hitting bounce yeah. so far. Yeah. A one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the extension of that leg. Oh. Oh. Got some words for Shady over yeah. there. And Danny Moe eats that top turnbuckle. <clears throat> We talk about match the year. I also got to say, these are two top women here in the Northeast and the nation at large in the independency for sure. Each competitor also currently holding championships in other promotions. No doubt. Ooh, vicious kick to the head. Michael J, do you want to put your money on anybody right now? No, I do not. This is too close to call. Here's this innovative offense. And it pays dividends right now with that sick kick just downing. Christina Marie. Do you want to put money on somebody? Absolutely not. Impartial commentary. That's what we like yeah. here, gentlemen. Not only that, they can both beat me up. That's fair, brother. <laughs> I put money on that. I want to see that. Oh, even I do. Okay, he crossed the line. Oh, big kick to the midsection there. Very innovative. Yeah. Scintillating sequence there by Danny Moe, but can she follow up from the standing position? Ooh. Ooh. That's got to be it right Low there. Low Fury. Asking. Hooks the leg. Oh. It's about to be a neon nightmare for Christina Marie there. I like it. And we talk about the innovative offense of Danny Moe. Let's talk about that power game. We saw our flexing, boys. Yeah. yeah we're talking about Christina Marie's weightlifting and heavy lifting. We don't give enough credit to Danny Moe and her power and her strength. That's true. Both competitors have a lower center of gravity, so they're going to surprise you when they do those lifts. Momentum. Oh, 
TitleMatchNetwork.com First from Orlando, Florida, top tier, Jackson One of these two women will earn themselves a spot in the main event. And the crowd fully invested in this match. It sounds about half and half. People pulling for Jasmine, people pulling for the load. Jasmine Alert covering her ears right now, not wanting to hear the San Antonio audience root for the load, but this is it. Jasmine Alert cannot let the crowd get in her head right now. She cannot let the woad get in her head right now. This is the moment that she has been waiting for. To taste gold once again at Mission Pro Wrestling. First and foremost, she has to defeat the woad. A thing to note about the woad is that she is the first and only half-blind female wrestler. The human wrecking brawl ball. The queen of the Buds of Steel and quickly scaring out top tier Jasmine Allure. Jasmine finds herself running away from the woad. It's only going to get her so far here. You see Jasmine in the opening moments of the match mocking the woad who did not take kindly to that. And Jasmine trying to get some offense going but the woad just too big and too powerful. She is overpowering Jasmine Allure right now. And we saw the world strength play earlier into this match, in the first round match. And right now she is just spinning, spinning the life out of Jasmine Allure like she is on a roller coaster. Exactly. Jasmine Allure having to fight her way out of that fireman's carry. Again, just very smart offense, trying to take the load out of the legs there. She's got to make it to where the load cannot use that power and her size to her advantage. But you see there, just from the one count, that's going to be a little bit easier said than done. But Jasmine Allure has faced all types of competitors here at Mission Pro Wrestling. She knows what it takes to be at the top. She's faced the top. And right now, we're seeing her pick up steam. Oh, only to find herself in a killer lariat from the whoa. And just like that, you saw the devastating lariat there. Switching the match right back in the Wode's favor just in an instant. The crowd is certainly cheering on the one-eyed, thick-thighed weapon of ass destruction, the Wode. And she moved out of the way, Jasmine Allure. Smart moment from Jasmine to be aware of her surroundings and move out from out of the way from the Wode. The Wode may have taken too much time showboating there with the audience, giving Jasmine Allure the opportunity to actually move. And Jasmine Allure taking advantage of just that in this matchup, using the ropes, her foot, anything she can to get an advantage over the Wode. And as of this moment, we want to give a huge shout out to everybody. We have thousands of you watching right now on the Title Match Network. Thank you guys so much for choosing Mission Pro Wrestling to come and watch. We appreciate you guys wherever you are and whatever part of the world that you are watching us. Thank you so much for showing support to Mission Pro Wrestling here on our third year anniversary for Welcome to the Jungle. And we continue on right now. Jasmine Allure on the back of the woad as she tries to bring her down. 
And it seems to be working right now because the Woad finds herself on her knees and Jasmine Allure trying to choke out the Woad. That's right, if Jasmine Allure can keep that cinched in, can cut off the blood flow to the Woad's brain, she may be coming out of this to Victor, but the Woad fighting up just too strong. Using those legs, the strong legs that the Woad has to get herself back up there. And is Jasmine pulling the she's, eye patch? She's pulling, yes, exactly, at the eye patch of the Woad. What a dirty move from Jasmine Allure. You know, we have seen Jasmine do just about everything. The way that she won earlier in this match by pulling the tights of her opponent, and now she has gone one step above that, and how she yanked the eye patch of the woe. Exactly. Jasmine Allure is not going to stop at anything to become a three-time champion. That much is apparent throughout this tournament. She is going to do whatever she thinks she has to do to walk out of this building with this title belt. I cannot believe it. Jasmine Allure now going for the pin. Can she get it? Will this be it? No. Just a two count there for Jasmine, and she is stunned, just as we are right now by some of the tactics that Jasmine is pulling in this match. And now we're seeing some words between her and the referee. And that could cost her here. Jasmine, she has to stay on the woe. We've said it throughout this matchup. Right there, those few moments arguing with the referee, giving the woe some time to recover and making Jasmine pay for it. She just found herself with the buds of steel straight to her face. Can this be it? This is it! That is it! The Woad advances to the main event. TitleMatchNetwork.com Sabotage Wrestling, we give people opportunities like Delilah Doom, who was on the very first Sabotage Wrestling and has been with us ever since. For anybody who has seen her amazing match with Eli Everfly from our last event, War of the Genders, I have never been so frightened in my life for two people to nearly destroy each other the way they did. And Delilah Doom, my champion, the people's champion here tonight. You see it, even both these girls, you hear the chants, both these girls, each one of them was leading chants for the other one. Again, just a mutual sign of respect, uh, friendship, uh, and, and love for all the positivity that's in this ring right now. We have two of the most positive people in this ring right now, and you can just feel the positivity radiate off of both of them. Uh, Delilah is just the best. Kylie Ray, also a fantastic professional wrestler. Both these girls have a lot to prove tonight, and they're going to do it here as she's on it. We see Delilah in that blue and white, just like she is reflecting of her instructor, Funaki, always wearing that blue and white as well. Yes, if you speak to Delilah Doom, she will always bring up Sho Funaki, her trainer, a WWE superstar, a, a Japanese wrestling superstar, a man who's done it all, and Delilah Doom always showing Funaki the respect he deserves. There's a the bell. We're underway. Of course, the handshake at the very beginning. We know both these women respect the hell out of each other. And now we'll get it underway here because we know both these women wants to come out with a victory. Nice lock up here. No, the ring is... Uh, Kylie showing a little power, but Delilah. You know, nice you're switch. talking about both these women want a victory. Delilah, unfortunately, at War of the Genders, unsuccessful against Eli Everfly. You know she would love nothing more to get back on the winning track. Uh, she's got a tough task ahead of her, though. Kylie Ray is no joke. Trained by Booker T, a girl who has made her rounds throughout the, the Texas area as well as the Midwest, making a name for herself as well. A wrist lock, standing wrist lock here by Delilah Doom, but a reversal by Kylie Ray gives her control of Doom. Down to one knee goes Doom, but quickly back up. Delilah Doom with a counter wow. over row and a take over there. This may be the bar. first time that Kylie is not smiling. Delilah taking her down with that arm bar and now has her uh, arm wrenched by Delilah and now Delilah firmly in control of Kylie Ray. Nice roll through standing switch there by Kylie Ray into a wrist lock once again. Get both these women showing off their talent, trained by two of the best that are out there, Kylie Ray and Booker T. And Delilah Doom with a Funaki. Both these women showing great technical skill in the early showing so far, Jason. 
A nice move there by Lada going in for submission here, but Kylie Kyla, running to the ropes. Very smart move there by Ray to reach out with those long legs, grab the rope, and force the ref to break the hold. But a show of respect here by both competitors and the crowd as well. You know, Delilah does have to be careful. She can, I mean, I know she has a ton of respect for Kylie Ray, but she cannot take her lightly. Kylie Ray can hit her with a super kick out of nowhere, and that could be it. So Delilah has to be on her toes in this matchup tonight. Again, main event of the evening, Delilah Doom versus Kylie Ray. And what more could you ask for after a night of wrestling? But these two women on your screen, right in front of you. Headlock here by Kylie Ray. Take over now as Doom winds up on her back. Great camera shot by our camera people. To making sure they get every angle of this match. We got to give it up for the boys at Heel Face Wrestling. Shout They've been out. doing a great job so far. Shout tonight. out to Heel Face Wrestling, Rudy Hernandez, Joseph Montaña. I'm sure Jeff Sert is around here doing something as well. Again, we appreciate all the work Heel Face Wrestling does in putting on this show. As uh, Kylie, though, with a slippery move of her own to snake out of a headlock there by Delilah Doom. Delilah into a trying to go for submission here, trying to go for a crossway. She's got it locked in, but Delilah Doom able to scamper out and slide into the ropes. So a lot of the doom was trying to be a little cute with those push-ups. That was not a good idea. Uh, Kylie Ray, <laughs> thumbs up by Kylie Ray and a smile. I, I can't help but like Kylie Ray. She's just so fantastic, so positive. Like I said, her positivity radiates off her. I can feel the warmth of her positivity at this table right now, Jason. As both these competitors start dancing again, getting the crowd back into it. Lock up here in the middle is... Ray winds out on top. I'm sure I've had a lot of dancing here tonight. It's Austin, Texas. A lot of live capital music of the world. A lot of music going on. A lot of dancing going on. We should go out dancing after the show. Johnny, okay. you want to go out dancing with I us I would later? love to dance. I think I could show you guys a thing. You probably she, could. She's probably better than both of us combined. She In would, heels. She would outshine both of us easily. Up top over goes Kylie Ray. Doom going to go to that top row. Swinging over and nice arm drag take down there by Doom. As both women are going to take a moment to reset here. Here comes Ray charging in over the top. And an oh. arm drag takedown over her own. Some Slides nice. over into a, a pinning predicament here. Not both shoulder down, but Doom going to slide over into one of her own. Some nice lucha there by Kylie Ray, but unfortunately she found herself in a crucifix pin. Nearly got pinned, but able to escape out of it. Oh. Great technical skill being showed by both women here tonight. Back up and a double oh. drop kick there is... Both these women showing her skills on, and Delilah do. Oh, no. Two, we're going four. Three. Keep going, kid. Keep going. You can do it. She needs us to cheer her Carl's on. Carl's getting her fired up. Uh, that's okay. There it she's is. Up, she's she's up. That's okay. up and again. Crowd letting her have it. Yeah. I mean, how can you not like Delilah Doom? I mean, unless you're Donovan Troy. True. How can you not like Delilah Doom? She's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, taking a moment a to moment. teach Delilah how to jump up off of the mat. Are they having an argument over who's the better trainer? I believe um, Kylie Ray was offering a little pointers from Booker T to Delilah Boone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Could we possibly see it? Five time. Five time. Five time. Could we possibly time. see it? Five time. Five. Uh oh. <laughs> Kylie Ray setting everybody up. Can't do a spinner Rooney, apparently. 2001 me just emerged waiting for that spinner Rooney. I'm very disappointed, but hey, that's okay. All right. Kip up lessons now by Kylie Ray. Let's take a knee. That was, oh. that was kind of a spinner, Rudy. Kind of. A little bit. A little bit. That counts. Gianna, do you know how to do a spinner, Rooney? I would say no, but I'm sure they might try to show me. And a nice kip up there by Kylie Ray. Now challenging the line. What a oh! shot to the face by Doom. I guess you Doom. would. Uh, Coming back after all that smack talk. Kick looks, out. Like, looks like fun and games are over. Delilah Doom possibly getting a little frustrated with Kylie Ray's oh. antics and a shot across the chest now. Again, as the great Jim Ow. Ross said, business just picked up. That hurt me, and I'm 
behind this table. She may be a delight, but she's ready to bring in the doom when she has to. Well, doom going for a chop, but Kylie Ray able to roll out and have a shot of her own across the bow of Delilah Doom. Doom now thrown into the corner here, and Kylie Ray going to give her another shot. So are they going from teaching each other to kip up to how to chop really hard? I think, going I think it's a battle of the trainers now. Who, who had the yeah. better trainer? Oh. Both of which had storied careers. Oh, absolutely. WWE. Shots to the cross, the jaw of Kylie Ray as Doom goes in for the charge, flying in with a big elbow shot there as well. And Ray is reeling oh Bulldog out of the corner. And Doom will go in for a pin here, one and two, and a kick out by Ray. Last time we saw Delilah Doom here in Austin, Texas, she defended the Sabotage World Championship against Erica Torres, a match we talked about earlier. Absolutely insane contest. Suplex there by Doom. Puts Ray as she goes into a work, gonna lay her back down, going for a pin here, one and two, and a kick out. Wrestling a much nicer person, a bit just as tough, Kylie Ray. But Doom's taken to her so far, I gotta admit. Doom showing absolutely no mercy on Kylie Ray. No, yeah, no mercy. Like the game, no mercy. That was an awesome game back in the day, but I love that game. Funaki was in that game. Kylie Ray thrown into the corner, but gets out of the way of a charging Doom. Because now both these women showing a little bit of fatigue here, been going at it. Tooth and nail and elbow and kip up, if you will. And spinner rooney. And spinner rooney. Indeed. Doom across the way now as Kylie Ray comes charging in. Up over the top she goes, but lands on her feet, blocks a punch by Doom there. Kylie Ray ascending to the top rope. Up the top and a big arm oh. take down there by Ray off the top. Ducks Doom rolls her up in a small package here too and a kick out by Ray. Oh. Nice drop down, drop toe hold there by Doom. Oh, and what time she is, is setting up, you know what time it is if you're a Doomie? Time for everybody to exercise. It's, it's aerobic the, time, baby. Do with a nice oh. sim time there on Ray into a pin here. One, two, and a kick oh, out. Oh, so close. Two. They are equally matching enthusiasm. And skill. Again, final match of the evening here at Sabotage. She's on it in Austin, Texas. Doom oh. cues her up, but Ray able to dodge the first one. Can't get away from the second one, though. And Doom. Showing a little attitude here now. I have to admit something, Jason. I remember Delilah Doom from the... What a shot to the head of Ray Ouch. into a pin, two, and a kick out. I remember Delilah Doom meeting her at the very first Sabotage event in October of last year in L.A. Absolutely radiant positivity coming from her, but also showing her toughness. And every Sabotage event, she has evolved. She just gets tougher. She works harder. That's why I call her the people's champion of sabotage wrestling. Again, the niceties have worn off in this match as it goes on. Now, both women, again, still respecting each other, still understanding where both these women come from. But both these women are looking for a win now. Delilah Doom, Kylie Ray, your main event here at Sabotage Wrestling. Kylie Ray trying to fight up to her feet, but Delilah Doom not letting it happen. Showing off those. Oh, no. Nope. Kylie Ray with the reversal. Ray with a big. Double axe handle there, and again, another axe handle there by Ray, finally picking up Doom, oh. slamming her down hard. That looks painful. That was a very hard slam by Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray could be looking for the win here, and again, another takedown into uh, Kip up there by Nana. a double drop kick right to the face of Doom into a pin, but a kick out by Doom, and a forceful kick out at that. Kylie Ray with that double drop kick to the face, that, that stunned Doom. She is out in the apron right now. That's probably not where she wants to be. Here we go. Oh! Kicks all Delilah Doom off the apron into some fans. Very, very reminiscent of the night Delilah Doom won the Sabotage Championship please, when please. she was booted Hold into up. the crowd. Kylie Ray going now now to the outside. Going to grab Doom and bring her back into the ring. Doom's like. still fighting back, though. She took a shot at Kylie as she was coming off the apron. It wasn't much, but Doom still with the heart to fight back. Doom with some fighting back now. Sent Ray's face into that wood beam. And again, that's solid wood, not fake wood, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Doom. Delilah remembers that wood. She remembers from the last 
uh, event here in Austin, Texas. She is crafty when Erica Torres gave her a personal tour of the wooden pillars at Come and Take It Live. Doom and Ray now battling on the outside of the ring. Ray going to slide in and break the count here. Karina Kyle trying to get control of this matchup. So far doing a good job. I mean, these women have kept it professional. Uh, no eye gouging, no pulling of the hair, just straight wrestling. I'm really enjoying this main event, Jason. Kyler way into the pin now, one, uh, two, and a kick out by Doom. That, I think that might be the first time I've seen Kylie Ray look not, not too smiling. happy. Yeah, not smiling. That was the opposite of a smile, if you will. Maybe a little bit of frustration building up in Kylie Ray. Delilah is trying to fight back. Shot to the face now of Delilah Doom as she struggles to get back to her feet here. And uh, Ray with a little bit of a swagger here now. Oh, she's feeling it. She's in the groove now. They've been going at it for a few minutes now. Kylie Ray probably warming up, trying to feel herself, trying to set Delilah up for a super kick and just end this match as soon as she can so she Looking can go home with the winner's here. purse. Yeah, I've never seen a hair flip Doom gonna fly before. across the ring. Uh, gets out of the way, though. Doom goes into the post. A roll-up here by Delilah Doom, too. Oh. And it's a last-second kick out by oh. Kylie Ray, but answers back with a lariat of her own. Oh, she's Taking fired Doom up. down. Kylie Ray is fired up, and she, the niceties are over, as you said before, Jason. This, this is going to break down real quick. Into a pin here now, a two-count before a kick out by Doom whatsoever again. Both these women looking for a little momentum here. Kylie Ray in control of the match and Doom with just a little kick to get up and right back at her goes Ray. Delilah Doom will fight to the very end. Even if she's taking a beating, she will still throw punches and kicks. She's not going to give up that easily. Well, you know, Doomies never say die, and she is not prepared to do any such thing. And that's why she's the people's champion. Kylie Ray oh. up and down with the loom, Doom and a sidewalk slam into a pin. One, two. Ray asking for a quicker count there now, but Doom able to kick out. You can see she's feeling the pain in her back. Her spine must be wrenched. All of the drops that she's been experiencing this evening. I don't know. Split? I, crowd split crowd right now, Jason. You just hit it right on the head, man. This crowd, uh, they either love Doom. Some of them love Doom. Some of them love Kylie Ray. This is going to get wild. Kylie Ray now be looking for the kill shot here as she puts Doom up on the top rope. Going to go up to meet her and Doom. Going to brush her off with a little shot to the head. Ray, though, not going to take it. Doom able to fight her off a little bit more. And Doom setting it up now with that. Twist the world DDT as Ray lands in the middle of the ring, but Doom might have hurt herself on that one as well. You know the intensity is rising when both of their hair is down at this point. This crowd trying to get both these women back into it as Karina Kyle starts the count. The crowd both is trying to energize them. Both women down and out. That that DDT may have taken Kylie Ray, but it took a lot out of Delilah too. Doom trying to get back up using the ropes to. Pull herself back up and sling blade there by Delilah Doom. Pop her with another one as Ray comes off. Both these women getting fired up. Doom fires across. Big shoulder shot in the corner there by Doom. And now working it out a little bit with the knees. Delilah serious. She took off her suspender straps. Oh, she's going for it. She's going for it. Doom knee. Oh. Doom knee in the corner, rub it in a little bit. Now all she has to do now is drag her out to the middle of the ring and get the pin. One, two, and a kick out there. That was a hard knee to the head of Kylie Ray, but not enough to take her out. Kylie Ray able to kick out at two. Again, both these women just leaving it all in the ring here. It's your main event for Sabotage. She's on it right here in Austin, Texas. Delilah Doom is always going to leave it in the ring, Jason. She she doesn't know any other way to wrestle. She will leave everything in the ring. Oh. Kylie Ray with just shot after shot to Doom, but Doom taking it right back, answering on her own. Mule kick there to the gut of Kylie Ray is Doom going to fire it up with a couple of elbows and a headbutt by Doom. Both women meeting in the ring, spinning elbows What do you there. do when you keep mirroring the moves of your opponent? Shoulder kick there by Doom. 
Oh. Throwing her right out of the ring. That poor front That's row. Crazy. You're getting That's a lot of action front row. If you're not moving already, you should be. Because it looks like Doom is about to fly. And there she goes. Oh, oh my God. God. Flying through the air to Lila Doom. Flying off the screen. I can't see. I want to see. Willing to do anything and everything she can. Both landed in uh, the chairs, if you will. They're well. both taking over the front row. The show roll Kylie Ray back into the ring. Uh, for one more shot at it here. Back and forth they go again. Hard to tell who's in control in of this matches. They keep meeting each other in the face with elbows. Something's got to give here, Jason. One of these guys. Oh, here we go. What's the line going for? Going for uh, interesting rolls over into a, oh. almost a version of the bank statement. It looks like is now Doom going to lock in a. This could That's be old, it. a camel clutch. clutch. That's an old school camel clutch. She's gonna break her back and make Look Kylie Ray Look at her wrench back on Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray's in trouble, Jason. Kylie Ray trying to. Oh, oh Kylie God. Ray showing Whoa. off a little power of her own. Oh Picks goodness. up Delilah Doom and sends her back into the ropes, breaking it off just a little bit. I, I take back what I just said. Possibly lift her up when her back is feeling so much strain. Kylie Ray using every ounce of energy she has left to break out of that camel clutch. Not only break out, but lift her. Kick to the gut now by Ray. And Ray with a word or two for the referee. But again, both these women are just giving it anything they've got. What? How much gas in the tank could each one of these women have? And uh, Doom going for a monkey flip, it looked like. But Ray caught her. Now setting her up top on the ropes. Kicks the knee right out from Doom and on the chest, sending her over. Delilah's got to be disoriented at this point. There is no way she can take it. Doom into the pin now. One, two, and a kick out. Uh, I'm absolutely amazed that Delilah Doom was able to kick out of that. Had to be pure instinct, muscle memory, whatever you want to call it. But Doom heard two and kicked out before the three hits. Look at the look in Delilah Doom's eyes. She is on Dream Street. She has no idea where she is. Trying to slowly is trying to struggle to get back to her feet, but she just can't do it, Jason. And the frustration now setting in for Kylie Ray again. Not a smile. That's a frown. That's a frown. That's a frown. No, we say. If, if she's great when she smiles, what does she like when she frowns? This crowd though getting behind Doom is Ray imploring them not to chant Doom's name is uh there's a code breaker there by Doom. Can she get over for the pin? One, two, and a kick out oh. by Ray. Unbelievable that Kylie Ray was able to break out of that code breaker. I thought that was it. But Kylie Ray able to kick out, still in it. Not smiling anymore, but still in it. Neither one of these women smiling. Neither one of these women probably still friends. Uh, I'm sure they'll they'll make up afterwards. But right now, in this moment, both these women want to get a win and get out of here with the victory. Doom gonna pick her, pick Kylie Ray up to her feet, setting her up for uh, some sort of possible suplex here. Is no taking her over to the corner ropes. But Delilah was barely able to get her up. That shows you how worn out she is. This has been a tough challenge for Delilah Doom, but. Uh, Delilah Doom, nothing less of giving her all to get a victory, and that's what she's doing right here against a tough opponent in Kylie Ray. Oh. Shot to the back there by Doom, just trying to keep herself in it here. Is uh, now Doom showing a little uh, animosity, if you will. Oh. Oh, this is really broken down, Jason. The niceties are officially over. Kylie Ray into a bridge with a pin here. Delilah Doom gonna lift it all the way up into a bridge. She certainly knows Swinging how to get off the around. mat now. Doom picking her up almost into a... That a Widow's oh! rocks her down. A lot of the Doom showing off her power. She lifts the road. Still a lot. got a little power in that body. A show roll over Ray for the pin here. One, two, and a oh! kick out by Ray. Crowd is loving the suspension. Man, Delilah Doom, you can see a bit of frustration in her eyes. And she right, thought that was it. Lock here, trying to get a hold of that one back. This is how she won the Sabotage Championship with this exact move, trying this arm bar. Arm bar, but Kylie Ray fighting out of it, trying to keep that elbow bent just a little bit. 
Ray, though, getting back to her feet here, rolls through. Almost had Doom for a pin there. Russian leg oh. sweep sends Doom back down, and now she'll lock in a cross face of her own. That was a beautiful Russian leg sweep. Wait, what was that? What, what was that? Doom's tapping. Uh, Wait, what's going on? We heard a, uh, a bell. Is that it? Did, is, is the match over? I heard the bell before she tapped. I mean, though. I saw Delilah tap. Is Kylie Ray the winner? Here comes Kylie uh, Ray had to have won this match. Delilah tap. I heard a bell, but I also saw Delilah tapping out. Kylie Ray has to be the winner of this match. Let's go down to Lucian Light, though, for some clarification. From the best looking general manager in sabotage history, the voice out of Detroit, and this 20 minute time limit draw that just happened, according to him, is unacceptable. So therefore, restart this match because there must be a winner. So the 20 minute time limit has expired here for this match, but uh, the aforementioned Donovan Troy has apparently texted in and said, hey, keep this match going. Just for once in my life, I'd like to get away from Donovan Troy, but he just keeps throwing his weight around even thousands of miles away. Stunner by Delilah Doom, stunner by Delilah Doom, goes over for the pin, two, and a wow. kick out by Ray. I mean, I know that Donovan Troy hates Delilah Doom with a passion, an absolute passion, but like, I, does he want to see her get punished more by restarting this match? What exactly is what is the plan here? Doom getting fired up now, though, as Ray's still stunned from the stunner. Doom's going to pick her up, throw her back into those ropes one more time. Doom and Ray oh! Oh! shot across the bow. Kylie is Love just... Kylie's unconscious. Kylie is knocked out. Doom is going up top to meet her now. What could she possibly be planning as Gray still tries to fight out? <laughs> Trying to set up for that suplex from the top rope, but Kylie Ray able to block it so far, has the leg hooked underneath. Can Doom get out of it though? No, here comes Ray. Oh. Oh, shots back, kicks oh, her off. That was nasty. Oh. Missile dropkick catches Doom in the face. I think I just saw a tooth fly. And Delilah both went oh, down man. once again. I thought Delilah was unconscious, but she's stirring. She's still alive. And now, listen to the crowd, Jason. Both these girls, for sure. I swear, she was trying. Kylie was trying to knock a smile off of. Delilah Doom in that last drop kick to the face. That was a straight drop kick to the face. Nothing fancy about it. Fans getting their money's worth here at Sabotage. Again, the main event, Delilah Doom taking on Kylie Ray. These two women have battled tooth, nail, smile, frown, and all. And now they battled to a 20-minute draw, but clearly that wasn't enough. So now uh, would you call this sudden death overtime? Must be. Both women now back to their feet, starting to battle it out here. She smacked a spit right out of her. I don't know if you saw that. Doom and Ray just firing back with shot after shot after shot. Up goes Doom. Oh! Down goes Doom with a go to sleep. That's it, Jason. That Ray is in for it. the pin, two and oh. three. No, no, just only two. two. Only just two. two. Only two. They said she kicked out. This crowd disagrees, but Karina Kyle, she's the senior official of Sabotage Wrestling, and that was two. So this match continues now as, again, Doom able just to get that shoulder up just enough. Just barely. Kylie Ray cannot be happy with that, and, and got to think she'll be going for the victory here very quickly now she is measuring delilah demanding that delilah get to her feet and what does she have planned here jason up top now goes ray oh. rko out of nowhere as doom catches her off the rope doom now trying to go in set up for that submission doom with a shot backbreaker there saido suplex as doom into the pin one two Three, That's it. and that does it. Delilah Doom gets the victory. Delilah Doom, ladies and gentlemen. Delilah
And then a great show of respect here by both women giving each other a nice warm hug on the mat. The line of doom gets the doom. TitleMatchNetwork.com
she have there? What is she? No, that's not Thumbtack. Oh no, Jesse K needs to get out of there and fast. Oh my gosh. Somebody get Jesse K out of there. Butcher, I don't even know what to say about this right now. Firmly behind Jenna Lynn, Joe Alonzo. Again, like I said earlier, I'm not I'm I'm a very unbiased person. I'm, but I hope Jenna. When it comes to this one, I am not unbiased. I am team Jenna all the way. Yes, for real. I have watched sure. Jenna grow and evolve as a wrestler over the last two years. She is something else entirely. Those, those vicious strikes that she can throw. I hope Joe Alonzo is ready for what is coming her way. Her way. His way. Let's go, Jenna! The disrespect. Disrespect from Joe Alonzo. And Joe, and Joe is walking away. Joe, is he really? Joe walking away from this matchup, a matchup that he claimed that he wanted to prove something. She thought she was. She thought she was here to fight a man, not a bitch. And now Joe Alonzo making his way back to the ring. One way or the other, we're going to see this match continue. Come on, Joe. Show us what you're made of. And Jenna with the swift kicks. Let's go, Jenna. Takes him down. Joe's going to eat these words tonight. Ferocious kick him kicks. Again, Jenna. Kick him again, Jenna. Jenna hitting harder than I've ever seen her hit in a match my entire life. That's right, Jenna. Jenna unloading. After weeks and weeks of goading, oh. Jenna taking the fight to Joe Alonzo here tonight, not letting up. She's going to drive those feet right through his ribcage Those here. educated feet. Yeah. Goes for the cover. One. Not enough to keep him down. Joe scurrying to get Stay away from Jenna Lynn. Lynn. Oh. A slap 
to the face. Wow. And he sends Jenna outside. It doesn't seem like he wants any part of Jenna Lynn here tonight. Joe maybe got in over his head here. I think that he took Jenna Lynn for granted. We've seen Jenna train. We've seen what she can do with that martial arts background. Joe maybe didn't take that seriously enough. And he's going to pay the price for it as Jenna on the outside starts laying in with some clubbing strikes. Joe just trying to stay on his feet at this point. Come on, Jenna. Remember all the weeks. Yes! Jenna with that drop kick, sending Joe Alonzo flying the, the crowd drop up. And she is feeling it here tonight, as is this capacity on, crowd here at Houston Premier Arena. Oh, Tope oh, Suicida, no. but Joe has caught her. Belly to belly suplex on the outside. Oh my God, I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Come on, Jenna, you gotta remember all the tormented. Jenna Lynn fighting not just for herself, but for the honor of women's wrestling. Joe Alonzo fighting, as always, for himself, for his ego, for his pride. Will his ego allow him to taste defeat tonight? I do not know. Jenna, but for the first time, we are seeing him go on the attack against Jenna Lynn here tonight. One, two with the cover. Not enough to put Jenna Lynn away. Jenna has to understand she's representing so much on the plate right here. And Joe Alonzo taking the headband, a sign of utter disrespect. Just mocking Jenna Lynn. Come on, Jenna, you have to remember who you're fighting for and what you're fighting for. There you go, Jenna. Oh, snap mare. And oh! Vicious kick in the back. Joe Alonzo pressing his attack, looking a little bit ridiculous oh, while doing it. Vicious kick. Come on, Jenna. Kick out, Jenna. Jenna able to kick out at two. Joe receiving insults from the crowd that he very much deserves as he goes on the offensive against Jenna Lynn. Oh no. Oh! What? There Sunset we go. flip, one, two. Almost had the pin there. Then Jenna Lynn. Oh no, Jenna. Into the turnbuckle. That top turnbuckle, like a javelin. Joe Alonzo goes for the cover. One, two. Still can't put her away here tonight. Jenna, there's so much on the plate here. You gotta win it for women's wrestling, intergender wrestling here. Hard hitting matchup here. Joe is not pulling any punches. He is not holding back. And Jenna would not have it any other way. She wants to prove herself here. She will take every beating that she needs to to show that the fighting spirit in her is not going to die. Two. Kicks out at two again. Does Jenna Lynn, after those strong whips into the corner, you got to know she's feeling the impact from those. She's probably a little dizzy. She might have busted her face on not, that turnbuckle. She may not know where she is right now. Joe going up top. I don't know what he's gonna try for here, but whatever it was, Jenna, able to counter, hops up. has put Joe off of his game Come plan on, here. Don't Another up, strong Jenna. strike. Jenna going up. Slap his ass. Laying into Joe Alonzo. And she is on, perched on that top rope. What are we gonna see here? Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 Joe. no, 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 no. Yes. Jenna yes. reverses a powerbomb yes. attempt by Joe Alonso into a Hurricane Rana. Both on, competitors Jenna. are down. Who will be the first to get to their feet? Come on, Jenna. 
Jenna Lynn, one of the most resilient performers I have ever known. Joe Alonzo, one of the most egotistical performers I have ever met. Both thanks. None of them are willing to give an inch in this contest here tonight. Irish whip, no reversal. Up and over goes Jenna Lynn. And she's gonna lay in those chops. Gonna make Joe Alonzo feel it in the morning. Make him eat his words, baby. Let's go, Jenna. Come Jenna on, Jenna. Jenna gearing up here. Yes. Kick into the yes. corner. Oh, missed the bulldog. Joe trying to find some way back into this contest. I don't know. Series of reversals here. Jenna off the ropes. Goes up. Alley oop. And, there it is. and a bulldog face buster drink. Come on, Jenna. Brings it down. One, one two, two, and a Damn kick it. out. Jenna Lynn very nearly had this thing won. She planted him. You got to keep one. fighting, Jenna. Keep fighting. Jen does not stop fighting. Let's go, Jen. Chance here. And Joe, the Houston with another Arena. sign of disrespect. Oh, now he wants to apologize. You better hit him or kick him. Joe, you better kick you're him. You're not gonna weasel your way out of this one. Jenna Lynn knows better. Jenna, come on. You know better than this, Jenna. Yes! Get him, Jenna! Jenna Lynn back on her feet. Jenna. We're gonna see here. Joe. Oh no! Joe, you coward! You absolute coward! He's gonna rake the eyes now? I thought you were better than this, Joe. I thought you were here to prove something. What does this prove? It proves nothing. It proves that you it proves that your ego can't be backed up by your actions. I'm absolutely disgusted by Joe Alonzo and his actions here tonight. And now he's gonna go for a chair? I thought he I thought he could beat poor little Jenna Lynn. I thought that he was gonna win this thing on his own merits. I thought he was here to prove something. This he proves can't nothing. Beat Jenna. That's why he did what he did. He can't beat Jenna. He's a slimy little grease ball. And he, he has proven nothing to me tonight other than the fact that his ego is propped up by nothing but air. Yes, sir. Oh. No. Oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Jenna. Going for a buckle Jenna. bomb. He's got that chair in position. Jenna. Yes. yes! Jenna with the counter sends Joe yes, Alonzo's Jenna. big dumb head crashing into that chair in the corner, Jenna. and Jenna is fired Jenna, up. Everyone here. Strike first and show no mercy. Tap. Make him tap, Lay Jenna. it in, Jenna. Make Lay it tap. in. Make him tap, Jenna. She is going to make him tap here tonight. Joe yes. is tapping, oh, but Isaac is still tapping. out. The referee is still out. Joe tapping like Isaac. mad. Isaac. Isaac, get up. Come on, Isaac. Jenna was going to win it for everyone here. Come on, Isaac, wake up. Jenna trying desperately to wake Isaac while Joe Alonzo is Jenna. back on his feet. And oh my God, no. He's got her up. Jenna counters. Up again. Oh. And a just tosses her through the air. And a standing sidekick that. Not like this. Please, not like this. Got her double underhook. What's he pulling here? Double underhook. Powerbomb. Damn near breaking Jenna Lynn in half. Joe Alonso. And he's going. What is this? And now assaulting what is the wrong referee. With I don't have the time to explain what is wrong with Joe Alonzo. And he's got a steel chair, and he is here with deadly intent. Yes! Thank you! But he better look behind him. 
because he's got a big problem. Oh. And Super Oprah coming to what an unconventional this? rescue. Yes. Jenna Lynn, yes. spinning heel kick. Let's go, Jenna. Takes him down, goes to the cover. One, two, three. And Jenna Lynn has won it. Jenna Lynn. TitleMatchNetwork.com Oh jeez, but wasting no time is Lady Frost. This, I mean, certainly the stakes are high. It's the Battle of the Throne tournament. And as I was saying before, Rosaria Elsa made the announcements here to kick things off in this matchup. Heather Reckless talked about how the eight-year-old her could only dream of being someone of the, the ilk of Lady Frost, but she was out to prove that dreams can come true, looking quick to dispose of Frost. Yeah, Lady Frost did not afford her much time to warm up, so I suppose this is where that moniker of being cold-hearted comes in. Certainly the gymnast assassin, and geez, might have clipped the camera operator on the way down. Heather Reckless spills out onto the cold floor. Pitches are straight to the ground. Heather Reckless, we know, can uh, definitely get a little bit extreme at times. Certainly no no, no fear from Heather Reckless, as the name would imply. You shared the ring with Heather. I mean, what can you say, Kaya, about the, the, the resilience, the heart of Heather Reckless? It is very, very hard to contend with. Like, and, and again, just speaking to how agile she is in the ring, like, you gotta catch her first, if you can even be effective, right? Like, that's a task in its own right. And it could be the reason why Lady Frost tried Big to... Smell and drop. Yeah, lay her out quickly from the get-go. Overconfident cover by Lady Frost and Heather wriggles just right out. Just disrespect, like, not even giving her the, the glory of having a legitimate cover. Yes. Just stepping right on her chest and throwing her so hard into that buckle. Just trying to rearrange her face. And you see the, uh, the extension from Lady Frost, who's very pleased with her work. You talk about disrespect. This is the woman who online mocked Heather Reckless, who bared her soul, talking about how much this match meant to her. She called Reckless basically childish, childish, and said that she was Huge heads of a takedown. Heather is a momentum going here. All right. Yeah, Heather trying corner. to pick up some steam. Trips her. I tell you, man, she's the master of fighting from underneath. Huge face wash. Take that. Now, dragging her away from the ropes, looking to cover, but not quite far enough. Lady Frost able to uh, break that pin. Let's see if she can stay on top of her. And wrenching at the hair, though. Now, Lady Frost doubles over Heather Reckless. I suppose when you're cold hearted, no tactics is off limits. Very true. And, and the thing that's so jarring is that. Yeah, Frost is so talented, she doesn't need to take a shortcut like this. Look at that quick cover. It almost, about feels, like it's done out of, it almost feels like it's done out of spite. She's trying to prove a point. What point is there to prove? This is a world travel competitor who has been and competed everywhere that there is to go. And it, look at that, just choking Heather Reckless on that bottom rope. Bringing her back to her feet. And, oh, opens fire with an open palm strike. I don't think Frost is uh, finished with her handiwork. Well, quickly turns around Heather oh, Reckless now. Huge strikes of her own, just dishing it right back. Reckless goes. Said for heart. Certainly set up and over that top rope and now. Climbing up to that top turnbuckle, Heather Reckless, cartwheel off the top rope, but oh! It's hung up on the, on the, in the face there. Looked like she pulled the rope right into her face. Certainly did, trying to jostle Heather Reckless off of that top rope. And now sinking the proverbial claws in is Lady Frost. When you're deprived of oxygen like that, it's hard to think, it's hard to plan, it's hard to anticipate, it's harder to come back. It's a great strategy. Yeah, everything is tougher when you can't get a full breath of air, but Heather Reck is managing to make it work, getting some shots to the midsection before being dumped right back down to the canvas. Look how patronizing Lady Frost is. Just literally and figuratively looking down on her opponent in this first round match. But don't look down for long, Lady Frost. 
Yeah, confidence is certainly key, but overconfidence can leave you open and vulnerable. As we're seeing right now, Heather firing back with some huge right hands straight to the jaw. Oh, but tripped up. Face full of mat for Heather Reckless. Lee Snap Frost. dig deep. Snap. Gosh, to be that close to hear the antagonizing words from Lady Frost, but Heather Reckless seeking to prove herself not only to the fans here, but to herself to prove that dreams can come true. But Lady Frost trying to shatter all those dreams of Heather Reckless. She's taking it to her right now. She's beating her tit for tat as they wrestle across the ring. Huge back elbow. Oops, sort day. out. This combo is like, I talked about the innovative offense, right? Like, oh, but it could be lights out. out. Oh. Come on, Heather. Lady Frost and Heather Reckless. The damage has been done. Both laid out in the center of the ring. And of course, Kaya, as you know, we think about it, whoever can get to a vertical base is going to have the advantage over their opponent. But gosh, they have just absorbed a lot of damage so far. Sometimes you got to replenish that energy, right? So I think it'll be key to keep feed off of the fans because they want these ladies back on their feet. They know the battle's not over. Certainly not. We've got to crown a winner here. Oh, the forearm shot. Almost these side swipes from Heather Reckless, but now springing back to her feet. Full head of steam for Reckless. She's feeling it. You can see that fire. But now, fire. Can it melt the ice cold heart of Lady Frost? Ooh, driving the knee. Wiped out Lady Frost. The hook of the leg. It's not enough, though. Lady Frost trying to take home some souvenirs of Heather Reckless. And, and Reckless, though, needs to refocus herself. Keep the channel on that fire. Perhaps thaw out the ice cream. She's going to the top row. Tripped up. And that has been the time. Jeez. So you stay on top of your opponent, you know? Like, you don't want to create too much space. You have to take that opening, especially a savage, cold-hearted killer. Oh, look at this now. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no! Do not count Heather Reckless out. She is still in this first round matchup. The Battle of the Throne rages on. The stakes are high. Oh, God, that could what be a it. Kick. There was a lot. Clean off. Yeah, there was a lot of force behind that. Now bounding through murder gymnastics. Textbook. Could be, be a snowball, perhaps? Big cover. No! Not enough to keep her down. You can see the frustration starting to build on her face here. This is the first time that I think that the visage of overconfidence and just complete antagonizing has left the face of, of Lady Frost. Heather Reckless fighting for that eight-year-old girl to prove that dreams can come true. And now, can she do it? Can she capitalize? Can she make it? That top turnbuckle. Lady, Lady Frost, Frost back to her feet. Cross body! Nails the up. leg! No, no! Lady oh. Frost! Lady it's Frost! She is still fighting. Trying to put the kibosh on the hopes of Heather Reckless here in the Battle of the Throne and now repositioning. Climbing back up. Springs off. Oh, but oh, she misses the moonsault. Moon Oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. Air raid crash. Lady Frost. Could this be it to advance? Oh, no. my gosh. She's still in it. You have How? got to be kidding. After a move like that, that was wild. Such resilience, such fire. Going for it again. And it slips down her back, rolls her up. Get those shoulders down. Could this be it? Heather Reckless has done it. She did it. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com
respected ring announcer is about to take you to that place for your big match introduction. Introduction. Shane Fair, much like the BCW faithful, much like those of us fortunate, is about to call this action fired up and ready. It is Nightmare at the Mecca. It is the measuring stick. Darius Carter defending against Gemma Jules in your main event. Christopher Shady Torres is your official. Title presented before the BCW faithful. Absolutely. I got to tell you, these statuesque Gemma Jewels certainly will not be intimidated by the All Father, which is easily the number one defense attack that Darius Carter swipes out. Intimidation. Easily. Tell the faces she was making during that long introduction. She's not intimidated or phased at any bit. Snuffed. Yeah, getting pie faced here in the early going. Jimmy Jules is known for her submission finisher. Which is? The last time Darius defended the title against a woman known for a submission finisher, he lost. That is true. Marina Shafir was the one who captivated history before ascending to elite status. Let's see what he did there. Go and around. Gemma Jules got to use that large size, that big frame of hers. Oh, got that oh, neck great. wrenched. Yeah, got the cravat cinched in. Transition to the headlock. Great footing there by Darius Carter. Yeah, that's locked in. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's cinched in tight. And this Nightmare Factory standout has got a power out. Blocked. And she does. And notice, oh. she was right there ready for Darius Carter. Did not give as many degrees of separation as the champion would have wished. Not at all. You can, that's what you need to do. You need to stay on top of the chain. You can't give any separation. And again, utilizing that power, utilizing that large size. Running knee to the face. 
The biggest advantage here is that Gemma Jules is one of the larger competitors that Darius Carter's face. Oh, oh. This is a man to take on. This is a man that is taking on Christina Marie, Vicious Vicky, various other female competitors. Usually, they are not towering over the champion. So oh. this is a completely perplexing scenario for the All Father. True. He's, he's used to having the power and advantage. Oh, I'd lock. Wow, look at that parry. Look at that evasive dodge by the All-Father. Jim trying to get out of it here. Trying to break it up. And can she break that lace? She does. does. Hooks that left arm again. Kick to the midsection. Great Ooh. step over. Oh, my. He'll kick to the face. Genius again, utilizing the long limbs. Goes to the cover. Kicks out of two. Two quick covers here by the challenger. Here's Carr trying to compose himself. I guess I wasn't expecting that. And ladies and gentlemen, it is the, the gift that keeps on giving, and I use that term extremely loosely. Joining us here at the broadcast booth, the governor, AJ Penn. Can you put some respect on the name? AJ, your guiding light and mine. The governor of BCW, AJ Penn. A little technical issue here. Uppercut by the champ. Chop by the challenger. Champ posing. Challenger on the outside. All out weights. A hey, full advantage of that count. Now, Mr. Pan, what is the reason for you being here? I mean, it's the main event, so I had to come out and check out what's going on tonight. Darius, and especially after our opening, uh, the state of BCW. The huge role between Gemma Jules and Darius Carter. I don't know much about Gemma, just she being a, a tremendous athlete and coming from the Deep South Territory. However, the last time you were here, you caused an entire ruckus and changed an entire victory scenario. Wait, how did I, how did What are you doing? What are you doing? You inserted yourself in that female contest, you're aware. I did, I, what did I do? I, I, was, I was asking Shady if he was going out to Doc Holliday. No, that's not, that's not what you did. What you is? blatantly cost Gabby Ortiz her match. How, what did I do? Oh. I was talking to Shady if he was coming out for a drink afterwards. The first step is denial and you walked in it, pal. Governor, I apologize for these attacks. Welcome to the show. Thank you, I appreciate it. And you do not need an excuse to be out here. I know I don't, I, I, you know, sabotage my mic. I'm about to go, busy evening tonight. There's so much going on, we have new talent. Thankful. Very happy about the Ladies Night Out chance to be in the fight. And a big shout out to Title Match Select Network for having uh, having that on there. Two great athletes. Hopefully we'll see them back here in BCW. Very impressed with both of them. Uh, I just watched in the back, Christina, Mar Christina Marie and Danny Mo killed it out here, the two queens. Uh, I was out here, hopefully, I don't know how it's gonna be played for you at home, but Jay Boozy and Fasad, you were doing roaming commentary for it. Putty and I were trying to do, in case you, they couldn't hear you, because the people, I don't know, it's just a crazy night. And very, and now Gemma. Jackknife well, pin, over. jackknife pin. It has really been a nightmare at the Mecca for some of the competitors on the BCW roster. Darius Carter was in firm control here, but now throw off his boots a little bit. Go! Oh. Did you see the elevation, the fluidity of that drop kicks execution? See the height? The height? Oof. He almost hit six feet. Now here's something we need to discuss. Uh, I don't know, well, the last time Darius Carter was in here with a, a female individual, was in here with a female individual, uh, it was Marina Shafir. Yeah. And, and, and Marina Shafir, I mean, big difference from Gemma Jules. I mean, the talent, well, you know, she's a straight up MMA fighter, a little smaller in stature, but the heart of a fighter. Well, Gemma Jules is eye to eye with Darius. Yeah, so she's a powerhouse, so. To see how Dar and Darius has gone from so many competitors to Marcus Mathers to Caprice, uh, Caprice Coleman, Maria Shafira now, Gemma Jules, shows the range, and it shows why Darius Carter is in the running, and he should be the independent talent of the year. 
champion dissecting the challenger here, attacking her feet, now her hands, piece by piece. Firm control here. Typical Darius Carter, we're starting to see the systematic breakdown of his opponent, if he can maintain control in this contest. I mean, I, how can he not? I mean, Darius Carter is a, is a cerebral competitor, while Gemma Jules thought the South won the Civil War. I mean, that should just say all he needs to know about. The Nightmare Factory standout certainly has been making waves throughout her impact here this evening. Oh, my God! Still not showing any signs of intimidation. Step up in Seguri for yeah, the connect. But that Seguri is going to create distance for Carter. Carter back in control and focusing on the back of the neck here. You can hear the impact of everything Darius Carter does. Even a simple elbow to the back of the neck. Oh, oh. my God, did you hear Jesus? I don't know if you, you get something like that in the, uh, in the south. Posing, turning his back. I don't know if you can get any of that kind of... Well, Darius Carter is a, a man of his own. I've always said this. He's the litmus test in BCW, if you can hang here. Jenna is hanging. No, no question about that. But you, there's nobody north, south, east, or west like Darius Carter. One of the all-time best. That's why he does what he does. Two-time, two-time champion. Cheyenne, you just ran down his accomplishments. And look, at, look at the relaxation. Oh, my gosh. Jenna coming back now. That moment. Goes for the cover. That moment of calm showcased by Darius Carter allowed a window of calamity for Gemma. Oh, vicious forearm. Knocks the challenger down. Darius posing to the crowd. He's got to keep that challenger on the floor because once she gets back, she establishes that power that he's not used to facing. Like Cheyenne just said, against someone of her size. Shady Torres is asking if she wants to give up. Look at those, look at those wrists. The, fa the fingers laced together, locked in, tight, around the head of the challenger. Power back to her feet. Fights out of it. Oh, this is clothesline knocks the champion down. Right. Now with another one. Ducks a close line from Darius. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the face. Takes out that knee. Oh, beautiful float over DDT. This could be it. We have a new champ. Go to the cover. Two. Three. Oh. Oh. I thought that was it. This is awesome champ coming from the crowd. Yes, it is indeed awesome. Milliseconds away from crowning a new champion here. I think Gemma Jules is finally getting some realization that she could perhaps inch closer to defeating Darius Carter. That's what she needs. She needs to stay on top of him. No, can't let him catch his... There it is. Knee to the face. Oh. Oh, locks it. Trying again. Oh. oh. Back to the choke. That's locked in. She goes down to her knees. This might be over here. The championship lullaby has been applied on the nah, challenger. Down. All the weight. That's locked in. Oh, that's it. Leg wrap. Very smart. Darius Carter decided to body and ground the challenger. Very smart. Jamie, tap out the leg. Locked around the arm. She's getting tapped. Gemma does look like she's trying to fight. I can't see if she has it, if he has it totally locked in, though. Gemma, the long limbs of... Gemma Jules is definitely uh, helping her out in this contest. But again, Perfect we have Darius out. Carter who... Oh, that's it. Wow. I, okay. Oh, she's out. The referee, Shady Torres, has ruled that Gemma Jules can no longer continue. Therefore, your winner and still BCW World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Darius.
TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Look at just the, the way she towers over her. And these women are jaw-jacking already. And a very interesting matchup here because Savannah Evans is used to either having a power-power matchup with somebody or fighting someone that's usually smaller than her and being able to overpower her opponent. But Jordan Blade, with that shoot BJJ martial arts background, can really take the, a Savannah to a ground game where I think Savannah may not, maybe at a, a severe disadvantage, I should say. Yeah, Savannah's normally used to a power game where she can assert herself and dominate. Not gonna happen here against Jordan Blade. It's gonna be interesting as they jockey well, for position here. And gentlemen, we have had one hell of a show. Savannah Evans and Jordan Blade here following up on what's already an incredible women's match earlier tonight. AJ Penn, I know you watched it from the back. Masha Slamovich and Mercedes Martinez. Wow, that was a hard hitting contest. We knew it was gonna be, but it exceeded expectations. Uh, well, I can't, there's not much, I, I was left in awe watching them two beat the hell out of each other. Oh, big splash there by Savannah. There's that power game you were talking about, AJ. That's it, she has to do this. Oh, early, tossing around like a rag doll. Which Halfway you don't see across. happen much, I'm, I'm sorry, you don't see much uh, happen to Jordan Blade. Halfway across the ring, the power of Savannah Evans. And she's feeling herself right now. Nice butterfly suplex. And again, as AJ said, not many people are able to power over Jordan Blade like that. She has a very strong base again from that background in martial arts, in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and all the things that she does. An incredibly strong base. Not many people do this to Jordan Blade. Not at all. And there's some sound strategy. If that if she is using strategy as Jordan Blade, go after the foundation of Savannah Evans, take her legs out from under her to reduce the effectiveness of those power moves. That's a very smart move, and you don't see many people often do it. When you're facing a larger or taller competitor, you need to take out the leg. That's the only way you can chop down a size. Oh, and look at the forearms right to the jaw of Savannah Evans. Jordan Blade not playing around here. You gotta take advantage when you can. While she has her on the mat, stay on her. And that's where that shoot style comes in handy. Jordan Blade trying to establish control here, but Savannah Evans still fighting back strong. Oh, you're not gonna put away Savannah Evans like that. She has a lot of fight left in her. Savannah Evans becoming a staple up here in the Northeast, even though a, from, from the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and now recently on the back dressing roll up. Two count to Jordan Blade. I love you, baby. I love you, boys. I love you, baby. I mean, she's had enough matches here and a lot of great performances to put her as a staple here in the Northeast. Who wouldn't want her on their roster? Jordan going to work now, trying to keep her down. You know, we want to we really give a big shout out to Mesa Media. Please follow them on all social media platforms. Another one of our sponsors here tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, I say this a lot, but I really, really mean it. This show would not be possible without the support of our fans, of our sponsors, of everyone that makes this show really go. We want to thank Mesa Media and all of our sponsors, Henny Wrestling, Heel Pops and Chair Shots, The Dirty Heels, The Pretty Heels, The Jamba Tears Podcast, Your Sports Show, The g Up Gentleman over there in the back cooking up some burgers and mozzarella sticks. I need to get some of those burgers and mozzarella sticks. And AJ, sticks. I saw you looking over at the table of one of our newest sponsors, ERJ Yourself, back there with the great enamel pins and stickers. Yeah, I, I need to ha talk to him. He needs to make some guiding light pins. And we are really thankful for every single one of our sponsors. We could not do it without you. Thank you so very much for believing in We Are Wrestling and the vision we are trying to bring to life. Now, question. And it's matches like this that really encapsulate that vision. Now, you mentioned Henny Wrestling. Why is there not Hennessy on the table? Is that the same? It has nothing to do with actual Hennessy. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But thank you, Henny Wrestling. But I was hoping there'd be a bottles. Sample. Yeah, so we could promote. Uh, all right, maybe next time. And as you were saying, AJ Penn, 
Jordan Blade trying to take down the base, trying to take down the legs of Savannah Evan and keep her grounded. And that's not something Savannah's used to. She's not used to be, being grounded and having to fight from the bottom up. No, yeah, look at us right now. No matter Jordan Blade's stature, I mean, she's going face to face and toe to toe with Savannah Evans. And Savannah Evans firing away. Cut off by Jordan Blade. Looks like she went for a chop and Savannah Evans just ducked and it got the top of her head. Savannah coming back with one of her own. Three massive chops back to back to back across the chest of Jordan Blade. Got it. Oh, beautiful Northern Lights with a bridge. Only a two. And you know what happened? Savannah set up for that Northern Lights, and Jordan tried to close her on her way out of it, and it actually helped Savannah since she did even more. And a roll up. Oh. Oh, wow. Jordan Blades got Savannah Evans trapped. This is what it is. The submission sniper. She can get a submission out of anything. And this is what we were talking about. Savannah Evans is not used to being grounded like this, but this is where Jordan Blade feels most confident. Yeah, now Savannah was going for uh, an O'Connor, it looked like, or, a, yeah. And Jordan Blade snatched a submission right out of it. I don't think Savannah was uh, expecting that. Not at all. I think there's a lot out of uh, Jordan Blade that Savannah Evans was not expecting here tonight, or maybe not ready for again. Jordan bringing a whole new, uh, a whole new dynamic to the match. Well, Savannah yeah. Evans, nice DDT spiked her right on the top of her head. Both women are down. You know, there's nothing like a good quality spike DDT. People just don't do it right anymore. Nope. It's a rarity that you see a DDT anymore. It takes so much out of a competitor to put them down. That was close. You know, I was talking about uh, Savannah Evans' rise, especially in, in prominence here in the Northeast, and now with Impact Wrestling alongside Tasha Steele. But Jordan Blake's no slouch herself. Jordan Blake oh! currently the heart of GSW champion took that title off of Russian Dynamite Master Slamovich and also the Pro Wrestling Magic Women's Champion as well. Jordan Blade really oh. building a name for herself and one half of an incredible tag team as a king of district. Did you see that? I missed it. Savannah a Evans. Full Nelson Slam. Powerful Full Nelson Slam. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com
globe. I've won championships. I've won tournaments, places you've never even seen before. Titlematchnetwork.com. Very special having second wrestling here all the way down from Chicago. Adding a little Chi Town flavor to DFW All Pro Women's Wrestling presents Good Morning Rise and Shine. Here we go. Karna Botaya, Rache backing Billy up into the corner. Oh, she's co she's uh, complimenting the hair of Billy Starks. Billy Stark's not liking the current vibe that's going on here. Looking to change that with a test of strength. Beautiful takedown by Billy. And she's on Roche Chanel's hair, which is just, that is not something Roche Chanel takes very lightly, oh. as you can see. Roche with control of that. Uh-oh. Roche's got a comb. Trying to drag a comb through the uh, blue highlighted hair of Billy Starks. Now, would that constitute a foreign object? It would have to, right? A comb is a foreign um, object. Yes. I don't think I've seen her hit anybody with it, though. If she were to comb the hair of her opponent, would that be a disqualification? Um, I've seen her do that before. It's not usually. It's not a thing. She's she's even combed my hair okay. when I've been ring announcing for her before. Oh. Ooh. She's just, she's just trying to be nice. She's trying to help help a sister out, you know. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Oh. Nice sunset flip by Billy. One. Two, no. Oh. Sidekick to the head of Roche Chanel and uh, knocks the comb from her hand. Now, what I have seen her use is some hairspray. Oh, combing the hair of the crowd here. Making sure everybody is looking their best here on this lovely Sunday morning. Oh, beautiful leg sweep by Roche. Oh, and a big 
sidekick to the face of Billy Starks. Oh, and just, well, she has to go through her purse. Oh. Oh, no, there's that hairspray. That hairspray. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Spraying the eyes of the ref. Oh, no, and now combing the hair of Billy Starks. The referee, knowing that this is a title match, is being very lenient on the rules. Oh, and oh. a big pump knee. Rache Chanel is deadly with those knees. Only got a two count there. Oh my goodness, and just... Going back to the hair. Oh, she, look, look at that, she's checking on the ref too, oh. Billy Starks just throw a comb back at Roche Chanel? I believe she did. Oh, and now Roche. In the corner. Don't let the hair antics fool you. This is a vicious, vicious competitor. She absolutely is. Looking to add to her collection of belts right now. She is the current VWR Genesis champion, first ever. Um, like I said, I'm a little biased. VWR being my home promotion and all, Absolutely. but... Nice sleeper uh, hold by Roche. She did win that in a triple threat, so she can get the job done for sure. Oh. Pump kick by Roche. Goes for a cover. Only got a two count there. Interesting submission here. Beautiful head scissors. Oh, oh. but Billy able to grab those ropes. Almost had a pinning predicament. The ring awareness of Billy Starks and Roche. Very impressive. Oh, just Ooh. slamming Billy to the mat. Now Roche, too. Once again with the hair. Nice back elbow. Oh, and a big forearm by Billy Starks. Wow. Oh, and a big knee. Snap mare. Rochelle's got something on her mind. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful flying knee. Hooks the leg. Two. Got a two count. Like I said, Roche Chanel deadly with those knee strikes. Mm. Kind of a modified camel clutch going on right now. Working that arm, working that shoulder. Look at Billy, though, nice trip. Vicious forearm strikes by Roche Chanel. Oh, 
Irish whip whipped her with such velocity that she came off of her feet. Three snaps and oh no. Billy backing her up with the elbow. Oh, and a big boot. Oh, what a kick by Billy Starks. The second wrestling women's champion. Oh, looking to re retain. Oh my goodness. Now maybe thinking a gory bomb. Oh, just plants Roche. Billy hooks the leg, two. Too close to the ropes. Billy Starks ascending. Going to that top rope. Oh. Roche Chanel taking her feet out from under her. Shay Chanel is calling for it. Oh. It's the ropes. Oh my goodness, that knee. Absolute devastation. Rache Chanel looking to take that second wrestling women's championship and put it in her pocketbook. Oh. oh no, not on the outside. Oh no! Ooh. Nasty vertical suplex by Billy Starks. Rolls back in the ring at an eight count. Nine. Oh no! And Roche Chanel's lost a braid. Billy! Oh! oh. Tope to the outside. The referee was at a nine count. Has restarted that count. Billy could have taken a count out win there, but that's not how she wants to defend this championship. She wants to beat Rache Chanel. Oh my goodness, Swanton Bomb. Uh oh. Oh, Rache Chanel. Rolled her up, but Billy's feet were in the ropes. Oh. What a German suplex. Oh. And Billy starts. Space Jesus Billy Starks retaining her second wrestling women's championship. And somehow this was all just a warm up for this match. Can you believe it? And we're underway and it's about to get free. Ring the bell. This is a de facto Texas Tornado tag match here. That's right, and no piece underground falls count anywhere, submissions count anywhere. There are no tags, it's tornado style. Sawyer Wreck. And Kylan King take it on Lindsey Snow oh. and Masha Slim. Ooh, that was almost a problem. Oh, oh and then Double it was. backhands here. Nice coordination here. You know, in a tag match like this, it really is going to be the story of which team can gel together, which team can work together. Or who can not die out here. There's already glass everywhere. <laughs> Buckling of bodies. And Sawyer Wreck has unfinished business with Masha Slamovich. As Masha got the best of Sawyer Wreck back at Already Dead a few months ago. And now I see I Sawyer Wreck has some things in her hands. More construction materials, my oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And you notice, listen, Masha, Lindsay Snow, badasses, strong as hell. Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck are giants in this atmosphere. They are huge, they are tall, and they are powerful. And Sawyer Wreck has competed in every possible kind of match. And no peace on the ground. <laughs> Easily the most experienced in this style. Did you see that? They almost knocked over the whole backstage thing. Yeah, that is not a good idea. This this space is just barely constructed at all. Speaking of construction materials, uh, this place is unfinished as hell. And no, uh, I, I think it's it. going to be finished before all this is over. What is Sawyer Wreck? Uh-oh, both being held oh. hostage by the opposite. 
It's like a hostage situation. Uh oh. No. No. The Cold War. Oh, oh no. Gusset trades. Both prisoners executed. A Two. miracle of destruction. Yikes. I mean, Kylan King might be experiencing that for the first time, and now the death wish is firing oh. away to the forehead. Yeah, you can't be doing that on television, that's for sure. Yeah. She came back, though. This is crazy. Half of the team has already been attacked by construction materials. Oh. And there's the strikes of Lindsay Snow, the American Kaiju, but Kylie King, my God. First light two of the match. That's a shot for all of you at home. Yeah, Lindsay Snow. Lindsay Snow, blue belt and BJJ. She's competed for AEW, WWE, mind. NWA, and Ring of Honor all in the same year. And now she's trying to destroy oh. Sawyer Wreck. That plate is so deep in Sawyer Wreck right now. And Lindsay Snow in full control. Look Things at Kylan King. In an Have you ever seen Kylan King this fired up? Honestly, yes. It was when she was kicking my ass. So, Oh, can you blame her there? Oh. Oh. Kicks flying everywhere. People up, people down. This is madness right now. Oh. And Snow with those Woo. stiff strikes. Yeah. Oh, God. She ain't taking no guff. Just a battery of yeah. chops here wow. by Kylan King. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, Lindsay Snow is already total crimson. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ready. She Ready. fell down on top of it, though. Let's do one more. Oh, yeah. God. Across the midsection. That deep bass thump is a chemical reaction as all the ingredients of that light tube explode as they hit I mean, oxygen. if you wouldn't have thought any better, Lindsay Snow has the maniacal look like she was Luna Vachon right now. This is insane. And attacking that midsection, she, Kylan King feeling like Paul Simon here. Why are we soft in the middle? Why would you attack me where I don't even have bones? I mean, <laughs> you know. Incredible. I blew y'all with that one, didn't I? I was going to say, I that was so brilliant. There was no reason to follow it up. There's I wanted to let it breathe. Let, let that line breathe. Baby, I'll let everything breathe. I don't know if these folks are going to be breathing after this. My breath has almost been taken away by the absurd violence. Oh, God. Oh my God. Please don't. Oh, oh authors of pain. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. God. Oh, no. These Reversal. Oh. Oh. oh, God. Into glass and concrete. Double maniacal. covers here. Oh, kick out. That really sucks for two reasons. Still hanging in. That is insanity. Yikes. It's sharp. It's stiff. It's horrible. It's a concrete floor covered in glass. And this is where warriors are built. Speaking Snow of the middle. And Masha are uh -oh. a machine uh -oh. right now. That's okay. Just, yep. There Strongest you go. tubes in Dallas this weekend. I got to tell you. Oh, God. And now Lindsay Snow, another one to the Just back grind it in of there. Kylan Ooh. King. A little bit that. of a scorpion to that, uh, the arc of that kick there. Pretty nice. Targeted action right where she wanted it. Placing that kick and that tube in the in the precise position on the back here. And Effie, how, it's so rare to see Sawyer Wreck completely at the mercy of somebody else. She's usually doing all the destroying herself. The overreactors here are stuck in a moment where they are in a rough spot. Well, it speaks to the uh, the dominance of Lindsay Snow and Masha Slamovich. I oh. mean, talk about a, a, a dream team. Talk about a power crew there. Sliding Jesus. and riding. Things can turn around. These tubes are stiff ski. Woo. Wreck and King just get out of the way in time, and now they're back on the offensive. That's all it takes is just one turnabout. And now it looks like they're going to pay. Yeah, let's get a bunch of tubes out there. Yeah. The tube budget on this match, my God, I don't even, I don't know how to finance this. Obviously, someone, someone is thinking right now, my tubes, oh. not my tubes. Snow sent right into the barricade, and now Masha Slamovich is in a rough position. Sawyer Wreck. Sawyer Wreck has just got a crimson mask right now, and she is looking pissed. Oh, this could be it. Oh, oh God. Holy moly. Combination power bomb, neck breaker. Here's the cover. Two, got three. It. Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck. Yeah, I, there's no way you're going to kick out of something like that. With a victory. That double team makes the difference. That oh. was a violent finish. Look at Masha right now. She's she's shaking. She's it suffering. Oh, my goodness. Sawyer the overreactors, Wreck baby. Fired up. A mess everywhere. Proving themselves as a team here. Snow and Slamovich. No joke. A, a real competitive moment here, but... The two overreactors, Kylie King, Sawyer Wreck, 
Leaving with the dub, baby. That's right. The oh, no. Oh, what she, the hell? She just slapped oh, no. Lindsay. Mosh is pissed. She hates losing. Oh, this oh, team God. is done. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, look. Combustible elements of these personalities wasn't going to last for long. It was too good to be true. Quite frankly, what no. the hell is she oh, doing? Oh no! Good friends, better enemies. I guess. No, she took her shoe off. No. That's a terrible choice. No, what no. are you doing? Glass, what are you doing? This is. This feels vindictive. What the hell is Lindsay Snow thinking? She's pulling up her pant leg here. Uh oh! And she's just showing off the tattoo. Some kind of symbolic meaning here. She has a Masha Slamovich tattoo. Oh it's just Masha must God. die. She has a Masha must die tattoo. This was planned. All of this was planned. This is permanent hate. This was a setup. You can't get a tattoo under that short of notice. I'm not in a barber shop, but there are windows broken everywhere. This is a heartbreak moment that she had planned ahead. She was willing to die out here for it. Well, that, we've just recontextualized everything that just happened. Man, am, Lindsay Snow is not someone you want to cross. Completely oh. blown away by it. I, we got a couple of psychos here. Masha's had issues before with plenty of people, and she's not scared to lose another friend. This is a lonely road, and these two are going to meet down the line. I feel it. Destructive finish here. You know, I was going to say, I love to see female friendship in all its forms, but this looks like it's turned into female hatred, and I love that too. Well, this is definitely not finished between the American Kaiju and Masha Slamovich. Nonetheless, Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck victorious, and we'll be right back. I'd like to welcome you both to this singles match for the vacant Battle Club Icons Championship. Introducing first in the corner to my left, she is sponsored by For The Win. She is from the stars in your eyes and the criticism in your heart, your favorite Cosmin. Cosmic. Cos <laughs> she is sponsored by the Call of Podcast. Fighting out of Washington, D.C. This is the Afro Pub Trish Adora. These two ladies are going to go at it. Both this of them could fight, both of them could technically wrestle. Trisha Dora, look at the look on Trisha's face. This is going to be so. The last time we were here, Trisha Dora almost snatched her words, the title from Big Swole. She's back now, fighting for the vacant Icons Championship. Oh, some showmanship here. Don't trust her, Cosmic. Can't trust her. There we go. Probably put poison. great sportsmanship. Probably poison on her hand. No, no, no. Out of the way, Dunberger. Lock up. Working the lockup. Go behind by Cosmic. Crowd seems to be behind Cosmic, which is crazy because the Battle Club pro crowd has always been universally pro Trisha Dora. Not when Look at everybody's the underhook. favorite takes over. Hammerlock. Now they reverse the hammerlock. Trisha's got her own. Front chancery. A roll up, roll up, roll up. Kick out. Not going to be enough to catch Cosmic off guard. Keeping it level. No, seemingly no animosity. These ladies just want to win this match. You know, you got to wonder about the relationship between Cosmic and Rembrandt still. Rembrandt walked off with Federated last time we were here, and you haven't really seen them together. Uh, I wonder if. Uh, I don't know. I wonder, yeah. wonder which side our favorite. Fireman's carry, take over, has the arm bar now. I mean, we could ask Mr. Martinez, but he got From what I understand, oh, look at this. Now she's got <laughs> another arm bar. She tried to roll out, and she stuck with it. From what I understand, they still have a kinship, but Rembrandt moved over and, and defected over to Federated for opportunities for himself. Um, I can't fault him. It, it sucks losing another fallout kid to Federated, but... You got to do what's best for you in this business. And what's best for Cosmic right now is to take it to Trisha Dora. Look at this. The chain wrestling. They're going back and forth. 
arm ringers. Look at the aggression from just simple arm ringers. The gear, Cosmic has, it's gorgeous. A simple, uh, it's soft too, it's velvet. Yeah, it looks like, oh wow. It's like velvet. Yeah, it, look, it looks like the universe. It looks like the sky in the universe. Eating that canvas, that arm rigger, and then drag her down face first. Snapmare takeover. Oh, kick to the arm. Oh, kick to the shoulder. Trisha Dora using those feet. Oh, she's looking for that deadlift German. Oh, cover. Kick out. That's what happens when you do wrestle look at this, as look at much. This. She's trying to get a triangle, the body scissors. When you wrestle as much as Trisha Dora, Cosmic was able to watch those matches. Yeah. You, and she's you, able to prepare. You can bet Cosmic studied Trisha Dora, her every move. However, Cosmic, oh, still fairly new to the game, yeah, is, she is still working on her craft. Just over, just surpassed her rookie, her official rookie year. But she's been training with Rembrandt still, training with Santi at the fallout. I mean, you do talk, wow, she knocked, she knocked the hair tie out of her head. You know, I would say last oh, year. Oh, gosh. Last year, Mr. Anthony Gamble was the fallout shelter standout. I'm going to try, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 2023 Cosmic is, year, is the year of Cosmic. Look at the strength. I think 2023 is going to be the year of the icons in the fallout. Sammy Chaos, Jordy Lee, Cosmic. Mostly Cosmo. Oh, goodness. Uh, maybe done on that chop. Maybe Trish. Maybe Trish. Spice Spiegel. Hard Irish root to the corner. I have never seen Trisha Dora look so angry before. I, I think, I think like she, she might be thrown off a bit, and we, it might make her angry that the crowd isn't pro Trisha she's Dora. Not, she's not used to she's being not. Rude. She's universally cheered whenever she's worked hey, with us. woman, you got to embrace it. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> that's what Elliot, uh, excuse me, that's what Mr. Martinez says in Federated. Do I have to watch you too? I mean, you know what the rest part? When I was up on top of the apron, I could see his bald spot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Irish whip, reversal. Oh God, another Cosmic strong hit one. hard. Here comes oh. Trish. Body splash. Cosmic looks out of it already. This might be Cosmic's toughest opponent to date. Oh, she's got her up. Is she looking for that? Oh my goodness, is she gonna, what the heck's gonna happen here? The paralyzer or something. Oh goodness, she's stretching her, an abdominal stretch. Trying to tap good out Good lord, Cosmic. look at this. That can't feel good. How is she doing that? How is, not only how is she doing it, how is Cosmic not tapping out right now? I, I don't know, she can. Oh wait, Cosmic rolled out. Oh, into the corner. Looks like Cosmic doesn't have the energy oh, to follow arm. up. Cut her off. And another. Ducks. Oh, over the moon exploder. What a wonderful suplex that was. Here comes Cosmic. Oh, that knee. Oh. Make sure she fixes her hair. Oh! German, no! Oh, oh. good! Deadlift, deadlifter! Cos just kicked out. Cosmic did everything she could to get out of that, but Trish just muscled her over. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, she's looking for Larry Tubman. Is that what they mean? Something different in my neighborhood. Oh, face buster! Cover! Cover! Oh, uh, just out. I thought we had our new champion right there. Cosmic now, she needs to keep on top of Trish Dora while she has Trish right where she wants her. Double underhook. Looking for some kind of butterfly. Sweep the legs out from under. Oh, goodness. Stump color. Oh, look, Cosmic right into a screw fix. Come on, Dumberger. Oh, good. Wow. Jesus. Just wiped her out with that 
bicycle kick. Oh, senton! You know, Trisha Dora, known for her mat-based grappling, she's just throwing some Oh, the right to his face! Oh, this time Trish ducks under. Waist lock. Works under now. Cosby has her own. Oh, rebound German of her own! Count it! Kick out. Look at this. Trish Adora doesn't know what hit her right now. Oh, Larry and Tuffin! I know what hit Cosmic, though. That is it. We found a new champion. Oh, foot's on the rope! I thought that was over. She hit her with Larry Tuffin. It was too close to the ropes. Just a two count. Says Ref Van Dam. No, no. Steve Dumang. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh! Carter into that boss man type slam. Another pin. Oh, she got her on another crucifix. Cosmic doing everything she can to catch Trish off guard. Oh, forearm. Trish is throwing both. Oh. Whoa. Trying for that deadlift again. Oh. Oh, she's looking for that unique Michinoku driver. That's it. Oh, Trish kicked out. What a fight we got here. This Brooklyn crowd really appreciates what these two competitors are doing right now. Oh, she looked for that crescent kick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did she duck? She glanced her. Trish Adora knows that when she sees her opponent down, the best thing to do is go oh, for a cover. Crucifix. Cosmic trying to get her over. She did. Oh, she did Cosmic it. won. She did it. Break the bell, asshole. The winner of this match and new Battle Club Icons champion, your favorite, Cosmic. Cosmic did it. Cosmic has taken down Trisha Dora, and she is your new Battle Club Icons Champion. Your Fallout representative. 2023 Year of Cosmic, and it starts tonight here in Brooklyn, New York. January 21st, 2023, mark it on your calendars, day one of the Reign of Cosmic. TitleMatchNetwork.com Schedule for one fall. Introducing first, in my left corner, hailing from Katy, Texas, he is the best ever! As a wrestler, she has been making herself known and is also being seen on Lucha Underground. This match is scheduled for a 20 minute time limit. Your referee for this contest, senior official Karina Kyle. I 
again, it is time for the main event here at Sabotage Wrestling War of the Genders 2. And what better way to end the night but with arguably two of the hottest stars in wrestling today. Sammy Guevara taking on Thunder Rosa. A dream match for any wrestling fan out there today. And where are you going to get it? Right here in Sabotage Wrestling. Austin, Texas. Let's get it on. In the ring right now, we have two international stars. Two uh, stars of the silver screen. Uh, just two of the, the two cult followings. The, some of the most devoted fans in the world follow both. That young man, Sammy Guevara, and the unstoppable Thunder Rosa. And now here we are finally in our main event of the evening. And something has got to give. Just like our last event, War of the Genders, something's got to give, which is available on uh, sabotagewrestling.pivotshare.com, if I'm not mistaken. Very true. Or if you subscribe to us on Twitch, you can view all of the Sabotage Wrestling shows as well as shows from Inspire Pro Wrestling and RCW as well. Joanna, how excited are you for this contest? I have been waiting to see this match in particular, so it makes sense that it is the main event. It is the one people want to see. Oh, no! Oh. Huge super kick by Sammy Guevara. The match hasn't even started yet. I have not heard a bell at all. Oh, now I there it is now, Karina Kyle. Sydney for the match to start, and Thunder Rosa already on her back. She might be, she might taste a little bit of blood in her mouth from the way that super kick connected, and the crowd letting Sammy Guevara what they think of that whole, that whole ridiculousness he just pulled. Thunder Rosa though into a reversal flip. Miami Guevara aerial show here. Thunder Rosa though does not look impressed. Takes Sammy down by both her legs, rolls over with a bridge. Two count though. Uh, Mara looking up for a, a kick here now. Nope. Roll up pin one, two, kick out by Rosa. Headlock now by Rosa as she tries to slow things down here. Is Mara going to go into a pin? Just a two count here. Nice arm drag there by Gabara, but one even better by Rosa. And it's almost like they had the exact same idea there. And again, uh, a mirror of moves here. Guevara, though, a little bit more of a showman than Thunder Rosa is. No, not showman, show off. <laughs> Look, I'll give Sammy Guevara the benefit of the doubt. The guy is fantastic. He's easily going to be one of the future stars of professional wrestling. Uh, I would just appreciate it a little bit more if maybe he were a bit more humble. I know that's not going to happen. If he could just be a bit more humble and not be, you know, so much of a humongous jerk, I like him just a little bit more. Sammy Rosa showing off a little moves of her own now. Sammy Guevara offering his hand in friendship. He's trying to give her the mega power handshake. And uh, in typical Mr. Money's Worth style, the one finger salute. Hold on, Rosa's got it though. Showing the fury. Kicks to the back of the leg of Sammy Guevara. You gotta like the prowess of Thunder Rosa there. Target Sammy's legs hard to go high flying if you can't jump. And as you and I both know, Thunder Rosa, one of the heaviest strikers in all of professional wrestling, as she learned over in her time in Japan, being taught by the girls of stardom, which include Io Shirai, and they all taught her to hit as hard as humanly possible. Rosa there by Sammy. Thunder Rosa off the rope. Nice arm drag there by Thunder Rosa as the crowd fires back up and gets into it. But Sammy right back with a kick to the gut. And now a disrespectful boot to the face of Thunder Rosa. Sammy Gavar letting the crowd know that he uh, reciprocates the love that they show him. Sammy Gavar now pandering to the audience here just a little bit, but uh, again, a negative reaction. And Mr. Moneysworth though is Thunder Rosa able to climb back to her feet now. Nice roll through there into a pin combination, but uh, just a two count for Sammy oh. Guevara. And again, a kick to the face. That's three or four shots directly to the head of Thunder Rosa. Still able to kick out, though, and just after one as well. Sammy Guevara back in control of this match. Picks Rosa up with ease and slams her down once again. 
Sammy Guevara being real confident about himself right now. Hard to argue with Sammy now in control of this match here is multiple knees to the gut of Thunder Rosa. Picks her up with ease as well, and uh, we've seen this before if you're a Sammy fan. Here come the squats. I've done this before. With Thunder Rosa on your shoulders? No, she's, she's, no, she would hurt me. Smow and drop there by Guevara into a lazy cover here. Just a two count though as Thunder Rosa able to kick out with ease. You know, to me, it almost seems like Sammy Carr is not really even taking this match seriously, the way he's just carrying himself. I mean, come on, look at that. What a cheap move by Sammy Carr. He should be trying to go for the pin, but instead he wants to, oh. Ooh, I heard that. Again, of course, the booze are a lot arising here from the crowd. Navarro will pick Thunder Rosa up again, maybe going for more squats. And again, he shows the crowd exactly what he's made of. Oh, Rosa look at that. Roll, roll out into almost an ankle lock going on here. Sammy Guevara scrambling, trying to find a rope, and uh, we'll get it. Rosa, though, a veteran, going to work that count. You know, if Sammy actually paid attention to what was going on in the internet, he'd be saying, Right through the ropes, a drop kick right to Sammy Guevara's face. He would see that Thunder Rosa is constantly training and constantly evolving. You always see something new from Thunder Rosa each and every time. What is she What is she doing here? Rosa going up to the top rope here. Sammy Guevara, though, sees the scout and kicks the leg out from underneath oh, her. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he onto the apron. Thunder Rosa's out cold. She's unconscious. She's out. This is this might be over. And Sammy's going to take advantage of it. Drops her out. She lands on her feet, but I, there's no possible way she knows where she is right now. That she might think devastating. She, she might think she's still in the ring. And Guevara cocky as ever. I, I would I, I I wouldn't think that Sammy Guevara would be the type of guy who'd take a cheap count out win. But hey, I mean. Just, he has the advantage right now. She's out on her feet. Where is she? And hold on, Thorosa pops up again. Fight. Fighting outside the ring now as Thunder Rosa tries to pull herself back into this match with just furies of shots. Again, fans, a part of the show here at Sabotage Wrestling. That guy got his money's worth. And more. No pun intended. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. Back and forth go Guevara. And Thunder Rosa, again, just trading shots back and forth, almost mirror images of each other. We saw that a little bit earlier, but again, now the wear and tear is starting to take its toll on either of these things. And a slap echoes through, come and take it live. But Guevara fires back with shots of his own, rolling Thunder Rosa back into the ring. Thunder Rosa displays a little bit of her culture on her face, part of the Calavera, and you're gonna see the intensity that she brings with that heritage. Into a pin here now. Two count though, Rosa able to kick out once again. Trying to will herself back into this match. It seems like every, for every three or four shots she gets off, Sammy Guevara gets five or six. But here comes the crowd alive once again. Sammy Guevara picking Thunder Rosa up with ease. And oh, sliding down into a pin here. One, two, just a two count there. Oh! Big knee across the head of Rosa. She might be out again. Guevara going to go into a pin here, but a kick out by Thunder Rosa. Again, that I short. feel a little lightheaded having seen her <laughs> hit her head that way. Guevara favoring that shoulder just a little bit now. Going to go into a choke here. Zap the life, whatever life Thunder Rosa may have left inside of her, but Rosa trying to call on the fans. These crowds, uh, this crowd firmly behind Thunder Rosa, who has really won over the state of Texas since she's moved out here. The fans this of Texas over double kick love there it. by Rosa, and I would agree with you, Joey. Into a pin now, two, but a kick out at two by Sammy Guevara. And yeah, you, you heard Mel talk about it, or Thunder Rosa talk about it just a little bit earlier. Uh, they're moved to San Marcos. That's where she's located now. They packed up. They moved here to basically bring Sabotage Wrestling to Texas. And Sabotage Wrestling fans and Texas fans in general have reciprocated that love. Absolutely. Sabotage Wrestling, the fans have shown us so much love and support. It's so fantastic to come to Texas and just give these people of Austin the best wrestling we can here at Sabotage Hold Wrestling. Hold on, Sabotage. 
Thunder Rosa may be going for a submission move here if she can roll back just a little bit more. But Sammy Guevara going to be able to power out of it. Oh, an eye poke there it looked like by Sammy Guevara. Again, Mr. Money's worth not above a dastardly move, if you will. Now choking the life out of Thunder Rosa. And again, the wear and tear evident on Thunder Rosa's body. Again, Guevara not only toying with Thunder Rosa, but the crowd now as well. And a huge slap across the chest of Thunder Rosa. I must admit, Thunder Rosa has actually uh, kept Sammy Guevara grounded throughout this contest, so he's uh, pulling out some uh, new moves that he's probably not used to doing. A lot of knees to the face, a lot of submission holds. Sammy Guevara has been grounded throughout this match. I mean, he's still on top. But he, he, we haven't seen any flippy stuff. Double axe handle there by Thunder Rosa. Going to reverse and throw Sammy oh. in and have a chop of her own. That one looked like it hurt the hand of Thunder Rosa as well, but hold on, there's another. Oh, another huge boot to the face of Thunder Rosa. I would have to say this is probably one of the toughest challenges of Sammy Guevara's career so far. Ten minutes remaining in this match. Ten minutes. A ten minute time limit there by Lieutenant Dad. Roll through there, two, and a kick out. But Sammy Guevara, now Thunder Rosa holding on, trying to get a submission move there. Rolls him over into a pin. A two count once again. Now Thunder Rosa going to wrap those legs around the neck and chest those are of Sammy Guevara. Powerful legs. She has been training every single day, every spare moment she has. She's going to pop his head like a grape. Hold on. Look at the power of Sammy Guevara. Oh. Though, drops her back down. And again, all the momentum of Thunder Rosa just taken away by Sammy in one fell swoop. He'll go over the top for a quick pin. But again, Thunder Rosa. Able to kick out. Harnessing her strength. Persevere. I think Sammy Guevara is beginning to feel like he might be a little bit in over his head here. He's probably just coming in here thinking he was just going to wrestle just another girl. But Thunder Rosa is not just another girl. She is something special. Sammy Guevara off the rope and off two ropes and three ropes. And, uh, well, what else can you say but Mr. Money's worth? I I want to punch this guy in the face. Can I punch this guy in the face after the show? I, I'm not going to be able to stop him. Thunder Rosa, though, trying to power back up here. Roll Sammy over. Over that submission move again there, working on the ankle and got oh, a handful oh. of air. Thunder Rosa says, if you can, I can too. Thunder Rosa using her power to keep Sammy Guevara from getting to the ropes, but he was able to get there. One kick for good measure by Thunder Rosa. Again, goes back to working on those legs. Again, as you said, Joey trying to keep Sammy Guevara grounded throughout this match, not able to let him hit those high-flying, high-impact moves we're used to seeing from the self-proclaimed best ever. All I know is that Sammy Guevara into a pin here, one and two. Sammy Guevara's next vlog is probably going to be titled "Sore" because that's the feeling he'll have recording it after this matchup. Again, Rosa calling on the fans here at Come and Take It Live for a little extra juice. A huge headbutt there again. Guevara just seems to be working on the cranium. Of Thunder Rosa kicks, knees, headbutts, punches, trying to disorient. Again, a bit of disrespect there by Guevara, just kind of tossing Thunder Rosa around lightly. Suplex there by Guevara. Again, a little bit of impact. And again, goes right back to it one more time. Although, but a block by Rosa trying to gain a little bit of momentum back here. Reversal by Thunder Rosa. Into a pin here. One, two. A kick out at two by Sammy Guevara. But Thunder Rosa trying to regain the momentum here. A couple of chops across the chest. Take a look when you can. A big red mark. Grace is Sammy Guevara's victorious. Oh, wow! 
Wow. Huge cutter there by Rosa off the middle rope. Caught Sammy Guevara looking. Sammy Guevara had her going one way. Thunder Rosa went another, and now both competitors are down. Rosa starting to stir just a little bit. Guevara as well. Senior referee Karina Kyle. Starting to count, but Guevara able to get back to his feet first. Rosa not far behind him, though. Huge elbow drops Guevara once again. Thunder Rosa calling on her crowd, trying to get some momentum going back. Double stomp to the chest of Sammy Guevara as she starts to get things rolling. His heart just exploded. Suplex over. Rosa going to go into a pin here. One, two, and a kick out at two. You can hear the cry and frustration from Thunder Rosa wanting to defeat him already. Thunder Rosa now trying to get back. Oh, God. Nice to what a shot there by Guevara. Just these multiple knees by Sammy Guevara just taking their toll on Thunder Rosa. And this one might be over soon. Sammy Guevara finally making an ascent to the top rope. What is he If he, he hits this, it might be over. Guevara going up to the top. We know how high impact his flights can be, but hold on. Rosa is back up to the top and a kick to the, well, possibly the groin. Thunder Rosa going up now to meet Sammy Guevara. Has him on her shoulder. Look bringing at the power. In. What a driver there by Thunder Rosa, dropping him right on his shoulder. The Sammy Guevara favoring that shoulder, but he able to roll out of the ring and get away from it. Thunder Rosa not able to catch him for a pin. He might be a cocky bastard, but that was a pretty intelligent move by Sammy Guevara rolling out of the ring like that. Thunder Rosa, though, not going to let him get away. Shot across the face of Guevara. Thunder Rosa, hold on. Where is she going? Uh-oh. Thunder Rosa Jeez. up top. She's in the sound booth right now. Fearless. Oh, my God. What a dive by Rosa on top of Guevara. Out to the bottom. And again, you see that is nothing but hard wood floor. No padding, no mats. And they're both out. This crowd has just lost their minds at the at the... Thunder Rosa basically sacrificing her body. Rolling him back into the ring here. You got to think Thunder Rosa looking for a pin after that high Four minutes move. remaining in this match. Four minutes. Four minutes to go here. Oh, oh Sammy Guevara with another shot to the head. Meeting Thunder Rosa at the top of the ring. Hold on. Here it goes. Spanish fly from the That's top it. rope into it. Two and oh. Rosa able to kick out there to two and a half, call it two and three quarters if you want. And Sammy Guevara, like the rest of us here, are stunned. He thought that was the coup de grace. Sammy Guevara thought he had Thunder Rosa finished, but he underestimated her heart. And now the disrespect from Sammy Guevara once again. Guevara with that one finger salute. Almost three minutes mark. remaining. Hold on, here comes Rosa firing back with open hand strikes, but again, Guevara counters with right the knee, right knee of Thunder Rosa, and now Guevara is down. Thunder Rosa asking him to bring it. Up and over oh. goes Sammy Guevara. Murakarana there. Rosa into a pin, one and two, but a kick out. By Guevara with two. Again, running out of time. You heard Lieutenant Dan say it. Just three minutes left in this match. Stomp across the bag. Bit of disrespect by Thunder Rosa there as well. Thunder Rosa going for the kill. Going up top one Our more first time. first flying was memorable. Let's see what this is. Double oh! stop to the back of Sammy Guevara. That's it. It's over. Into a pin here. Two. And again, no Guevara way. kicks out. You are kidding me. I may not like this guy, but this Sammy Guevara, he, his heart is just as big as Thunder Rose's, I would say. Again, uh, these two warriors bringing at it here. Two minutes the main remaining. Events. Two minutes there, the call in I this hope match. These, I hope these two are paying attention. That one of them needs to finish this match off if they want the victory. Guevara kicks her off. And now just doing whatever they can to inflict just a little bit more damage on the other one. Third time up Rosa, top. Rosa gonna go up top once again. Going for the stop. Oh! Oh, Guevara catches her with a super kick off the top rope. 
And again, I say it. Guevara with a curb stomp now. And now Sammy Guevara going up top. We know what he likes to do. Guevara calling for it in his head. Oh, 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 Rosa squeezes through. She's got his ankle. He's not Rosa going, going in for that ankle lock. He's trapped. She's got the grant. The referee Karina Kyle in position. One minute remaining. One minute remaining here as Sammy Guevara desperately tries to hold on. He's tapping. He's it's tapping. Over. It's, a, it's over. It's over. Wait, I've just been informed, ladies and gentlemen, by our senior official, this match will continue. There is no tap out. No what? tap out. We all. Wait a minute. What's 30 seconds remaining in this match. Why? What's going on here? We all just saw it. Again, not quite sure what's going on. 20 seconds. Rosa trying to get Sammy Guevara up, but again, the streak not able to. Into a pin now. Two. Seconds. And a kick out. 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. This now. Guevara gonna roll her up here for a pin. One, four, two, three. Kick out once two, again. One. And that's it. What does that mean, though? The time limit. The time limit's expired. Again, not real sure why the the tap out didn't count. Crowd chanting for five more minutes. Referee Karina Kyle conversing with Lieutenant Dan. To see here again, both these competitors. Ladies in and gentlemen, corners. I've just been informed by senior official Karina Kyle. As a result of a time limit draw, there is no winner in this match. You're kidding me! No. After all of that, we're not going to crown a winner. Thunder Rosa clearly had the win. I mean, we all saw with our own eyes Sammy Guevara tapping out did we not yeah, did we i did. not see that happen was i hallucinating again not sure why it didn't count uh no oh. oh no hold on oh no here comes the lto karina kyle trying to uh look at him but now they're attacking thunder rosa in the ring frisco flame joining in erica torres your sabotage champion here comes rob love as well it's a it's a six on one attack Ring the bell. Somebody get in here and help her. Sammy Guevara across the ring. And look, Donovan Troy directing traffic. Again, a disgusting human being. We knew earlier, and Sammy Guevara now exiting leaving? the ring. Why is he leaving? Torres now going to work on Thunder Rosa. Again, it's six on one after a huge, huge main event here, where which we saw no winner. Do a time limit. Hold on, here comes Sammy back. Guevara now in the face of all of the LTO. Sammy Guevara attacking Rob Love. Sammy Guevara now fighting with the LTO. Trying to fight off and get a little bit of space here. But again, the numbers game just overwhelming us right now. Rob Love arguing with the ringside. Orchestrating the entire thing. Earlier tonight, we learned that Donovan Troy was the architect behind the LTO. Latinos taking over. He ended up putting, hold on. Here come the rest of the ladies and the locker room chasing the LTO out of here. Baby D, Jordan Lanx, and Phoebe, as well as Leva Bates clearing house and chasing the LTO back to the locker room. Donovan Troy, of course, the GM of Sabotage Wrestling. Try, starting to fire everybody. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Vicious 52 has been such a, a staple 
of the Northeast of the Tri-State area. Kaya Dream making a return here to CCW. But you got to imagine how much Kaya has grown, the leaps and bounds, the experiences that have been under Kaya's belt over the last two years. These are not the same competitors that they were years ago. Not at all. Again, Kaya Dream, the queen of the South, Vicious Vicky, kind of somebody who's been taking over the Northeast wrestling scene. So we kind of got a battle of North versus South here tonight, but also Devil's Daughter versus a sweet Georgia Peach. Yeah. Kaya Dream, though, never one to step away from a fight. There's a challenge is ahead of her. Especially with this darker, more eerie, imposing figure, but a drop kick takes Vicious Vicky down. And now Dream laying in a forearm shot. Reverse, then the corner, up and over. Wait a second. Gets a bit tangled up, but able to get that clubbing blow to the back. Quick cover. Not quite. I say that Kaya Dream is so fired up with the devil's daughter here right now. No doubt about that, especially when you consider. Oh, wait a second! Especially when you consider it's a, a chance to reestablish yourself here on the roster at Capital Championship Wrestling for Kai. Also, an opportunity to win a championship here right now with the ACW Women's Championship on the line. Oh, wait a sec! Off the ropes! Oh, kicked out of mid air by Vicious Vicky Kaya Dream. Feeling that one for sure. Now, Vicky into that cover. The Lateral press, not enough to keep Kaya down. And you can hear Kaya Dream just howling in pain, trying to get herself back to a vertical base. And Vicky will help her there. But whack her head into the turnbuckle as well. Now enjoying every second. Vicky trying to stomp a hole through Kaya Dream. Vicky now showboating a little bit. Don't want to lose your focus. Giving Kaya Dream a chance to regain her footing and now land some blows of her own, but is quickly reciprocated. Once again, climbed in the corner, sent Snapmare down and that kick right to the base of the spine. Vicious Vicky now turns it into a cover. Kaya Dream forced to expound that energy to find that escape. And keep this matchup alive. You can just see the difference on the face of Vicious Vicky, you know. Vicious has always been in her name, but this is just a completely different and new, darker side of her that we have not seen before. And you can see Kaya Dream fighting with every ounce of her might. Vicious Vicky had the throat of Dream over that middle rope. And yeah, you did say part of the moniker of Vicious Vicky. But this is the same woman who had all of the gold at her fingertips before being sidelined by injury. This is someone who feels like she has so much lost time to make up for. And you gotta wonder if that starts to brew and bubble under the surface for too long. Well, she's bounced back and won the BCW Women's Championship, but now she's got a, a challenge ahead of herself defending it against Kaya Dream. And the back elbow wipes out Dream and repositions does Vicky dragging Kaya away from any respite that the ropes could have provided. Our official taking his own life in his hands, just like staring down the barrel of a loaded vicious Vicky. Green trying to get herself back in this matchup. <laughs> And Kaya almost anticipating the intensity of that chop. And Kaya's so incredibly gritty. Wait a second. Springs with the cross body, straight to the cover. Kaya is someone with so much grit, so much determination. She's someone that has risen to every challenge. This one included. Doesn't shy away from the fight. Now bringing the fight to Vicious Vicky here now. No doubt about that. We are seeing the fire in Kaya Dream. Doubles over Vicky. Oh, and sent face first collision now. Straight into that cover. Dream looking for the victory. 
Not enough. She didn't get the cover, but she did go for it right away, which is something Vic Vicky took a little bit of time to do to Kaya earlier in making her covers. Absolutely right, Ella J. And now, see that Vicky has her... Vicky almost not even reacting to this, this hold that Kaya Dream has on. You can see she's got her fingers right underneath the crook of the arm, not allowing Kaya to get that, that full capture that she wants. Now prying away, Vicious Vicky seemingly unfazed. Gets that back elbow right to the midsection of Kaya Dream. Almost feels like there's a, I don't know, something in the Vicious Vicky that wasn't is, there before. It certainly is eerie, and now set crashing down is Kaya Dream. Now looking for this crossface hold, so disorienting. Is Kaya Dream gonna tap out? Is this where it ends? Kaya Dream, she's done. TitleMatchNetwork.com way to start a tag team contest and no longer is your majesty Jennifer Cruz alongside me we have Jana the lovely Jana the WSU Hall of Famer hello 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 well it's good to see you here back in WSU I know under you new management it's great to see you at full steam ahead yeah I'm excited to be here it looks like it's you know so far with the show it's you know like like the name is full speed ahead you know we're going full speed nothing stopping at WSU doing what it does, and that's providing some of the best in women's wrestling. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. You know, right now we got a big tag team in attraction, you know. You know, Annie Social and Kimberly really wanted to have this be a WSU Tag Team Championship match, but due to the fact they really haven't had a chance to move up the rankings such to get a championship match, WSU management told them the petition. The petition was unsuccessful, believe it or not, and now Annie Social and Kimberly, they are looking to gain themselves a tag team opportunity the hard way. Look at that, double team continuity there from Kimberly and Annie Social. Nice drop kick from the top, and now here comes Sassy Stephanie. You know, I've, I've had a chance to face the Midwest Militia. Unfortunately, 
I wasn't as successful as I would have liked to have been, you know, me and Latasha, but you know, they are they're an excellent tag team. They know what they're doing, they know who they are as a tag team. So, you know, you know, Kimberly and um, and the social really have their work cut out for them. Absolutely, you know, you had the tag team championships at the fifth anniversary show. You won them for a mere matter of moments. And it seemed the Midwest Militia cashed in on their number one contendership very quickly. The WC management at the time allowed it, and you guys lost the WSU Tag Team Championships and then lost a return match a few months later. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where you're kind of put in a situation where, unfortunately, you know, the cards aren't decked, you know, stacked in your favor, and, you know, they, they took advantage of, of a situation that... You know, I kind of have to respect them for doing because, you know, you have to take, a van take advantage of every situation you can. This is not, you know, ballet. <laughs> Absolutely, that's true. But meanwhile, the Midwest Militia look like they're having problems against the team of Annie Social and Kimberly. Social, the double clothesline, taking down the champions. Again, if they defeat the champions here in a non-title match at full steam ahead, I can basically guarantee they might be in contention sooner than later for a WSU Tag Team Championship match. Now, you know, Jan, I do want to ask you one thing while I have you here. You know, it seems like you've been on, you've been stressed out, it seems, as of late in WSU. Jennifer Cruz really has your number. I have to ask you, what's your mindset right now? My mindset is, you know, basically to do everything I can to make her life a living hell. Because that's what she's done to me for the past, what, year? Yes, absolutely. You know, ever since the king and queen, I believe, when you hurt your shoulder, and then she she cheated the win. Yeah, that I mean that put me out for a little bit, but you know what? She 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 wants to sit there and say, "Oh, I'm undefeated for 2012." That doesn't mean anything. Well, and unfortunately, uh, that kick meant yeah, a lot to Eddie Social. It definitely did. Social got kicked extremely hard right in the midsection with that kick. It was vicious in its delivery. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ow. Allison K really digging in with those AK-47 oh, the ref the Referees letting a lot of leeway go, especially with the militia. You want to tag you go. Allison K is relentless. I have, I have a really bad feeling that if they keep pushing Kimberly, she's not going to, you know, let herself be restrained too much longer. She, because this, you can't, you know, when you're dealing with your partner, that's, you know, that you travel together, you train together, you strategize together, that's almost like family, you can't. Allison Cage, you're unrelentless with those strikes to the back. Only two, says referee Johnny Q. But this matchup continues regardless. Allison Kay, you know, the AK-47, the pupil of Jessica Adams we alluded to earlier, but she truly has learned the viciousness and the evil nature of, of Jessica Havid, but this is turning into a serious situation here. Any social couldn't even run and make it across rope. Social's getting kicked extremely hard. Yeah, when it's your stomach, you have no ability. You can't breathe, you oh. can't move. But there's the heart of social there kicking out at the last possible second. Kimberly stuck on the apron. She can't even get in the ring. Really just laying in those strikes to the back. Shot to the back again from Sassy Stead. You know, the Midwest militia, when it, once they focus on a little body part or an injury, they will attack it like a piranha in the fish tank, Jana. Yeah, they stay on, they stay on it, and that's, you know, that is, you know, one of the best strategies to do is to, once you find that weak point, you stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, and you break it down. And that's what they're doing, so I can't, you know, as much as they're not my favorite people, I can't really, I can't really blame them. They're, they're the champions, they have the titles, they can, you know, it, you're absolutely right. You can't fault their factions, they are the champions for a reason. You know, and, and it's up, and if they, if Annie and, and Kimberly want that, that opportunity to become tag champs, they have to really fight for it. So. Absolutely. And they're not going to make it easy for them. Oh, and at the last possible second, Social dropping with a split, split-legged face buster. Can Social get to that corner and make a tag? Can she do it? The tag to Allison K. Can Social get there? Oh, Social makes a tag, but here comes Kimberly. Split-legged jaw checker. Gurray. Kimberly, the proverbial house of fire. Whoa! 
High and tight on that German suplex. Oh, Only two. That was close. I mean, Kimberly's been waiting for a long, long time. She's got a lot of aggression built up, and I think she's going to put it out on them right now. Here we go. Kimberly climbing to the high risk district, risk or reward. Oh, wait a minute, Some, Kimberly just landed hard, high and tight on that left knee. She landed high and tight on that left knee. Wait a minute. Oh, kiss my sass to Andy Social. Well, Social is not the legal woman, Kimberly. The ref's gotta get them off her. I have just been informed by referee Johnny Q that Kimberly is unable to continue. Therefore, this match has been thrown out. Well, this match has been thrown out by, as I was told by referee Johnny Q, this match has been thrown out. Kimberly might have really, she might have definitely, definitely tweaked something, more than tweaked something in that left. She can't even put any pressure on it. Yeah, when, when you're dealing with the injury. Oh! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? You know, it takes a lot for a referee to actually decide to stop a match due to injury. Wow! For them to do that, you know, that shows that they have no sense of respect for their opponents. It's just... Unbelievable. This is getting to be... Did you see that kick? That was unnecessary. Un I, I'm speechless on that on that fact. I am speechless. Spe the Midwest militia should be damn near ashamed of what just transpired. Unbelievable. There's Unbelievable. People don't forget to shit your fucking mind. TitleMatchNetwork.com
TitleMatchNetwork.com Two women making their debut here in BCW. Dude, this is going to be a statement win, for sure. Referee in charge, Nick Shin. Bell's wrong, here we are. The third and final qualifying match for Queen of the North. Emily J, Notorious Mimi. Turn your Emily Jay taking off the distraction. Well, Notorious Mimi had her back to her talking to the crowd. But Actually, I think Notorious Mimi is taking advantage of the fact that Emily J is so green. Uh, but you know what? Emily J is no stranger to, you know, the ring in general. <laughs> she's, seen, she's been a big fan of wrestling for a long time. She's no, she knows how the game works. Beautiful shoulder takedown there by the stunner. Goes over. Tough the clothesline. Cross body, connects, hooks the leg, gives it the end. Mimi kicks out of two. Notorious Mimi is a star in her own right, but Emily J is done the star here. Baltimore trying to make it, make some sort of impact here in their debuts. Go for the cover, kick out of two. Well, that's the thing, that's what I was trying to say before. When, when you're making your debut in a promotion, you're, you're essentially you're fighting for a spot. You want a spot to come back. You want a spot to get paid. Of course, you want a spot to win a championship. Both women are making a debut at the same time. And there's only one spot available, buddy. Only one throne to sit on here, Queen of the North. Oh, wow. Mimi taking Emily corner to corner. Could be four for four? Oh. Reverses it. Elbow to the face. And there it is. Grand Slam, Mark. Four for four. She hit it. And curious, Mimi, I mean, she comes out as an angel, but my gosh, she's a devil in that ring. Still to come in your main event, Ruthless Lala defends the BCW Women's Champion against the current Queen of the North, Danny Moe. That should be a classic, Marcus. Yeah, I am wondering here, buddy, will history repeat itself? Will we see another Queen of the North winner become the next BCW Women's Champion? Does that add more pressure to Danny Moe, knowing that statistic? Will we, will we co cover here? Maybe he kicks out of two. You gotta think, like, there, there's a little extra pressure. But you know, Danny Moe does not seem faced. We saw her earlier tonight. She wasn't going to waste an opportunity against Darius Carter, knowing like, how big of a matchup this is tonight. And who gets right into the face of Darius Carter? <laughs> not somebody who's nervous, I guess. Right. Someone who's full of confidence. Let's see here, Notorious Mimi taking it back. to Emily J. Breaking that neck. Reverend Nixon there asking for the submission. Maybe in front Wrecking control. The face, man. Wow. Emily needs to get out of here. Trying to get back on her feet. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. I feel like I'm turning blue watching this. Yes. That's a chance, Emily. Emily. Oh, now she goes for the headlock. That, that is locked in. Yeah, I was about to say, it's locked in tight. Nick, to make sure the, the elbow is not under the neck, though. I think it's probably on the chin there. I don't think the Tori Smeeby really cares about the placement. Crowd's getting behind Emily. Emily gets next to her feet. Powers out of this. Emily. Oh, back to her. Beautiful. Oh, my. Takes down Mimi. Back elbow to the face. Momentum have shifted here, Marcus. Absolutely. She needs to ride this momentum. Ooh, running forearm to the face. Hold on. Oh. Connects. Could that be it? Going to the finals, two. Mimi kicks out at two. Oh, no, no. Someone has decorated as notorious Mimi. You got to do more than that to move on to the finals here of Queen of North 4. And a kick to the gut. Let's go for the stunner. Blocks out of it. Oh, oh nice wow. little kick to the chest. Oh, can we go for the... Fireman, flapjack. Wow. That connect. This is it. Really, thanks for coming. Ah, notorious Mimi makes her... Advances to the finals. Here is your winner, and advancing to the Queen of the North match, Notorious Mimi. And our professional res referee, Isaac, yes. clearing the ring 
making sure that there is no danger before this contest starts. Yeah, because we don't need someone to trip on those streamers. I love Isaac. He's a true consummate professional. Very professional. The most professional. <laughs> Diego with uh, Charisma's ring uh, ring entrance gear at ringside. He doesn't look as good in it. You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> These two starting with a chain wrestling sequence. Layla trying to take control. Okay. Charisma. Showing some charisma here. It's in the name. Into a headlock. Oh, beautiful takeover. Beautiful headlock takeover. I love watching performers who are on the upward trajectory, who are very early in their careers. I always find myself impressed with how strong some of these competitors are, just whenever they are single double digits uh, working matches professionally. Layla taking Charisma down to the mat hard. Bo both performers looking for an advantage here. Oh. Basement drop kick from Layla Gray. Goes for cover one, two. Only a two count. As I was saying, it's always interesting to watch these young performers that are very early into their career. I always love seeing exactly how talented some of these people are. I had a background. I was training for several months before medical uh, problems took me out of training, and I never managed to even grasp the basics. So seeing some of these people come into the ring and seven, eight, nine matches into a career impress me the way that people like Charisma and Layla Gray have, it's, it's inspiring. Ooh, she ate that turnbuckle. I've been told that those turnbuckles are high in fiber, but I haven't been able to confirm it. Charisma nailing a chop. I'm pretty sure that Diego taught her that one. Oh, and a kick to a gut. We had two of those. What else did Layla Gray order? Charisma maintaining the pace of the match, being very deliberate. She's got Layla draped over that rope. Wants to choke the life out of her. She's going to take the full four before she gets backed off. Which she can do. You know, I... I always talk about how you don't necessarily need dirty tactics. That doesn't necessarily mean that you don't want to employ them from time to time. Especially whenever you've got a first time matchup, you don't know what your opponent is capable of. Charisma with a striking backbreaker. And goes for the cover one, two, not enough to put her away. Got her in an arm bar and it looks pretty deep. She's gonna torque that arm out of the out of socket if Layla isn't careful here. As I've said, always impressive to have somebody this early in their career like Charisma is operating as such a ring general. She's keeping Layla in the middle of the ring, maintaining control, slowing down the pace of the match. Layla oh. using a distinct power advantage to take control. Hits that X factor, goes for the cover. One, two, still not enough for a full cover. It was pretty close though. Very close. And you see Diego stalking the outside of the ring, keeping an eye on his protege. Ooh, what a shot. Oh, just trading shots. If these two want to turn it into a bar fight, they can, but I'm not sure that that's what either one of them really wants to do right here. What a shoulder tackle. A very strong tackle sends Charisma down, and now Layla picking her spot. Strong clothesline, keeping Charisma off of her feet. Stalking Charisma, trying to figure out exactly what she wants to do. Oh, Takes her over German with a suplex. magnificent German suplex. Can she make the cover? Goes to the pin. One, two. 
She couldn't get that press down. Wasn't able to hook the leg. Not a great cover. I firmly believe if she would have been able to get a full press on that one, we would have seen a three count. Yeah, because that was a hell of a German suplex. Diego trying to get the crowd behind Charisma here. Charisma trying to break, break away from Layla Gray. Gonna shoot her off. Reversal, off the ropes. I'm not sure what Layla wanted there, but it didn't go her way. Is she going for the DDT? Oh! And there's that DDT. Quick cover. One, two, three. And Charisma, with the quick victory after the DDT, puts away Layla Gray. That is a big victory for Charisma here tonight. TitleMatchNetwork.com
TitleMatchNetwork.com. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Belmont Hills, Allison Danger. And her opponent from Seattle, Washington, everybody's favorite female from MTV and WWE's Tough Enough, Taylor Martini.
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the combatants of the following match. First to my right from Houston, Texas. She is the Renaissance woman. hi -ya! And her opponent, from Orange County, California, player one, Ver Vixen! Hyon, obviously the hometown favorite. You know, Vert Vixen, we talked about how Hyon was trained by Booker T. Vert Vixen, you know, trained by the likes of Rodney Mack, Jazz, Tessa Blanchard, Daga. Oh, quick, quick cover there, Vert Vixen. Trying to catch a quick one, and yes, she was that close to ending that one in a hurry. Would have been no reset button for Hyon, would have been a big victory for Vixen. Shoulder block sends Vixen down to the mat. Yeah, a little turnabout is fair play. Holding on the ropes, had it scouted. saying maybe you didn't read the right strategy guide. Leapfrog by Hyon. Great athleticism on display from both. Dropkick connects, finding the mark. And sending Vixen, checking to make sure her teeth weren't rearranged. Vicious chop. Push whip. Look, it was maybe looking backbreaker. Doesn't matter because Hyon able to counter and sending Vixen right into the corner. Falls up with a big splash. And not wasting any time, scoops her up and slams her down into the cover. Hook of the leg to just two. Vixen able to get the shoulder up. Vixen says, not yet. That was a tremendous combination from Hyon. Sending her down. Oh, what a counter into the second turnbuckle. Vixen sent high on, and now has turned the tables on her. Hook of the leg. Just one. Vixen has not done enough yet, but looking to capitalize. Has it by the hair, has to be careful about that. Player one gets turned around and eats just an overhand chop for her trouble. And a strike to the face. No, turn to the right. She's able to counter. And a chop of her own. Following up with another. Vert Vixen looking to capitalize, looking to build some momentum. And that clothesline does just that. Has high on rocking ring. Back elbow. On the money, into the cover. One for the money, two for the show, not three, not yet. Crowd still firmly behind high on. Vert Vixen might be player one, but she's player two to this crowd, I'll tell you that. I know I all too well as a little brother. Good vertical suplex, perhaps. Blocked by high on. Both ladies. Blocking, neither one able to, who's gonna get the best of this exchange? Back and forth they go, and ultimately it is high on scoring with the vertical suplex. And an overhand chop again. Launching Vert Vixen into the corner, but able to evade is player one, and sweeps the leg, goes low. Sub zero esque leg sweep and then do a short flatliner into the cover. Two count only. Crowd trying to will high on back into control of this matchup. Vixen applying just a brutal, brutal leg lock here. Trying to tear Hyon apart. Hyon's got to get to the ropes or somehow break the hold. 
pain looks to be excruciating on her face. Shoulders down, gotta be careful, and that forces the break. But damage could be done. You see Hyon absolutely hobbled right now in the ring. Could be fighting with a bad wheel for the rest of the matchup. Gonna do what she can to continue, but you see her clutching at that right knee, giving everything she's got. Still a lot of damage done to that knee, but able to counter the strikes of Vert Vixen. Starting to string them together now. High on beckoning in Vixen. Smart move, maybe to try and limit how much she has to move in there. Starting to get the feeling back in her right knee, though, it looks like. Fireman's carry position and down. A little wasteland action. No, leg drop into the cover. Beautifully done. Not quite three. Thought it was coming down. Not quite yet. Beautiful combination, though, from high on and showing a lot of toughness to keep, continue to rally here. What does she have in mind? Crowd senses it. Could be zeroing in on a victory. No, Vert oh, mercy! Hyon could be out, into the cover. Hyon's out, that's, got, no! Cannot believe that Hyon was able to get the shoulder up. That looked absolutely brutal. Vert Vixen, in spite of the kick out, still in control. Big time kick to the face in the corner. Hyon looking more and more prone. He's just trying to crawl away from player one. Red Ring of Death finds the mark. Will that be three? Not quite, at least not yet. And you see some frustration starting to creep over the face of player one. What does she have to do to keep high on down? Just about dislocated her right knee, planted her head first, and then connected with the red ring of death, but Hyon keeps coming back for more. Now, placing Hyon on the top rope, the precipice of all kinds of disaster here. Could, be, could have been looking superplex, doesn't matter. Hyon able to, to slip out, and it ha has her trapped. Could it be? What a counter. Going to be beauty sleep for Vert Vixen. Into the cover. Tagger, bagger. There it is. The winner of this match, Hyon. Hyon with a big time victory. Took a lot of punishment, but a brilliant counter. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Are you guys ready for the next match? The following contest is... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's Brittany Brooks and Jasmine Allure. Now this, honestly, Brittany, we didn't discuss this in the back, but truly, baby, this shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, we have seen Jasmine Allure. She went after Izzy. If you make an enemy of Izzy, it says a whole lot about your personality. Brittany Brooks, you should have known. Well, this might have been foreseen by you, Veda, but definitely not foreseen by Brittany Brooks, the future legend. Think perfection in the building here tonight. Oh. Well, the, the bell now being sounded for. Definitely an unfair start here for this competition. Jasmine Allure was so calculating with her attack, but then she... Forgot to remember, to realize, to remember, to realize that the bell has to ring for the match to begin. Again, Jasmine Allure is just so focused on, on being dastardly. Well, there's a lot that uh, is left to be desired for Jasmine Allure when it comes to the, uh, the consciousness and the morality department. But Brittany Brooks, 
Definitely one hell of a competitor in all regards. The cover here for Brittany Brooks is she has her opportunity for the very first time competing for the Hurricane Pro Wrestling Women's Championship. And that would be quite the feather in the cap of Brittany Brooks. She did come out wearing a hat, by the way. But Brittany Brooks is someone who is having an absolute breakout year. She just became the first ever Dreamwave Women's Champion. Now she's become Hurricane Champion. Whoa! And Jasmine Allure knows that that title was almost in danger. You want to talk about former champions. Jasmine Allure, a former Mission Pro Wrestling Champion. However, sadly, the shortest ever reigning Mission Pro Wrestling counts. Champion. It still counts. It's on the record books. Yeah. You can look it up. You're right about that. Cover here for Jasmine, too. I mean, Jasmine herself will make sure you know that she is a former Mission Pro Champion. And she'll, she'll never forget to tell you exactly who she beat for it, La Rosa Negra. However, she, te she tends to uh, forget who defeated her the same night. I mean, that, that again, it, you can look it up. I'm not going to talk about it. I will talk about this roll-up by Brittany Brooks. So that was close. Close, but no cigar here for Brittany Brooks. Two women, a lot of motivation Ooh. in this matchup. Brittany Brooks only 19 years of age. The cover here for Jasmine. Brittany Brooks. She's someone who really just seems to be all over the place and it was inevitable that she would end up here in mission, in mission pro now hold, there's a cover by jasmine it was inevitable that britney brooks would end up here in mission pro she has a lot of attention on her and i i gotta say knowing what i know about jasmine allure i think maybe jasmine kind of takes a little bit personally there's a lot of eyes on britney brooks she is all over the country right now well the last time that we saw jasmine allure was a moment with a lot of eyes on it as well as Jasmine defeated the debuting Izzy Marino in her very first professional wrestling matchup. Yeah, and that's another accolade that Jasmine doesn't want anyone to forget about. But it's true. She did. And she also did antagonize Izzy, like, even into that match happening in the first place. Jasmine Allure is not afraid to do whatever it takes to get eyes on her, whether it be fighting Izzy Moreno. Cover here. Whether it be fighting Izzy Moreno, whether it be taking on Brittany Brooks, someone who is becoming an absolute star, Jasmine Allure wants eyes on her. Well, we'll be seeing Izzy Moreno in the singles competition coming up very soon. The cover here for Jasmine Allure. <laughs> cover with a handful of hair. Great officiating. Uh, but Jasmine Allure, again, yes, just had a, a whole hunk of hair in her fist. We want to shout out Jasmine Allure's sponsor for the evening, Eric Covada. Eric, thank you so much for sponsoring great Mission Pro Wrestling talent, as well as Brittany Brooks' sponsor, the Marking Out Network Podcast. Sounds like Jasmine does still have some fans in the crowd. Maybe some people who just don't like kids after that whole Izzy debacle. There's definitely some individuals with a lot of respect for Jasmine Allure, just given all her accomplishments that we've mentioned in the past, but also the blatant success that she's had all throughout her time here in Mission Pro. Well, I mean, we, we might, you know, we might jest about the one day to less than one day title reign, but Jasmine is, oh, roll up here. I was about to say Jasmine is the current Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. That almost came to an end. Yep, cover here for Jasmine Allure. Saving the day for her Hurricane Pro Women's Championship reign, defeating someone who has been seen many a time here on Mission Pro Wrestling for that championship, the big buzz, Danny B. Ever since then, Jasmine Allure has been reigning and dominating across Beaumont, Texas, and all across the state of Texas as Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And uh, this is just disrespectful, scraping her boot across the face of Brittany Brooks, and Brooks has had enough. Oh my, and Jasmine's gonna have to watch out here for the cover. The two, and just the two, we are not moving to three tonight. At least that is if Brittany Brooks has anything to say about it. It's the first time these two women have ever faced off one-on-one -on -one in singles competition. Again, with the role that both Jasmine and Brittany are on, this match truly was inevitable. It was going to happen sooner or later. I'm really gra grateful that we can bring it to you here at Mission Pro. Look at Jasmine Allure's feeling good, too. Yeah, Jasmine's definitely making her moment here tonight, a moment that she hopes will end in her walking away. Still Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Showcasing the smile of Brittany Brooks is 
Jasmine Allure. Oh, Brittany held in position with an arm bar, but also Jasmine has full hands on the jaw. Might even be slightly fish hooking Brittany. Again, there's a level of disrespect to everything Jasmine Allure does. Well, subtlety's never exactly been the strong suit of Jasmine Allure. You'll notice anytime she steps inside the squared circle, or even in one-on-one -on -one conversation, Jasmine Allure, never the subtlest in any regard, oh. but Brittany Brooks is looking to walk away the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion tonight, and she's gonna do whatever it takes to do so. Jasmine out of the way. Once again, you can see her athleticism on display. But Brittany Brooks just a little bit quicker there. And now, oh, Brooks all the way up top. Look at this. Oh, and this time a superplex was successful. But you can see the damage, the toll that it takes. When you go up top for a high-risk maneuver like that, you know that even if it connects, even if it connects, it takes so much out of you. Brittany seems to be clutching maybe even onto her arm, her wrist. A move like that is mutually assured destruction. However, someone is always going to take the worst of the outcome, and Brittany Brooks makes her way back to her feet first. Ooh, elbow up by Brooks. Jasmine keeps charging in, and Brittany's able to move, use some of that momentum against her. Yeah, we're starting to see a lot of fire here out of pink. Perfection, single knee face breaker. Brittany Brooks has to keep this momentum moving forward. The train has to keep rolling Whoa. here tonight. Well, Brittany just got sent rolling all the way out of the apron. She nearly collided with the steps. Brittany Brooks inside and out with the elbow drop. Cover here for Brittany Brooks. Two counts. Say what you want about Jasmine Allure, but whenever the resilience needs to be tapped into, she is the first one to do it. I mean, she is someone who you mentioned only 19 years old, but still has started to make a name for herself around the United States. She's collecting championships. She is seconds away from collecting another one right here. That is Brittany Brooks, of course. Brittany Brooks in clear pain, holding onto her wrist. Jasmine was working over that arm before, but Brittany is, is gutting through the pain. Jasmine, did she just ask for a timeout? Oh. And that left arm becoming a prime target here for Jasmine Allure. There's a reason they call this woman top tier. Looking to shove Brittany to the bottom echelon, the cover here. Jasmine Allure fully confident in that pinfall attempt. But now the frustration may be starting to set in. Jasmine thought that when she jumped Brittany in the opening seconds, it was over. Oh! Rolling through here for Brittany Brooks. No, not enough. Brittany had that scouted and now oh. facial reconstruction. We're seeing it here tonight. Oh, check Jasmine's nose. It looks a little, well, it's facial reconstruction. It, Jasmine's nose was fine before, so now, oh, I'm sorry, Jasmine. Brittany Brooks again shaking out that arm. Up into the carry. Yeah, I don't think she could hold her up there with that injured arm. Not at the very moment. She's going to have to. Put that arm to good use, wants to walk away. The new oh, Hurricane Pro oh. champion. Whatever was going on in that arm. Jasmine Allure, that's a wrap. the cover, and hey. feet on the bottom ropes to boot. Here is your winner, and still the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion.
TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com 48 hours ago, the, the time difference in the travel speeding up three hours, that's got to play some part in this matchup at some point. And has made it to that All Elite Wrestling roster, as you said, in the ring against Ruby Soho this past week on Dynamite. You've also seen her on Ring of Honor television. You've seen her tag team in with Madison Rain on AEW television. She has been in there with the heavy hitters. In fact, one of the hardest matches I've seen her in was a match against Queen Amanada on AEW Dark. Absolutely. So she definitely knows something about being in matches against hard hits. Well, I, I've been doing my research, Pete. And uh, Sky Blue, impressive uh, win-loss record in All Elite Wrestling. In her last 22 matches, she's won more than 50% of them. So can she continue the momentum here tonight? And can she get her first win here at We Are Wrestling? And what a night, like I said, the first time you have ever seen an All Elite Wrestling roster member in the Bronx, New York. Thank you to everyone at All Elite Wrestling for making this happen, for allowing us to bring Sky Blue to the Bronx. TK, if you're watching and or listening, thank you, my friend. You know, well, this is what we talk about We Are Wrestling. We want We Are Wrestling to be a premier destination for wrestling, not only in the Bronx, but in New York City as well. You have some great companies running here in New York. Battle Club Pro, Invictus Pro Wrestling. And now we are wrestling, wanting to continue the legacy of premier high-level professional wrestling in the New York City area, especially here in the Bronx. Only here in the Bronx are you gonna see Sky Blue in We Are Wrestling. Now, Pete, I gotta ask you for the viewers at home, is this match traditional mixed tag rules? Do the men, the men wrestle the men and the women wrestle the women? Listen, Sky Blue will gladly get in there against Lucas Chase. And you know Lucas Lala has no problem getting in there with Jared Diaz. They can do whatever the hell they want. Well, there we see a tag. Lucas Chase wanted Sky Blue, and I guess it's not traditional rules here. Lucas Chase was doing a lot of talking online this past week. Lucas so Chase had a lot of unfinished business. So obviously talking about Anthony Gamble, but you know he's got some a business to handle of his own here against Sky and Jared. And Lucas Chase stalling for whatever reason here. Oh, he's got to do some calisthenics. That's what's happening right there. Well, there's he, he should have done that in, in backstage, no? Maybe uh, pre-match, not during the actual match. Sky Blue aggravated with the antics of Lucas Chase here. Sky Blue lock it up with Lucas Chase. And listen, there, there, there's something to be said about the power advantage that Lucas is gonna have over Sky Blue or Jared Diaz. Absolutely. And as we saw back in November in that matchup that he had against Anthony Gamble, Lucas Chase is a brawler and a power wrestler. I don't think Sky Blue can match power with Lucas Chase. No, definitely not gonna match power with Lucas, but she can go in there and use her size and her speed to her advantage. She tried that uh, that waist lock and was easily brushed off. You know what's interesting? The trainer of Lucas Chase is also a member of the AEW roster. That's right, uh, Dustin Rhodes. And what a guy to learn from, Dustin Rhodes. Especially with the lineage, the son of Dusty, the brother of Cody. All that wrestling experience. Decades. Oh, oh Sky Blue. Oh. Came out of the Matrix. Oh, look, he got in the hair, but she got an arm drag. Off the ropes goes Chase, but an easy shoulder tackle. Yeah, such a big man, all right. But you can see that speed and agility of Sky Blue. You know, threw him for a loop for a bit there. Absolutely. And Sky Blue now, nice Hurricane Rana! And it's, even though he's from the Bronx, this crowd clearly doesn't like Lucas Chase. No, not at all. They are showing love for Sky Blue here in the Bronx. And now a tag to Jared Diaz. And we're very happy to have Sky Blue here as Jared Diaz went to the outside and Lucas Chase went to the inside. 
And these two men very familiar with each other. Jared Diaz spent a lot of time wrestling in the Connecticut area. So very well acquainted with Lucas Chase. Power slam! That power slam looked like it came out of the Dustin Rhodes playbook. And now a tag to Lala. Somebody might get their head taken off, Pete. And I don't think it's gonna be Lala. And you hear the crowd here in the Bronx. Chance of Lala's gonna kill you. And Lala may have many championships in women's competition, but she can hold her own with the men just as well. That's right. In fact, an incredible match with O'Shea Edwards just a couple of months ago at Brie Combination Wrestling, where she currently reigns as the women's champion. She also reigns as the women's champion at Pro Wrestling Magic, among other companies. But like you said, she's been in the ring with men. Lala told the story before. Starting her career in Texas, all she was fighting would have met. I've heard stories about Lala back in Texas. And wait, but a drop toe from Jared Diaz. Jared Diaz with an uppercut, he's in control. And a couple of something else as well. And now Sky double team on Lala. Tandem tag team offense here. Sky with the pin here too. Now, Pete, to your knowledge, because you have the facts, oh! have either of these teams teamed up before prior to tonight? Well, I know that Jarrett and Sky Blue have teamed up. Not while well, not officially, they have teamed up before in multiple in, in multiple areas. But we've seen Jarrett a long time. Oh my God! Sky Blue just took a spine buster on the floor in front of the crowd by Lucas Chase, and a cross body akin to a. Three car pileup on the cross Bronx, delivered by Lucas Lala. Cover here. You know, on, on the way here tonight into the building, I got stuck on the uh, on the Bruckner, and maybe that's why, because there was carnage like that on there. I think it's safe to say that Lucas Chase and Lucas Lala clearly have the power and strength advantage as we see. Lala dumped Jared Diaz like a sack of garbage almost on his head there. And another senton there. You saw one by Lala and now one by Chase. Sky Blue still on the outside after eating a vicious spine buster delivered by Lucas Chase. And listen, I know you see the padding around the ring, but this is a cement floor underneath here. It is not, not forgiving at all. Two count only by Lucas Chase. And there was the attack to Lala. Lala's a dangerous woman. She's gathering ahead of steam. Oh, what a kick! You thought maybe a basement clothesline there. That sent the headband of Jared Diaz right off out of the ring. Sky Blue barely holding on, trying to drag herself up to that ring. You see her holding that back. And as I mentioned, Ruby Soho, Soraya, and Tony Storm did a number on Sky Blue. Just 48 hours ago on AEW Dynamite. Mixed that with that spine buster moments ago. And Sky Blue may not be 100% if she was even 100% coming into this match. That's right. So again, there's that basement clothesline to Jared Diaz by Lucas. And Lucas and Lala have firmly been in control here. The entire match. Oh. <laughs> you hear the crowd in the Bronx here. Yeah, but they're not in the ring with Lucas. No, and I wouldn't say that to his face either. Oh, beautiful maneuver there by Jared avoiding. Oh! Nice drop kick. Shotgun drop kick. But that took everything out of uh, Jared Diaz that he had left, maybe. Looking for a tag to Sky Blue. There's one to Lala. And now one to Sky. And the ladies are getting it on. Lala blocked that lariat, but not able to block that clothesline. Cover by Sky Blue. And once again, Lucas Chase breaking up the cover. Lucas Chase making his presence felt in this matchup here. And Lucas Chase. Oh, he got the knee. Jared Diaz jumped in front of Sky Blue and may have saved her. Super tag by Blue. And now Lala. Black hole slam on Sky Blue. Oh! Dig dog, good night. 
And this thing breaking down like a clearance sale outside of New York and Company. Listen, that is one way to avoid a lariat, kick somebody in the face. Absolutely. He tried to avoid that lariat by any means necessary, and all four competitors are down. You'd have to think that the first pair to get to their feet will have the advantage. Lucas Chase slowly up to his knees. Lala as well. And all four are seemingly getting up at the same time. Men exchanging blows with the women here. And look at the forearm shots to Sky, by Sky Blue. Oh. It's in like stereo. I was just about to say that. That, that offense is in sync. Oh! My goodness! Double lariat cover by Chase and Lala! And a double kick out by Jared Diaz in Sky Blue. And you gotta give credit to ref Steve Demang. He was counting both balls at the same time. And was able to see both kick out. There are not many people I have seen kick out of a lariat by Lala, let alone one that vicious from Lucas Chase. Absolutely, and now here, Lucas Chase. And you'd have to think that if Chase and Lala got a victory here, they, you know, very easily a notch on the resume to those people at AEW. Absolutely. And what a win over Sky Blue would go a long way for these two. I'm talking about Chase and Lala. Wait a minute. A cold red. A cold red. Cold blue. A cold blue, I'm sorry. Two, says ref Steve Dumain. Cold blue by, by Sky Blue. Not enough. Dumping Lala outside the ring. And now here comes Jared Diaz, full head of steam off the ropes, over the top rope, and he flew! Like a plane taken off from LaGuardia Airport! And the stock in Arizona Ice tea just went up five cents! Jared Diaz, he calls that the Cross Bronx! It may be over! One, two! It is! Jared Diaz and Sky Blue win it! so bad for his first win at We Are Wrestling to come in at Welcome to the Bronx Rumble. Right here in St. Helena's Parish, the same gym that he played in as a young child in elementary school. TitleMatchNetwork.com
DigitalMatchNetwork.com. Big Mommy! Big Oprah, taller than Big Mommy, but Big Mommy looks strong herself. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you're watching live on Title Match Network, go ahead and comment who you think's going to win. Comment Big Mommy or comment Super Oprah. Oh, Big Mommy taking off the shirt. Okay, clean, flossing. She's flossing the undercarriage from the. F oh! ah. <laughs> Super Oprah versus Big Mommy here at Local Wrestling. Live on title match. I, I don't want to comment on this. They're sizing each other's titties out. Super Oprah with a kick to the gut. The power of Super Oprah is unmatchable at the moment. Super Oprah really taking it to Big Mommy. Big Mommy, sending Big Mommy to the ropes. Big Mommy dug in a close line. Oh! oh taking it down, Super Oprah. That was almost a quick win for Big Mommy. Super Oprah. Super Oprah and Big Mommy traded shots. Super oh, Oprah with the, the rake eyes. of the eye. Super Oprah grabbing Big Mommy by the face. Oh! Super Oprah with the chop to the titties. A hard shot by Super Oprah. Super Oprah flipping Big Mommy off, running. Super Oprah! Side of the ring. Big Mommy with a pimp slap. She got a chair. She got a chair. <laughs> oh. Big Mommy hits Super Oprah with a chair. The crowd shouting for their approval. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, live on Title Match Network, we are watching Super Oprah versus Big Mommy here at Loco Wrestling presents The Bigger Picture. And I can't see right now, now see everybody's up. I apologize, we cannot see the action at the moment, but just know these two competitors are fighting on the outside. The fuck out of the way, I repeat, the fuck oh, out of the way. These two competitors are coming this way. They go crashing into the chairs, into the front row here at Camille Arena. Super Oprah versus Big Mommy underway. Fighting on the outside in the crowd. Uh oh, Big Mommy sending Super Oprah back into the ring. The crowd. Big Mommy full, fully in control right now, looks like. The crowd chanting for the Big Mommy. Big Mommy in control. Big Mommy rushes in with a big shot of her own to Super Oprah. Another big shot for Big Mommy to Super Oprah. Oh my God, Big Mommy with the third shot. Big Mommy goes to the corner. Oh Spear. my God, Spear! One, two. Holy no. shit! You gotta keep down that way. You gotta do a lot more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Title Match Network, Big Mommy almost took a win with that huge spear to Super Oprah. Big Mommy climbing the top rope. What is she thinking? Big Mommy climbing the rope. What is she thinking? What's going on? Super Oprah in a bad spot. Oh, ho, ho. A dive on the second rope. Super Mommy from the second rope dives on the Super Oprah. Has her where she wants. Oh, sits on her. Two. Almost a three count, Scott. Very close, very close, but not enough. Big Mommy is going to have to do more than that to keep Super Oprah down. Live on Title Match 
here in Houston, Texas. The crowd chanting, si se puede, si se puede, yes it can happen, but will it happen? Can Super mommy Oprah. beat Oprah? Super Oprah gets back up. Super Oprah losing. Super Oprah barely standing, that wind's crazy. D big Mommy dumps a big move. Big Mommy with a shot. Big Mommy ducks another boot. Big Mommy runs the ropes, get caught by a back elbow from Super Oprah. Ain't all that elbow right there. Oh, Super Oprah. What? Big Mommy ducks it, ducks it, and bridges out. Impressive. Very, very flexible, Big Mommy. Missing with the leg drop. Super Oprah miss. This is the opportunity. Big Mommy with the spotty splash. One, two. two. Not enough, not enough. That was almost it. Big Mommy almost comes away with a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Mommy in complete control of Super Oprah. A Super Oprah with a huge headbutt. Holy snap. Super Oprah rushes. Rushes at Big Mommy. Foot has come unglued. Big Mommy flattened in the corner. Big Mommy's out. Super Oprah ain't playing with his dick. Super Oprah going to the outside, calling for it. Super Oprah saying she's going up top. TitleMatchNetwork.com. It's actually better for everybody. Don't worry, she's going to just be destroying people. Welcome to the main event of We Are Wrestling's Welcome to the Bronx. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, he is sponsored by the ringside... than would normally be the case. You're very right, Veda. You know, you gotta put the experience factor into the court of Speedball Mike Bailey. But you know Janai Kai is looking to have this match be a mark on her resume. If Janai Kai was able to defeat Mike Bailey here tonight, that would be the career maker for Janai. Well, and when we start to talk about years and years of experience, yes, it's important. Mike Bailey, going on 17 years as a professional wrestler, he's done it all, 19 tours of Japan. Janai Kai, much shorter career, but she has accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. That counts for a lot. Yes, one of the, oh. one of the women that Maria Kanellis considers to be a cornerstone of the women's wrestling only promotion that she is building in which Janai Kai will be at tomorrow night. Yeah, we've seen Janai as well on AEW Dark, appearing, I believe she even wrestled on Rampage as well. Or yes. She really, like we said, has done it all in such a short amount of time, and now she is taking it to one of the unquestionable best in the world. And now Janai on the outside. Going right after Mike. She is not going to let Mike Bailey get away with anything here tonight. She is going to be on the attack the whole time. Oh! oh. I don't think they teach that in Taekwondo class, Veda. And Janai Kai, no stranger to intergender matches. The last time we saw her at We Are Wrestling, she defeated another kick specialist in Tristan Ty. Very much so. Oh, and Bailey going for the Boston Crab. Janai. Oh! Grabbed onto the ropes, and that actually might have made. Worse for her 
a guillotine on the ropes, and Bailey looks very happy with themselves. Something a lot of people weren't aware of until a couple of months ago. Janai Kai revealing that, you know, she is very lucky to be in the world of professional wrestling, let alone alive, after a horrific neck injury. And, you know, that way that he speedball guillotined on that bottom rope could have aggravated that injury. The power. Oh! Kick out at two. You saw Janai Kai fighting that backbreaker all the way up. With use that core, that very, very strong core of hers to fight. Speedball lifting her up onto that backbreaker position. And it's rare that I would say that anyone has the, the speed, the quickness advantage over the speed. But I think Janai might. But we just saw evidence that it's Mike Bailey with the strength advantage. Full stop. You know, it's funny. One of the first things Mike Bailey was asked uh, in one of his first interviews after being signed by Impact Wrestling was, you know, would you be interested in doing intergender matchups? And he mentioned some of the... Uh, some of his compatriots on the Impact Wrestling roster. And as you said, Beta, all across social media, people were already hinting at the match. But what about Janiant's people? What about Janiant's people? I mean, I will speak for Speedball and for myself. We don't see it as intergender wrestling. Every match we're in is automatically an intergender match. Uh, it's just wrestling. And if you limit yourself in any way, uh, you're just missing out on incredible contests like this. Yes, 100%. Wrestling is wrestling, and you see that in the way that we present matches Whoa. here, and we are wrestling. I was bracing herself, and Speedball with an axe kick, huge middle kick, and a running, shooting score. That could do it. The no, athleticism no. of Speedball Bailey. And you said 17 years in and still going just as fast as the early days of his career made him. Now that Mike Bailey is wrestling in the United States, there's just a, a plethora of new opponents, including Janai Kai. Oh, huge kick. And this is the kick demon unleashed. You saw she broke out the red gear. That red top. She keeps that reserved for some of her most devastating matches. Covered by Janai. Janai Kai gonna have to pull out all the stops and she's gonna defeat Speedball Mike Bailey here tonight. And watch this dragon sleeper. This is trademark Janai Kai. Not just holding the sleeper, but she reaches by her own back. Speedball able to power out. And now trading kicks. They're trying to block them and speedball with a big forearm. But Kai! Double roundhouse kicks connect! And you can hear the crack! The educated feet of each competitor on display in this match in the last few minutes. And again, you said this earlier, Data. There are not many people who in both Janai's case and Speedball case can match them in this kind of You're contest. You're right, that is normally the advantage that either of them would have. And you can see not only are they well matched, they're even going for some of the same kicks at the exact same time. You have to think, just based on their similar training styles and backgrounds, they have to have each other pretty well scouted. Maybe. Yeah, I can speak for Bailey and know that, you know, Mike was watching Janai Kai matches, it, literally in the car on the way here, to make sure that he had it all down, to make sure that he knew everything that Janai might pull out. I know the moment we are wrestling told Janai Kai about this main event match, Janai sent a one word response. Bet. Oh, the kicks! And 
kicks to the legs especially. We've seen in the past what kicks to the legs can do, as evidenced by Antonio Inoki's match with Muhammad Ali back in the day. Oh, and now the Boston Crab, but Janai able to get out of its people. Cartwheels catches her. Oh, and there's the Dragon Sleeper again. The hands locked behind the back for extra leverage. And Speedball once again fighting out. Speedball kicks. That's his signature. Denai is staggered. Glories of kicks like that is what led him to the X Division title. No! Oh, the Moonfall double knees missed, and now Janai! Janai with the rapid fire kicks of her own! And that last one hit its mark. This might be a two! No! So close! But Janai Kai undeterred. Again, she shows just focus and determination beyond her years. A version of a final cut. And another cover. Speedball got a foot on the rope. And that, listen, that speaks to the exhaustion that Janai has. She was unable to hook that leg, Dana. And Speedball, it also speaks to his experience, knowing where he is in that ring. Yeah, Janai just going for the cover whenever she can grab it. And now Bailey rolls to the outside. Janai, though, staying in control. Kick to the face. And out to the back. I mean, you know, when we say Janai Kai is fearless, this is what we mean. It's not just a matter of taking on Mike Bailey. It's a matter of taking on someone who is internationally acclaimed. Like we said, has done it all, and she is not backing down. But now, I thought she was about to get posted. Instead, Bailey. Oh, oh Bailey just kicked the post. He just kicked the ring post at full force. And a big running kick. Bailey could have broken a couple toes there, Vader. Yeah, again, he doesn't wear shoes. And now Janai throws Bailey back into the ring. You gotta wonder if that was a smart maneuver by your husband there to go for that kick, knowing that there oh, was a 50 oh, 50 chance. Oh. Dragon screw leg whip sends Janai to the outside. Mike Bailey. Clearing the runway, triangle moonsault. Well, apparently that leg, that foot that hit the ring post, not showing any ill effects. And vintage Mike Bailey right there. And now going for, oh, the, the deep, deep Boston Crab on the floor. And I can speak to people, and I'm sure to Janai too. When you're used to training in bare feet, I have seen Mike's feet just swollen and bruised. Anyone else would be, you know, going to the hospital, and for him, that's just normal. Right. They build up those calluses. Yeah. They build up that resistance in their feet. And I'm sure that Janai is the same way. I'm sure she's had her, her shins and her feet just, just broken and bruised, and to her, it's just, it's just another day. Uh, what is... Oh! Axe kick to the back! And Janai... Trying to pull herself up on the apron. And Both again, of them now. Janai Kai not backing down, just eating a kick to the shoulder and firing back. Don't tell me that these two are going to trade kicks on the apron. Somehow, this is firing Janai Kai up. It's even helping her recover. Just. It's not just fighting through the pain, it's, oh. This is the fight. Oh! This is the fight she wanted. Blocking the kick, and then Kai. Final cut on the apron. Goodness gracious. This might be it. Bailey's in the center of the ring. Oh! Ho, ho. Speedball kicking out of the last possible moment. And there but we go again. But you're not staying on him with the sleeper. That dragon sleeper, and it's finally locked in. Every single time, Speedball has been able to fight out of it, but right here, it is locked in. Speedball trying to use his power to just heft deny. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to take a very quick moment and thank the, oh. thank the ringside club. 
Gigi for the win, and Henny Wrestling for sponsoring not only this match, but these two incredible talents in this main event match. A big gut buster to take Janai down, and now the grab is locked on, and Janai is fighting. She made it to the ropes somehow. The speedball's got that look in his eyes. He must have something dastardly in his mind that he wants to do to Janai Kai. He's gonna have to pull out every single stop. He may happen to eat, he may even have to pull out that Ultima weapon in order to defeat Janai Kai. Janai, Janai says bring it on. She's got her hands up. And these two, it's like a late night at the dojo. They're somehow able to just keep blocking and checking each other tonight. With the roll up, this could be it. Only a two. Sunset flip. A small package. And still two. Kai going for backslide, but Bailey. Bailey too strong. Oh, connected, flush, did speedball. Look at that pinpoint accuracy. Oh, and now Bailey climbing. Janai Kai in a bad position here. And you would almost think that a Taekwondo expert would not be dangerous on top, but oh. this is almost where he's more dangerous, Vader. Janai Kai slipped out. What does she have in mind? Oh! This may be it! Kai with the big victory! Oh. And still only a two. And Janai Kai is not someone who often goes to the top rope. She relies on her feet for ground game. This just shows how important this match is to her. She is pulling out all the stops. But what else does she have to do, Vader? Oh, the kicks! Chest to the spine. Lighting Mike Bailey up. That only kick connects. Janai wants this. The tornado kick just got checked. A roundhouse kick, a super kick, and the buzzsaw kick. Cover by Bailey. Two. Mike Bailey, he might have to go all the way down and cinch that in. Janai Kai reaching for the rope. She's close. She's close. Oh, no. And he cinched it all the way. He's not back to Janai Taps. Janai Kai Taps. What a main event between Speedball and Janai. The dream Oh my goodness! Oh wow, we were not waiting for introductions. I mean, listen, Sammy had to know. Sammy had to know you're not stepping in that ring on equal footing with Lucas Lala and expecting to walk out, you know, like it, it's, all, it's all roses and candy. You know, she knew what needed to be done. And violence is being dished out right now. Sammy Chaos, as the young kids would say, understood the assignment. Absolutely. And she and she's gonna make sure that she it, she's gonna give it her all to take down Ruthless Lala. They don't call her Ruthless for no reason. However, they don't call Sammy Chaos Chaos for no reason either. Well, listen, Sammy Chaos is gonna have to pull every trick out of her book that she knows, because Ruthless Lala has stood toe to toe with some of the toughest individuals in this business. And notice how I said individuals, Danny. I didn't just say women. Ooh. She has stood in that ring against men. In fact, in a couple of days, Ruthless Lala is going to be stepping in the ring with the big bad Kaiju himself. Oh, Shay Edwards, a man you're very familiar with. Oh, it, absolutely. But right now, before he gets to that match, she has to take care of this match. And it's not an easy match for her. And, oh my goodness, Ruthless Lala just went over that table. 
Mr. Black checking for the safety of Ruthless Lala. Just broke a table here at the Mecca. Oh my gosh. Sammy Chaos is stomping and attacking Ruthless Lala. The bell not officially rang for this match yet. This match has technically not officially started yet. But the violence has definitely... Oh, oh my goodness! Top ranker by Ruthless Lala. Listen, Lala knows how to fight on the outside just as much as she knows how to fight in the ring. She spent a lot of time... Oh my fighting. goodness! Spear the crap out of Sammy Chaos into the chairs! Ouch, oh my goodness. And the match has not officially started. The match has not officially started yet, These but guess what? These ladies are going through chairs, through tables, through everything, and she just ate that forearm. Our first and second row have been scattered here on the hard cam side. Oof. How ruthless Lala is getting ready for battle. Sammy Chaos attacking. Just Lala laying those shots in and eating everything that Sammy Chaos is throwing at her. Grabbing her by the hair. Oh, nope. When I tell you that it is not a walk in the park to face Sammy Chaos. Listen, Sammy Chaos today is going to be going through a trial by fire. This is what you call on the job experience. You're gonna go Oof. into this match against Lala. If she survives, not if she wins, if she survives, she will be better for it. And even if she doesn't survive, the lessons that she learns going through a match with the Ruthless One are worth everything. Now the match has officially started and we're seeing Sammy Chaos have control. Sent, flipping sent down by Sammy Chaos. Oh my goodness, Sammy Chaos going for that pin. One, two, and a kick out. Lala kicking out. It's definitely gonna take more than a cent on a take to put away Ruthless Lala. And you hear Lala's prolific teammate, Isaiah Wolf, the American Gangs on the outside, shouting words of encouragement to Ruthless Lala in this match. Ooh, headbutt by Ruthless Lala. Those two, Isaiah Wolf and Ruthless Lala, Ooh. We're involved in a, in, in a war that, you know, spanned companies. Now these two ladies are just dishing out punishment. Oof! You know the power that it has to be. Oh my goodness! Ruthless Lala with the senton. Oh shit! Another one! Another one! Ruthless Lala going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out. There are not many individuals who have kicked out of that senton by the Ruthless One, and Sammy Chaos kicked out of not one, but two of them back to back. Ruthless Lala punishing that arm of Sammy Chaos. Listen, Ruthless Lala is the type of competitor, there are a lot of women in professional wrestling. When they have been told, oh, tonight you have a match against Ruthless Lala, they said, you know what? You can keep my pay. I'm gonna go home. I'm all right. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't in, want to smoke. I don't want to step in the ring with Ruthless Lala. In fact, when Ruthless Lala started her career in Texas, a lot of the women wrestling at that time in Texas were not willing to step into the ring with Ruthless Lala. So the first couple of years of her career, she only was able to wrestle men. See, but that goes to show how how ballsy how tough, how aggressive Sammy Chaos is. She stepped up on this challenge without any doubt, without any hesitation, because she, in her heart, believes that she can put away Ruthless Lala. Okay, yeah, I just think that there's something mentally wrong with Sammy Chaos, but you go with that. I'm gonna let you go with that one. <laughs> Sammy Chaos dominating the match, actually, Pete. Sammy Chaos thrives on inflicting pain and punishment on others. Ooh, strong chops by Sammy Chaos. But here's something that, you know, I don't know if you're noticing this, Dammy, Sammy. Danny. Huh. Third too time's many, a charm. Too many Emmys <laughs> in, the, in the match right now. Yes. Danny, I don't know if you noticed it. Sammy's tired. 
Oh, absolutely. She's not used to these long matches. A lot of the opponents that she's faced at Fallout Shelter shows, the matches have been quick and the matches have been over decisively fast. This may be one of the longest matches Sammy Chaos has had to compete in in a very long time. And in a very straining match, too. Having to fight outside of the ring before the match even started. Right. Can Sammy find some level of cardiovascular uh, uh, extra boost to keep her going? Absolutely. She just kicked out of that pin after that strong maneuver. Yeah, but Both these women are giving it their all to put each other away. Uh-oh. Went for that lullaby. Sammy Chaos blocked Ooh. it. Goes for the pin. One. Wow, one count. Kick out at one by Lala. What's it going to take for Sammy Chaos to put Ruthless Lala? It's going to take everything Sammy everything. has and then some. Uh -oh. As I said, Ruthless Lala has been in there with some of the toughest individuals in professional wrestling and survived. Oh my goodness. What's she doing here, Pete? Sammy up on the second row, maybe looking for a variation of a Vader bomb of some sort. The Sammy bomb! Oh my goodness. Goes for the pin, one. Kicked out at one, Pete. At what? one. Sammy Chaos is beside herself, legitimately and fully just in shock at the fact that Ruthless Lala just kicked out of that huge second rope Chaos Bomb. Uh-oh. Strong words by Sammy Chaos. I think she's going for it again, Pete. Going for it again, going and to that well one more time. Definitely, definitely a mistake. Ruthless Lala caught her. Power Bomb. Huge avalanche power bomb off that second turnbuckle. Both but ladies down. Both competitors are down in the middle of that ring. Isaiah Wolf encouraging Ruthless Lala. And you have to think that the woman that gets to their feet first has a distinct advantage in this match. Absolutely. Trading shots now in the middle of the ring. La La and no. Chaos. No, my goodness. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, back fist. Back fist smash. Sammy Chaos was going for that. For that claw slam. But the lullaby. The lullaby by the one, ruthless two, one. Two and three. What a match. And as you heard the Ruthless One say herself, night, night, she connects with that lullaby. And Sammy Chaos finally taken down. Real quick, I know there's another, there's a few matches coming before this, but Sammy, don't you leave. The one thing that I want to do right now this ain't dick riding. This is real nigga shit. Excuse my language. I want everybody to give a big round of applause to Joe King for training these kids. To get this ring. I don't hold back from nobody. You literally came in here and showed Joe Kim Morales. And I'll go to war with you any other day of the week. Go shit.
the winner of the match, Miranda Alize. And this one's off and running on the floor. Remember, no disqualifications here between Eva Lise and Taya Valkyrie. And the sneaky feeling referee Doug Markham is going to have his hands full here with these two ladies. And you alluded to their careers having a lot left in them. How much will these, these two ladies affect each other moving forward after this war? But what will be left of each other when this is over? You can talk to any great champion, past, present, and you can say, again, where, where, was the, uh, where did the championship come away from you? Well, it came when I was in a no disqualification match as more plunder is being brought out from underneath the ring. You saw that chain, you saw the cookie sheet, there's a trash can, all the goodies coming out here tonight. Yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth, Kevin Kelly. The plunder is a flying here in Winston-Salem. What a great weekend it has been, and now we it's, see it get down and nasty here with the lady. That's Singapore Kane lashing the back of Taya Valkyrie. Eva Lee's not letting up one bit as these two have a very bitter rivalry extending all over the world, and it's Coming down here with the next chapter in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at our sixth annual WrestleCade event. You see the capacity crowd on hand for this great one. Nobody left the building. No one's going anywhere until they see these two ladies go at it. Going for broke there and diving all the way to the floor. Ivelisse wiping out Ty of Valkyrie. Well, both these ladies have already proven they're going to put their bodies on the line here tonight. Both ladies crashing hard to the outside floor. No padding protection around the ring. This is going to be a very physical matchup. We've seen Ivelisse frequently compete in intergender matchups, so she certainly will not back down from Taya Valkyrie. Laying the leather here to Valkyrie on the outside. Ivelisse with the advantage so far. She's looking for more weapons here. Chair, still chair slid into the ring, and a baking pan off the skull. Yeah. Taya Valkyrie. That metal sheet driven right into the head. As Ivelisse. Trying to continue the offense, but Taya Valkyrie will fight back here. Valkyrie scrapping there. She's trying to fight back, but even least with the advantage here. Referee's job very simple. Simply to count either a pinfall, a submission, or record a knockout. We've already seen Doug Markham feel the effects of Carlito's apple. Might need to watch out for some of these weapons in the ring. DDT. Plants Taya. Will Eva Lise try to end this one early? Indeed she will. Hooks the outside leg. One, two. And a near fall. Had the near leg grapevine as well. Ladies uh, showing they're not afraid to go extreme here tonight at WrestleCade as we see the chair go back here, wedge to the corner. We've already seen that tonight, and it proved to be very effective in that triple threat match earlier. Will it be effective for here for Ivelisse? That chair now wedged between the top and second rope. Oh, and Ivelisse gets run face first. As she bounces right off of that chair. And Taya Valkyrie showing the world why she is the crazy blonde. Ladies are coming for blood here tonight. Still cheer shots to the head. Pie pans, here's another chair. And she's gonna go swing for the head, she ducks. Tosses it right to Eva Lise. And then the boot right to the face. And I'm very shocked that neither one of these ladies have been lacerated so far in this matchup the with these. Chair hard assisted hard intensity shots. leads to a near fall. Valkyrie going to back to the outside. Maybe look. Oh, a chain. Oh, boy. You were calling for the blood. No better way to open you up than with this steel chain. Well, you're seeing male competitors go to this level, but to see the females go to this extreme with chains and weapons is quite a sight to see, but you only see it here at WrestleCade. Oh, man. Just smashes her right in the head. That logger's chain wrapped around her right hand, and Ivelisse goes all the way to the floor. And Taya will pursue. And it looks like she will try to continue the offensive assault on the outside. All right, the garbage can. Look, Markham, the official, pleading for some mercy here, but it's anything goes. As Ivelisse looks laid out now. As Taya. Ivelisse? She under the ring? Oh, she's right there at the. Uh, oh, right between the eyes. And Ivelisse taken out. 
And this is quickly turned to a one-sided affair again with that Singapore Kane. To even least having her way with her here. When you commit a crime in Singapore, the punishment dished out. Singapore Kane shots. As Taya now, what will she do next with Eva Lise showing off her parade to their fans in the front row? As she continues to go after Valkyrie, Eva Lise. Valkyrie stalking Eva Lise here, now going for more weapons. Oh! oh. Right between the eyes. Trying to successfully rearrange the facial features of Eva Lise here. And now just going to try to grab her by the hair here, just beating her up here. Pounding away. At what point does Doug Markham utilize his discretion to maybe call this thing? Well, right now, Valkyrie will in the driver's seat. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Isn't going to give up. I looks believe like Ivelisse. Yeah, it looks, it looks like there is a trickle of blood there. You can see it. She looks to be opened up right there. You see it coming from her forehead. The proverbial crimson mask. You have to think either the trash can shot or perhaps the chair. Yeah, or maybe it was the chain or one of the Singapore cane shots. Either way, so much damage, so much potential for injury here with this one. As Taya. Looking very pleased with her body of work thus far. This doesn't look good here, gentlemen, as this chair is wedged right into the midsection. And now again, wedging another chair. Aya Valkyrie here is doing, oh man, drop oh. kicks it right into the midsection of Eva Lise. Pulling out all of the stops. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. That is very hard to call, folks, but that's very hard to watch as well as Eva Lee's in a lot of pain in an area. Very well, tender. leg hook two, and she kicks out. Eva Lee's kicks out. The resiliency of Eva Lee's coming alive here, but you have to wonder how much gas is left in the tank. Valkyrie's dominated this match. Double knees, and may have busted her nose right there. Immediately went right to the nose. She may have broke it. You have to think the blood might flow a little quicker now. Two. Eva Lee showing us what she's made of here. She's shouldering out after taking a lot of punishment. But now the first offensive strikes in a few moments quickly cut off. As Eva Lee desperately trying to fight back here. And she's dumped to the floor yet again by Taya Valkyrie. Remember folks, no disqualifications in this one. But the most important thing here is no disqualification, but the fall must occur in the ring. We've seen a lot of action on the outside. The match still has to be won in the ring. Oh, now, man, they're going over to the audience here. First yeah. time tonight that anybody's gone over the barricade. And remember, you never know what you can expect here at WrestleCade. Cameras will, I'm sure, will do our best to bring all this action to you. A lot of weaponry out there. Look at all those ringside VIP tables there. I was going to say, certainly a benefit of the VIP table. Front row and center. We got officials running out here to try to try to keep our fans safe here. Even promoter Tracy Myers is there as well. As the action has spilled over into the audience of the Benton Convention Center. As Taya continues to pound away, but Eva Lee comes back, fighting for her life out there. It's just a big brawl right here. As Eva Lee has took a seat for the moment, but I don't believe she intentionally done that. And look at Valkyrie here. Mauling Eva Lee as they go deeper and deeper, further and further back into this capacity crowd. As this crowd is stunned by what they're seeing here. They've got to be a good 100 yards or so away from the ring. Doug Markham is telling them, hey, this match has to get back into the ring. Doug's doing what he can here. There's only so much he can do. Oh, Ooh, man. man. Security guards, police officers there. You don't know who's going to be able to restrain these ladies. He believes in a bad way here as Valkyrie inflicts more punishment as they're getting back maybe. Oh, gosh. Oh, the no. The VIP table no. is into effect here. As Taya 
has Ibelis on top of the table. And those fans are getting their money's worth out there right now. She's gonna set her up here. No. What could this be? Ibelis sensing danger. DDT. Oh man. Hard impact to the neck of Taya Valkyrie. That neck snap right forward. Not your normal DDT. It's Valkyrie now, stunned for the moment. Ivelisse needs to try to mount some sort of combination or some offensive strikes here to get back into this match. And it looks like we're moving back towards the ringside area as these ladies are up against the guardrail here. Our camera's trying to follow the action as close as possible. You see great camera work here. As Ivelisse trying to get back into this thing. Those kicks now as Valkyrie takes a seat in the front row here. Right across the chest. Ooh, and the super kick right to the temple. Well placed. As Ibelise really trying to fight back here, get into this matchup one, once again. Gentlemen, you got to hand it to Ibelise here. I mean, a lot of people were writing her off. I was one of them here. I was sitting here thinking there's no way she's got a chance to get back in this thing, but she's proven us wrong as Valkyrie now head first off the apron. Ibelise seemingly has the crowd support now. And like a woman possessed, ramming her head face first against the ring apron. Very vicious here as Valkyrie now is rolled back into the ring. Ivelisse has an opportunity to capitalize. And this place is going crazy here for these ladies. As Ivelisse continues to stay on the attack. And throughout this matchup thus far, the weapons have been primarily utilized by Taya. And now it looks like Ivelisse is going to get involved. Oh, oh my, business picked up. She's pulling out the heavy artillery. A ladder has just been introduced. Taya now sees the ladder, doing all she can to get away from Ivelisse. As Ivelisse mauls her there, Taya hung up on the guardrail. Now Ivelisse leans that ladder up against the guardrail. Matt, what could you possibly do here? Valkyrie was trying to get away, and that was the smart thing, but. Ivelisse is caught up to her here, and that ladder is leaned up on the barricade over here. Maybe that'll come into play later, but right now these ladies are duking it out here. Forearm shots, slaps, and fists. Just a big fight here on the outside. Look oh! out. Oh! And the reverse sends Taya right into the ladder. You have to think if Ivelisse was unable to reverse that, that could have been the end of the match for her. And if this was a false count anywhere match, this match would be over, but the fall must occur in the ring. The crowd certainly into this wild brawl. Everything we've been expecting and more out of this no disqualification matchup. We knew there would be bad blood. We didn't know there would be actual blood as this one has spilled all over the place. I want to come back here for Eva Lee just moments ago. Oh, down no. And out oh, no. Oh, Tyus picks her up here. Road to Valhalla. That's going to do it. Valkyrie rolls out of the ring, but why? I don't think that's enough, Matt. Not satisfied with what she's done so far. The road to Valhalla has won her numerous championships. Looking but Kevin, as you said. Plunder. Kev oh, man. I don't think she's satisfied. And that table might be just what she was looking for. The table has been introduced. Seen just about everything in this matchup, so it doesn't shock us here. Valkyrie is looking to end Ivelisse once and for all. As Taya stays on the attack, and she's wanting to set up that table now. Valkyrie goes to set this table up here, gentlemen as this could be the end for Ivelisse if she successfully executes what she has in mind. Boy. But Valkyrie's taking a lot of time, Kevin. The look on Taya's face. She is savoring this moment right now. She has a mission in mind, and that's to put Ivelisse through that table. She's she, savoring it, but taking a lot of time. She needs to be time. careful, though. Ivelisse back to her feet. Taya trying to secure the table, but Ivelisse back up. 
A flurry of shots, re-release. A response from Taya. Front face lock, DDT. Plants her right down, Taya now. Puts her on the table, looking to end things. She threw her down with some force on that table as you saw a buckle. And take a look at the smile on Taya's face. Has her opponent exactly where she wants her. Even taking time to position that leg just to make sure the table doesn't give way until Taya can put Ivelisse through it. Valkyrie out to the table! And Taya goes crashing through the table. Ivelisse looking to capitalize on that miss. She can get a cover here. This may be the matchup. As Valkyrie went crashing through that table, the chain, the chain back into play. You see that dried blood on the forehead of Ivelisse. She's looking to strangle Taya to get the victory. We said this could end with pinfall, submission, or a knockout, a referee stoppage. And we might just see that right here. She's wrenching back on that chain. The brutality on display here. The chain around the neck is just torquing the body back here. She's tapping out. out. It's over. 